You know, what a day for the notifications to fail to send out for the stream. The notifs failed to go out. But anyway, we're here on Australia. And I'm sure you guys are extremely uh, excited to see everything we got here. First, I just got, got, I got to take down a few fallow. I got to show you guys these fallow again. Oh my gosh, the chocolates just look so good, man. The chocolate fallow are absolutely incredible. Get those little chocolate fallow down. That's for a different video, Mr. Snack. That's for a different video. We're not going to be taking a look at stuff that isn't Emerald Coast today. We'll do that in a, at a different time because I've got a full video dedicated to it. That will be releasing very, very soon. But there's the chocolate fallow. Probably my new favorite fur type for the fallow deer. Just, holy, they look good. They look incredible, man. They look so freaking good. Definitely one of my favorite things. So anyway, what do we want to go for first, guys? We're not going to start with fallow deer. We'll, we'll do fallow deer later. I kind of want to just hunt around and uh, just hunt around, you know? See what we can find. Kind of feeling like going like over here and then maybe running north and just see what we can get. How is everybody doing? So excited to get this map in four days. I know, right, Milo? I am just so, so excited for the release. We're going to be doing tons of, like, searching for diamonds and rares of the new species. We're going to be doing a great one grinding for sure. We're going to be doing tons of stuff. I am super, super excited, man. Super excited. Let's see if we can find anything cool. No clue, Speedin. If I haven't found it, I, I haven't really been, like... Checking all like we haven't really seen anything that a creator hasn't got right Like a uh, lady posted her video today with leucistic kangaroo as of now. That's the only rare I've seen That is the only one as of now, so I don't know. I wonder what they do have though Um, I saw it, but I haven't watched any videos buck so and I haven't had time to watch videos But I've seen screenshots of a lot of them I got a couple diamonds that I'm going to be showing off tomorrow, so uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty sick. I'm excited. Yeah, the chocolate fallow are so cool, uh, Boy Mason. Also, it seems like the chocolate fallow and the white fallow are relatively common. Like, they're either an uncommon or a common. I'm kind of leaning towards common. I see them a lot. Which is definitely exciting because it means I can very likely get a few diamonds of them. I want to get a huddle with, like, all of the, uh, different cool-looking fur types for the fallow deer. I think that'd be really cool. There's a female fallow there. Oh, what are you? More fallow. Could you imagine we just spot a great one fallow through the brush there? That'd be insane. Pretty sure these are all females, though. Picked up a track there. There we go, hog deer. Honestly, I need to change my tracks. Let's see. What do we want to do here? Active track. What's going to look great? I mean, that's going to show up really well. And then inactive, we can make... We'll do like blue ribbon. I think that'll be good. There we go. How was the new map? It's awesome, dude. It's awesome. It is super cool. Yeah, it's been great, Blake. It's been great. Can you keep your trophies from early access? Sadly, no. Uh, no trophies will carry over. Anything I get in early access will not carry over to the live build. Oh, what do we got over here? There we go. We got some red deer. Let's shoot a red deer. Uh, to see the brand new furs for them. Reloading my rifle might help.
We got him. Red deer down. Love to see it, man. Hey, Crosscare, how's it going? Hey, Tom to bomb. Uh, yes, kangaroos do drink at night, sadly. They drink at night. It's kind of disappointing. However, if I'm being honest, they're plentiful enough that I see them all the time anyway. So with them, I don't think it's actually going to be a problem because they're so plentiful out in the open. They're really easy to hunt. They're one of the species where you don't even need drink zones to hunt them well. I think feed zone hunting will be very effective for kangaroos, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. What's my favorite map in the game right now? Uh, this one as of now. Definitely this one. Hey, Brober, how's it going? Going crazy being in three streams at once? That sounds like a very Brober thing to do. Look at that. Very good looking fur rework. Beautiful. Hey, Hollow, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Magnus, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emos, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. And all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Trying to clear all my maps of trophies before Tuesday. Yeah, probably a good idea. Gotta make sure you get all those diamonds and rares before it's too late. Yes, I've been attacked by the kangaroos. I've been attacked by the crocodile. I've been attacked by a bantang. I've had everything attack me so far, it seems. Oh, there's the axis deer. The new and improved axis deer. Because they did end up getting a slight change to their models. And uh, as you can see, there's foxes everywhere. <laughs> I gotta say, this might be the best fox map ever made. Uh, I actually found tons of foxes when I was grinding for uh, Sambar Deer and Banting. Sambar and Banting both drink at 17 to 20, and so do fox. So there's three different animals to look for during that time. And it's pretty crazy just how much you can see. The foxes are just in abundance. I love it. The dream of like a diamond... And like all rare foxes is going to be very real for everybody now. What's my favorite of the new reworks? Oh, the fallow. Easily. Easily the fallow. Yes, uh, Peter, we do have the uh, early access going. We do indeed have the early access. Let's see if we can find any of the new species just kind of roaming around. Eventually we'll go to some drink times, but... I want to start out by kind of just roaming, seeing the landscape for you guys, and trying to hunt whatever we can along the way that's a new species, or has got a rework. This map is beautiful, though. I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, let's probably head up kind of this way. Oh, we got stubble quail. We got stubble quail. Now, the problem is, I don't have a shotgun, so I'm just going to pop them real quick. There we go. Had to get my breath back. We got a stubble quail down so we can get a look at it. Not gonna lie, probably the smallest bird in the game. I'm kind of blown away at how tiny they are. Oh, bam. Oh, that was a sir. <laughs> They're so tiny. They're so tiny, man. I love it. Oh, you're bugged too. <sighs> Ma'am. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's the most dramatic thing I've ever seen. Oh gosh, it's legs twisting around. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that was great. <laughs> that was awesome, man. That was awesome. That was so cool. Looks kind of sad. I mean, I'd be sad if I just got shot too. And where's the other one? 
There it is. Oh, dude, there's... They're all bugged! How did I miss that? You guys just watched me miss that? How do you miss something at point blank like that? Only Scarecrow could do that. Dude, another. Why are you guys all bugged? Stop bugging out. I want to actually shoot some while they're in the air. Oh, that's normal bug. That bug has been in the game for a long time. To be honest, I imagine they probably just can't fix it. I imagine it's one of those bugs that they just can't figure out why it happens. Hey, now you're not Brobra, stop! Wow. That's a that's a dig on Brobra and on me. Oh, and I got to clear some space on my drive real quick. Yeah, my hard drive is like practically full from that 58 minute video and all the footage for it. And finally get rid of all that. There we go. Ha, ah, 200 gigabytes freed. Beautiful. Hey, NBS, how's it going, man? It has. It's been a while. It has been a while indeed. Now we're back with some early access on a brand new map. It is a beautiful thing. Oh, another warning call, eh? <laughs> you want more? That must be the rest of that group. Uh, honestly, let's head over here. I want to see if we can find some Bantang. Because the Bantang really love this part of the map. He did, bro, bro. Oh my gosh. I did. I did the other day as well. You guys will see that in a video. I accidentally blasted a feral goat with a 300. It was a big feels bad. It was a five as well. Do you guys have that to look forward to? Oh, there we go. There's the Bantang. We've got Bantang. All right, let's stock up on them. I think it's time. Okay, later, Hollow. Thank you for dropping by. Hope you have a good day. Ooh, Bantang tracks everywhere, man. This lake is crazy good, by the way, as you can probably tell by the uh, six bazillion drink zones, except I deleted one there. Rip. Accidentally deleted one. Oh, we got sandbar. There's a sandbar. Okay, so I guess we'll shoot the sandbar, then go for the Bantang. There's a little guy, too. Nice, there we go. Uh, the Bantang go to level 5. I believe kangaroos go to 9. Crocodiles go to 9. Uh, Banting go to 5. Geese go to 5. Whale go to 3. Sambar and Rusa go to 5. And what's the last one? What is the last animal that I'm forgetting? Hogdeer. Hogdeer go to level 5 as well, I believe. I think Hogdeer go up to 5. There is a Sambar deer. I love these things so much. These are my favorite. Like, they, they've become my favorite of the deer species. I feel like once I can get some bigger ruses, they might become my favorite. But as of now, the sandbar, um, between how much fun and how easy they are to hunt and how they look, I think they're going to be the most popular of the deer species. They have the biggest antlers of the new ones. And they're just in abundance everywhere. Oh, hey, we spooked them. Let's see if we can maybe get his attention. This is going to be tough to get it near them. Oh, hey, we alerted him. Was that good? I mean, either way, we put another shot into him. Now let's get a closer look at a level 3 sandbar deer. 
Holy. Uh, Dudley Bean, thank you so much for the super sticker, dude. Really appreciate it. And Jacob, thank you for the membership. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing great, man. Let's see. Not a good shot. Okay. That's like 400 meters almost. So that's probably why. Yeah, that is a smaller level 3 sandbar. Most of the sandbar I've seen have been level 4. So, doesn't seem like 3s and below are as common as other species. There's tons of 4s for, for, for the uh, sandbar. I almost said fallow. Sandbar very much remind me of like reindeer. Except they don't troll you all the time. But in terms of like level 4s everywhere, the sandbar are very similar in that way. Okay, we got some resting over here. Beautiful. Lots of females. I think that's probably the best male there. That is probably going to be the one we take. We're going to hope that penetrated to lung. I think it did because he is aggressive. Yeah, he's going down. And that'll take him down with the hard shot. Now we for sure got one down. Can you go after Roosadier? We'll go after everything, man. We're going to go after everything today. Hey, Canuck, how's it going? Matt feels like Parquet almost. Um, there's a little bit of Parquet vibes in parts of it, but... Overall, it's way different. I think as we see more of the map, you guys will get a better feel of it, but... I can see how this would get a little comparison to it. It does have similarities in terms of, like, the trees. Ah, uh, yes, I've seen the multi-mounts. One of them is two kangaroos fighting. And the other one is a crocodile with a magpie goose. Pretty decent multi-mounts, I would say. Though I was really hoping for some sandbar or rusa mounts. I think that would have been really good. There it is. One of the uh, fan favorites of the map so far from what I've seen is uh, these beauties right here. They're pretty cool. Look at how muscular they are. Just absolute tanks, man. Absolute tanks. How's it going, Caitlin? How's it going, Tony? Not sure if I uh, said hi or not. Hope you're doing good. Oh, no worries, Jade. No worries. The streams will be here, you know? The stream replays will still be here. Plus, I'm going to be streaming a very long time today, so... Probably going to be going for like 12 hours. 10 to 12. We'll see uh, how long I can go. We're going to do a little bit of everything today. When does this map come out? It comes out the 20th, so four days from now. You guys will all get to see and experience this map for yourselves. And as you can see, <laughs> this coast, crocodile paradise. They're all over. They're all over the coast. It's crazy. What do we got here? Is this a Bantang feeding zone? Four of them there. That four we shot died, but I have no clue where it went. We'll probably just leave it. And uh, look for another. Can kangaroos go aggressive? Yes, they're very aggressive. They are like, probably one of the most aggressive animals. That I've ever seen in Call of the Wild. It's actually insane how aggressive they are. Whenever I'm near kangaroos, I can't go like two feet without getting attacked. It's crazy. Pike, thank you so much for the two months, dude. I've checked my map for the animals getting reset. Lots of rares and diamonds. Just have to check my bobcat. Nice. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome, Pike. Glad you were able to find some trophies. There we go. More Bantang down here. Saltwater Crocs are going to be insane for sure, Mets. They're going to be so good. They're a lot of fun. 
Uh, they're way better than the gators, in my opinion, but I haven't hunted gators since they made the changes, so... At some point, we're gonna have to do a comparison to, like, the, uh, old gators and the new gators. Alright, sneak up a little bit. Gotta be very, very quiet. Wouldn't want to, uh, spook anything. <laughs> Look at that. That's a big boy four. That is a big boy four there. Oh, he's resting again. I see the rest of them down there. Didn't get the heart. But it's time to tango, I think. Yeah, he's quite mad. That is one mad banting. That is a super mad banting. Come here, buddy. Fight me. There we go. <laughs> so I didn't get vitals the first time, but I did the second time. And down he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. That was super awesome. 126 gold. Yeah, first shot, just not enough pen. Second shot, got double lung though. Love to see it. I love these Bantang, man. They're so cool. It's going to be awesome to try and get some rares of them and uh, diamonds on the live build once everything uh, is out of early access. And ready for everybody to enjoy. I am super excited to do like a bunch of multiplayer hopping and stuff, try and find trophies. Yeah, they do look really good. I don't really worry about it too much, creative title. It would have been nice for them to get like their own set of uh, like animations and behaviors, but I'm not too pressed about it. The actual look of the animal is the thing that matters most to me, and they nailed that part. Oh, hey. Some big ones up there. Big threes, I should say. TJO got a leucistic croc? Really? Oh my gosh. I'm jealous. I am jealous. That's awesome. That is incredible. Everything has a drink zone except for the quail. Quail are the only new species that does not have a drink zone. But everything else does, which is really nice. Three there. Man, there is just... There's just banting all over this little coast. I love it. So we got one of them to drop pretty quickly. What about the other one? Look at that little guy. Love to see it. 110, so that's a gold level three. Seems like they make uh, gold pretty often. That's awesome. There is more blood from this guy over here. And all these are kind of just like hanging out. Might as well get another one. <laughs> if he's just going to give me the shot. 115, that's an even bigger one. That's crazy. So many golds for the Bantang. And that one just died right in front of us. That's awesome. We're going to hunt everything, Peter. I'm doing a 12-hour stream, so... Or I'm going to try to do 12 hours. We'll see if I make it the whole time. 
We will see how far I can make it, but I'm going to try and do a really long stream today. We're going to try it. I already released my video for the day, uh, uh, ENG Call of the Wild. Already released a video. Yeah, Reflex. <laughs> Australia is pretty insane, man. I'm very, very, very happy with it. Definitely the best map they've ever made. Like, this tops Rev on Thule for me. Which means this is the first time in history that Silver Ridge Peaks has been pushed out of my top three. Silver Ridge Peaks is now number four. Number one being Australia. Number two being Rev on Thule, and number three being Tiabaroa. How to take off your scope immediately. Uh, middle mouse button. I don't know what it is on console. Uh, yes, I will be grinding Fallow on Tiabaroa. However, for the Fallow hunting we're going to do in this stream, it is going to be here on Australia. Oh, there's a Rusa. There's a Rusa. We got some fleeing sandbar as well. Come on, little Rusa. Give me a shot, bro. Give me a shot. Turn for me. I don't want to hit the trees. We got him. Rusa down. Rusa deer down. Let's see this thing up close. Honestly, guys, this is the most excited I've been for an update ever. Between the Great One Fallow, the new reworked species, and all of the new animals coming with Australia and the new Australia map itself, this is like the most exciting update we've ever had, in my personal opinion. This update's crazy. Hey, Riss, how's it going? Hope everybody watching is having a great day and having a fun time watching the stream so far. We're probably going to head down to the water here and see if we can find some crocs. I actually haven't explored that area. I have not checked out what's down there. I'm going to assume it's probably rocks and Bantang. I mean, obviously there's some Rusa here too. But I'm going to guess crocs and Bantang primarily. There it is, a Rusa. We've got a Javan Rusa deer. This is a small level three. Only scoring 89, so this is a little guy. But I think they look pretty good. What was the 38th great one? I got a great one whitetail yesterday. Sadly, we messed it up though. I took a shot with the bow from 40 meters and it put its head down right as I shot. So we ended up spining it. So sadly, Great One Thirty Eight got spined. But it is what it is. It was I was due for a mess up at this point. To be honest, I'm surprised that I haven't had a gold scoring Great One before. With as many whitetails we've shot. There we go. We got Crocs. Let's see. Can we get attacked? We'll have to gun it down on the run. Oh, he's running. You know, the cool thing about these is they are not going to sink like the uh, crocs and gators or like the gators used to. Crocodiles will not sink and I believe gators will not sink anymore either. Gosh, we got crocs everywhere.
We nailed him. Now, I've not searched this north part, so I'm hoping we can find some trophy gators. Did I hear one? I did. There's another one. Oh, I see you. You thought you could be sneaky. She thought that she was a sneaky little snake, but she's not. She's a not-so-sneaky little gator. Holy. <laughs> Already three gators, man. Do I remember my first great one? Of course I do. Of course I do. It was a huge moment. Hey, Tyler, how's it going? Hey, Jax. It's your 18th birthday. Nice. Happy birthday. Hope it's a good one for you. Hope you have a great one. No pun intended. <laughs> yes, this map will be the normal price, NASCAR shorts. Uh, that's how they... That's how they pay for further development of the game, is via the DLCs. Hello there. That's the mail. Nailed it right in the neck. Love to see it. The Crocs look so good. I like these better than the Gators in terms of the models. I think they just look really, really nice. We got that little female floating. Nice to see if they float now, though. Really nice to see. Mighty Wiz, thank you for the five months, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. New map looks amazing. Can't wait until full release. Same here, man. Same here. I like it a lot. I think it's definitely my favorite map now. And I cannot wait until full release so that everybody can get a chance to experience it. We got a sandbar there. How long have I had early access? Just a little bit over a week. But today is the first day where we're actually allowed to uh, show things off. Oh, we got another. Oh, hey! You are huge! Go aggressive. I dare you. You're going to flee. Aha. No, no, no. You get back here too. Oh, there's another. Wouldn't let me spot it. Oh, it's a five. Ah, he's gone. He's gone, man. That would have been a gold, too. Not bad. That one's out of here, though. Didn't get a good shot into him. Feel like this map is a little too thick. Uh, this is only part of it, Angus. This is the uh, more like jungly part of the map. It's very different depending on what part of the map you're on. There's a few parts of the map that are like super open and clear. This just happens to be one of the more like wooded areas. Got a fox track. A few of them. Is the bear grind over? Uh, for about a month, probably. We'll return to it at some point. It's not like it's forever done. We will return to it at some point. Like Verhonga? Yeah, kind of like Verhonga, I would say. That, that's a good comparison. Wide open in some areas, uh, very, like, closed off in other areas. But overall, it's really good. Holy sport, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. How's it going? It's going great. Just having some fun shooting everything we see. 
trying to get some trophies to pop up. Because we're hunting a spot, a part of the map that I have not hunted yet. So I'm hoping that that will produce a trophy or two. Female crocodile. All right, let's take a shot on this one. Oh, we hard shot it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. I love these things. The crocs are just too much fun. All right, I don't see any others, just these two that we downed. Nice little olive female. I do really love that class seven weapons are allowed on them. It's nice, it's really nice. Have I killed any kangaroos? Not today. However, there is gonna be some videos with them. And we will be checking out some kangaroos very, very soon in the stream as well. Uh-oh, here it goes. We're being attacked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't run from me. Oh. Ah, can't hit it from here. Too far in the water. Unfortunate. <laughs> oh, we got magpies. We got magpies up there. Big magpie. Can we hit it with the 300, I wonder? Oh, yes we can. I mean, I just want to get a look at it, so... Now we will. Jaxie said bow hunting crocs is fun? I could imagine. That probably is pretty sick. That's probably a lot of fun. Surprised there's a goose left to fall? I know, right? These crocs are crazy. Oh, are you, oh, you're talking about because I shot with a 300, gotcha. Yeah, for sure. Just absolutely blasting it. All right, I gotta turn up the AC a little bit. Give me two seconds, guys. All right. Can we see some kangaroos but not hunting or hunting them? Why would I just look at the kangaroo and not hunt it? If we see some kangaroos, I'm going to be hunting them. Oh. Oh my gosh, the magpies landed right here. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. Well, we got to try and shoot one. They're everywhere. So many magpies. There's so many of them. Double quail track by the water. We can maybe hit this with the 20, 22 pistol. Oh, we got it. 
I think. Yeah, we got it. But I'm using the truncated ammo so it's not dying quickly. Hog deer. I think it's probably just a female hog deer. I feel like the male would have called if he was here. Yeah, there we go. Got the good old 22 250 out. See how it does. Turn for me, ma'am. Come on, notice me. No? I guess it doesn't care now. There we go. That one will end up dying. Where's the magpie that I blasted out of the sky? Is it clear over here? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's right there. That's where I shot it. Male hog deer. There's just everything here. Can I use the 223? Uh, we'll use it at some point today for sure. Using the 22250 since it is the new gun. At least uh, for a little bit we will. It's hog deer drink time, so I'm not gonna worry about going for that particular mail. We'll find a few more probably. But I mean, if he gives us a view on him, then of course I'll take him down. We gotta go find the uh, magpies that we killed and our hog deer that we shot. There's the hog deer. It seems like we're kind of transitioning into a spot that doesn't have the, uh, the crocs as much. Ooh, that's beautiful. Dark spotted hog deer looking nice. That's really good. Hey, Vine, how's it going? Hog deer has a roe deer warning call? Uh, to be honest, I didn't even notice. I don't really hunt roe deer that often, so... Maybe it does. It's possible. The question is, do they sound similar in real life? That's kind of all I really care about. If it sounds close enough to what it does in real life, then, then I'm fine with that. These little, like, uh, mangrove areas are so nice. They look so cool. Uh, that's a decent croc track. I guess crocs are over here still. Well, there we go. There's a little hog deer. Small one. But it's a hog deer. Not vitals. Too far forward. Hit just a little bit too far forward. There's our magpie, though. This poor thing got the 300 treatment. <laughs> ah, poor little magpie. This is a yellow. Gosh, the magpies are cool. This might be my favorite goose species. 
They look really good. They look like a dino. <laughs> Kinda. Also, look at that, guys. This is a part of the map. I don't know what it's for, but there's a hot air balloon. I'm going to assume it's probably story related, but I have no clue at this point. Oh, there's the other magpie. <laughs> there's the other one. This is the one we blasted with the 22. Three nineteen. That pose looks good. That's such a cool pose to kill it in. What class are hog deer? Class three. They are class three, indeed. I tell you what. Should do a great one grind for red deer on the new map. I might at some point. I might at some point. I'm not sure yet. As of now, I haven't figured out what grinds we're going to be doing, aside from... I know for a fact I'm doing a... A bit of an early access fallow grind here on Australia. Ooh, that's big. That's a big track. Is it over there? Nope, different one. That's a huge track, though. Like, massive. I believe that's max weight. Ooh, big hog deer, too. You know what? We're going to take the hog deer. Because he's giving us a perfect broadside shot. Twenty-two, two hundred and fifty, getting right in there. Warning call. <laughs> He's not even like spooked. He's just warning. Okay. The five. Okay, I think the five's the only one there. That's a pretty good looking hog deer. Yeah, 1100 is pretty wild. Uh, nothing crazy yet, Willow. Nothing crazy yet. We're still very early in the day, though. I've not been live for that long. There's plenty of time to find stuff. Do you know how to fix missions that don't work? Um, no, I don't, man. I don't do missions, so I don't really know anything about how to fix them if they're not working. The Ruse multi-mounts are sick. Yeah, they're great. I like them. Oh, hello there, barrel pig. Look at that. 90.28, so that's a small gold. That is what a small gold looks like. I'm not, Nate. That's probably on your end, man. It's fine on my end. I would check your uh, quality settings, maybe. Or uh, check your internet if the quality settings are fine. Because we're not lagging at all. Oh no, bro, bro. <laughs> what a day for that to happen. Yikes. Hate to see it. Hate to see it, man. Yeah, absolutely freaking lootly hate to see it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's a big boy Rusa. That's a big Rusa. Let's uh, stock up very carefully. 
What's my favorite animal so far? Uh, probably the sandbar. And I would say Rusas are second. Uh, sorry, buddy. I'm not here. I promise. You don't see me, Mr. Fallow, dear. You don't see me at all. Can I get the Roos's attention? Maybe that'll get it in the open where I can see it more. Ah, so close. Yes, it is a hot air balloon. There is hot air balloons on this map. Apparently it has something to do with the story. But I'm not going to be doing missions in early access because I try not to have too many spoilers for that. But I mean, a hot air balloon is kind of unavoidable. Did Jaxie actually try to shoot one down? That's wild. That's hilarious. All right, let's just prone up. Let's see if we can get close to this big boy. It's approximately like, well, not there. That's the, uh, that's the other thing in doodle. Yeah, it's approximately there. Uh, we got the 38th great one yesterday, Caden. Nice, John. I hope you enjoyed the video. That video took so long to make, so I'm really happy to see that you guys, uh, really happy to see that you guys enjoy the video. We need an RPG to take down the balloon. <laughs> well, that's just rude. What did that balloon dude do to you? Poor balloon guy about to get taken down. All right, let's do the extra, extra sneaky sneak stock. Hey, Mr. Lazy, you haven't missed anything too insane. Uh, just been hunting a variety of the species. Right now we're stocking up on a big level four Rusa. Balloon boy deserves it. <laughs> Poor balloon boy, Zach. How you doing, man? Have I killed a kangaroo yet? Not yet, but we will be doing some kangaroo hunting soon. I wanted to explore this part first. And as you can see, uh, we've uh, had a little bit of fun here. A little bit, just a little bit. This roo says like right over this hill. This is going to be a tough stock. I mean, we might end up spooking it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, Peter. We'll definitely have to at some point. I mean, this is going to be a pretty long stream, so we'll be doing a lot of stuff. Can't believe I've already been live for an hour. Oh, that's wild, Zach. That's wild, man. Yeah, I'm going to try and go till about midnight. It might end up being until 10 p.m., though. 10 p.m. might be the time I have to end, depending on if uh, if my wife's able to get our daughter to sleep. Because uh, a lot of times, she wants both of us there when she's going to sleep, so... It's likely that I might have to end at, like, 10 if she's ready for bed. All right, while we're stocking up, time for a water break.
There we go. Uh, she's too young, Chandler. She is not old enough. <laughs> There it is, big boy Rusa. Come on, notice me. It's attentive. Got him. <laughs> there we go. What a beauty. That's a big boy Rusa. That is a nice looking level for Rusa. One eighteen. Wow, that's a small gold. Can you guys imagine what the big golds are like in the diamonds? That's a small gold. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, Mr. Lazy, I'd compare them more to Mule Deer. Jeez. Yes, Hypnos, if you're familiar with, like, Sambar and Rusa, they, they don't get as big as, like, a Red Deer. Their antlers are not nearly as large. However, doesn't mean they're not nice looking, right? And I'm just hoping that the big Rusa deer look like the one in that screenshot on the Steam page. I feel like that has to be the diamond. And if it is, that's going to look really good. Pike, thank you for the uh, super chat, dude. Thank you so much. When are you getting your pup? Uh, the 20th, I believe. Same day that the uh, release is happening. 20th is going to be a busy day for uh, my family. I'm going to have the uh, giant Great One grinding stream. And uh, my wife's going to be taking care of a brand new puppy. And our daughter at the same time. That's that's going to be fun. Yeah, that rooster was a really small gold. So they get way bigger. Which is pretty sick. Ooh, more Javan Rusa tracks. Yeah, lots of Rusa tracks. Okay. Gosh, this is just so beautiful. I love this map. I absolutely love the map. Kind of fun. Uh, this little river has hog deer. I've hunted them through here, as you guys can see. Oh, there's a zone. Okay. Fallow. Not a big fan of the fact that there's fallow clear up here, but... Seven in that zone. Wow. Yeah, I probably won't end up doing fallow grinding on Australia in the uh, live build, which is why we're going to do a little bit of it in the early access. See if we get lucky and get a great one to spawn. If we can get lucky and get a uh, fallow great one to spawn in early access, I'd be pretty happy. But it's not going to be like a super primary focus goal type of thing. Just going to be like a little side quest. We're going to spend a lot of early access just looking around the maps. Doing our best to explore and show everything off. Yes, Michael, it was a whitetail. You don't need to ask it three times. Just give me time to actually uh, respond. Is he already got a Bantang diamond and a Fallow? Nice, nice. I think I already swept my map for diamonds. Anything that we find is probably going to be respawns, aside from like, uh, there's a few lakes and rivers up here I haven't searched. But I have very thoroughly searched my map. I have got a few diamonds off of it, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Because it's going to have two diamonds. It's going to be exciting. By the way, this is kangaroos. Kangaroo tracks up here, huh? That's awesome. I didn't even know the kangaroos could be up here.
so low fallow though oh no solo fallow zones wild nice stacy that's awesome yeah they're pretty much everywhere uh ben however i have not seen fallow down in this area like those little lakes down there no fallow from what i've seen um sure ben i probably won't really use it too much because i don't plan to i don't plan to hunt every zone for fallow in early access i'm not going to herd manage them at all i'm just going to shoot every fallow i see and hope i get lucky not going to do like a super serious grind on australia that's what tiawaro is going to be for You know, I think maybe there's no hog deer in this, in this little segment. We haven't seen them in a while. Let's head to some of these other areas. Drink time for Banting is 17 to 20. What do I think the max weight is for diamond? For what species? Oh, hey. Lots of hog deer out there. Almost used the wrong gun. Nice, we got him. Yes, kangaroos drink for really, they, they drink really late. I think it's like zero to three. Very unfortunate that they drink that late. But I suppose it is what it is, man. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Go with the Argus. All right, Courtney, later. Thank you for dropping by. Oh. That is like a lot of hog deer tracks. I don't think that's the same ones. This might be different. No, it's the same zone. Wow. Crazy. No, the 22250 is actually not bad for what it is, Angus. It's supposed to be an in-between of the 223 and the 243. So it does its job perfectly fine. I mean, it's a class 2 to 4 rifle. It's more geared towards, like, class 2. But it'll do okay on class 3. Uh, don't tell Nightbot to stop, John. It's not even a real person. So, it's pointless to tell it to stop. Don't start that. <laughs> Have I used the 223 much? Uh, no, I haven't tried it out too much. I'm eventually going to do a comparison video, though. Like a 223 versus 22 250 thing. There it is. That was a single long shot from 230 meters. Not too bad. I like the little hog deer. I like them more than I thought I would. Not my favorite of the new species, but they're not bad either. This lake down here has really quickly become one of my favorites. Uh, thank you, Ohio. Really appreciate it, dude. 
Yeah, we've shot some Banting. We have. We have been shooting a little bit of everything today. Alright, let's push it up to sandbar time. There we go, some sandbar. And a few oh, hog deer walking away. Oh my God. Little level three. I love the fur types on the sandbar. And there's our first uh, fox coming in. This little lake right here is one of my favorites. It's awesome. Oliver, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Get one of these female sandbar down. What breed is uh, my dog? Uh, the dog we're getting is a mix between a German Shepherd and an Australian Shepherd. There's a light brown female sandbar. The models are great. They're absolutely great. Really hoping to get a uh, rare of them. Like a piebald would be really awesome. Preferably a male. That would be like the dream. Um, I believe sandbar can be up here. Oh, definitely Angus, definitely. For sure. Yeah, we were uh we were well aware of that when we decided that we're getting it. Oh nice R53. That's awesome, man. There's a sandbar there. Just a female though. Where's the males, eh? Maybe on this side. We'll head up to the outpost. Hey, Nicholas, how's it going, man? Oh, yeah, definitely Crystal, for sure. Yeah, my wife's going to be uh, training it and taking it uh, for walks and stuff as often as she can. She's been doing a bunch of research on it. Trying to prepare as much as she can. Thank. We got a lot of really good sandbar lakes. It's uh, good enough to the point where it's like hard to choose which one I want to go to. Thinking we might walk the river. The river is always really solid. What's my favorite fur type for the new great one? I would say my favorite is probably... I'd say the mocha. Fabled mocha is pretty nice. Fabled hooded is also really good. And then most of the other ones, I'll have to see them in game before I can fully decide. Okay, we got both the binox. All right, perfect. Now let's get to walking. It might be, Peter. It might be. We'll go back to it at some point. Uh, she already gave it a name, Chandler. She's naming it Lacey. It's, uh, it's a little girl puppy. Rusa tracks, eh? I can already tell this is going to be one of the maps where I get distracted all the time. Just like, ooh, piece of candy. Oh, track. Oh, that's a sandbar. Oh, Rusa. It's going to be one of those maps. Ooh. 
Really, Hunter? You not only knock down my grass, but you get in the way of the picture, pupper. Chill, bro. Oh, nice, Pike. Got my first time in quail. Let's go. Nice, Red Reaper. Nice. Um, my wife will be doing all of that, Angus. I'm too busy to ever get to, like, do any of that, so... She is going to be, uh... She's going to be taking care of it. Holy crocodile. Were neither of those good? Nah, those two shots were not good somehow. That thing was like really far away from the, uh, from the water, unless that is. Is that water? No. Not water. Looks like it could be, though. There's the dead old crocodile. Ooh, mythical. There's two. Oh, there's a female there as well. Nice. I don't know if we killed him. Dude, I keep getting distracted by Crocs everywhere I go. Where is it? I don't know if we hit it good. Dude, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I think I hit the stump. We got him. Yeah, we kept hitting the tree. Unfortunate. So many crocs, man. So many crocs. You love to see it. Where are those attacks, though? None of those attacked us, unfortunately. Two dead crocs right there. I don't like the growling. Where, where is it? <laughs> what, what you growling at, buddy? I just feel like I could get jumped by a croc at any time. It definitely is, Nicholas. It, it definitely is one of those types of maps. Like, every step of the way, I'm like, Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, another trophy. Like, this is going to be a fun map. Oh, 962. Big boy. These crocs are so cool. Love them. And that's a five. Hit it in the vertebrae the first time. Ooh. Level four Rusa. Piece of candy. Terrible shots. But I mean, it was behind the roots, so not much I can do. Take that. I got you down. That's all I care about. We got it down. Whoa. Another big boy. Dude, we got big crocs everywhere. 
Wouldn't be surprised if we get a uh, diamond one at some point today. Seems like they're everywhere. Ooh, red deer. Nice. I mean, it's not new, but they do have new furs. Like I said, piece of candy type of map. Like everywhere you look, it's like, ooh, what's that? Though I suppose some of that is probably just because it's a brand new map. Wish they had squirrel and added a 177 caliber to hunt them so we would have a pellet gun. Yeah, that could be cool. That could be cool for sure. Hey Huntress, how's it going? No, I haven't died yet. We have not died yet. I've not been attacked by anything crazy yet either. Which is very weird. I expected to get absolutely slaughtered today. Uh, they did add the feral pig uh, ballistics guy. Feral pig are on the map. 120, so this is a little bit bigger than the other one. Just a little bit. Tis a large male. <gasps> Kangaroos! The Roos have come to hang out with the Crocs. Oh my gosh, we got Roos, guys. We got Roos. They're everywhere. So many kangaroos. Uh, no, crocs don't drink because they are, uh, they're kind of in the water at all times, you know? Let's sneak up as close as we can. I kind of want to go box a kangaroo. I think we try to box one of them. Gotta sneak, sneak, and sneak some more. Oof, oh my gosh, they're all over. They are literally everywhere. This is multiple groups. Oh, we got a mythical. Got a seven. The roos are just lounging, having a good old time with a fox. <laughs> they're just hanging out with this random fox. Because why not, you know? They probably all figured, you know, we're all on the menu when there's a scarecrow on the map, so let's just uh, hang hang out together. Where's the nine? That's what I'm saying. Hey, chicken, how's it going, dude? They look so goofy when they go aggressive. I love it. Yeah, they do. I love it as well. It is awesome. The ruse are hilarious. You know, they might go aggressive, like some of them might go aggressive when we shoot that mythical. Gosh, there's three right on top of each other. Yeah, most of them do troll, Mr. Lazy. Uh, they're very similar to mountain lions. I compare these to mountain lions the most. They go to level 9, you rarely see anything below level 5. In fact, I don't think males can be below level 5. Um, you see a decent amount of legendaries, but they troll a lot, and you see tons of mythicals. They are very much like, uh... They are very, very much like mountain lions.
And the fox party has started. This is what I'm saying. There's foxes everywhere, man. Why are you guys traveling? Oh, quail. Hey. Hey, little fellers. Where'd the mythical go? Well, it's quite the party over here. There it is. Come on. We got it. Kangaroo down. Let's see if we can get attacked by these others. I don't know if the others will attack us, but we got the mythical. We got the mythical down. Man, I did not know Ruse could be clear over here. That's pretty wild. I heard a sandbar, I think. There it is. First kangaroo of the day. 444.79. I doubt these things will ever have a chance of being a mythical diamond. Seems very, very unlikely. But that's still a decent kangaroo. Man, we are heading off in a completely different direction than what I intended to, but you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's just go this way. Let's just go this way, man. We might as well. Stubble quail over there. Most, if not all, of the new animal models look awesome. Yeah, they look really good. That's probably the strong point of all of the new species is the models. The models are like top notch. Some of the best work I've seen them do in terms of the looks of the animals. They nailed it, man. Okay, more kangaroos over there. Oh. Another level four Rusa. Well, hello there. You know, I can't pass up that. It would just feel wrong to pass up a Rusa deer. Can't wait to see what the mount is like for the kangaroos. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's fine. Show me the diamonds. We'll find more. We got a long stream ahead of us today, so... We will have plenty of time to check out all the species. Check out all the reworks and all that type of stuff. It was right up here where I shot it. Yep, there it is. So that track says that it's a two-tones Rusa. There it is. That's a 104 silver level four. So that is a tiny level four. I love this fur type though. This might be my favorite. This might be my favorite fur type. The two tones looks really good. Oh, I will at some point, Huntress, for sure. Actually, I take that back. I can't show it off because it's got spoilers in my lodge. There is spoilers in the trophy manager and in my lodge for future videos. 
Hey, there we go. Big boy sandbar. Had to shoot back. The tree was in the way. Jeez, trees are a major issue in this area. So I don't recommend hunting this if you're like grinding. This little mangrove area. Really thick brush. It's really easy to accidentally hit a tree. As we've just seen. This is probably my least favorite part of the map for hunting. Unless I'm hunting crocs. If I'm hunting crocs, this is a great area. It is a crocodile haven. That's for sure. But it's tough to make shots on stuff like uh, Sambar, uh, Rusa, Fallow, other things that drink in this area. Yeah, there's definitely not a lot of grass, which is good. I'm glad there's not a ton of grass. Love to see it. Uh oh. Fight me. Come over here and fight me. You know you want to. Oh, he does want to. Let's go. Holy. Aggressive crocodiles. That was the most terrifying death I've ever seen. His entire mouth went around that root. It looked like he got impaled by the root. <laughs> Boom! That's an olive. 879. Not bad for a 7. That's a big boy right there. Oh yeah, they're huge. I love them. What else? Two females, okay. This is where we will start needing the night vision. Where did we shoot the sandbar? I guess it was over here. I absolutely love the big sandbar. They look really, really good. What was my 38th great one? It was a white tail that we got yesterday. Do I like the painted fallow deer? Yeah, I do like the painted fallow great one fur. It's probably my third favorite. Not my number one, but it's not bad either. It's got some, it's got a decent look to it. Nothing over there. Yeah, the new fur types for the fallow look really good. Like the, the non-great one, just regular ones are great. Hey, Redox, I, I hope it all went well for you, man. Hopefully it all went well. I mean, you're here, so I'm assuming it probably did go well. Foxes everywhere. Yeah, this is definitely the best fox map. 100%. I don't think anything's going to be able to top this map in terms of fox. There's another there. Yeah, there's another, there's another big boy there. Got hog deer drink zone. Okay. Uh, where'd our sandbar go? I lost the track of the sandbar. It's clear back here for the tracks. Hey, business, how's it going, dude? 
Hope you're doing great. Let's just have the dog track. <laughs> oh, you're at five guys right now? Nice, Redux. Let me know if you like it, man. I'm telling you, it is worth the pricing. I love it so much. In fact, I'm, I'm tempted to order some for our, like, uh, lunch break in the stream. Well, it'll be more of a dinner break today, but... Tempted to order some five guys today. Probably won't, though. But, like, I need something quick since we're doing a huge stream today, so... I'll order something quick. Not sure what, though. Okay, our dog doesn't know where the blood is, so... Big unfortunate, man. Really unfortunate. Well, anyway, I know where a lot of sandbar are, so let's just go hunt some of those areas that have a ton of them. Uh, this lake is one of the crazy spots. It's got so many sandbar. Did I already get something? Not during this stream, no. We've shot a lot of nice level 4 uh, Rusa deer. Lots and lots of crocodiles. Uh, we've killed a few quail. One kangaroo. We ended up killing some Bantang. A few nice level 4s. Hey Matthew, you didn't miss too much, dude. No diamonds, no rares yet. DoorDash, yeah, probably gonna have to. Probably going to have to. In fact, I'll probably get the order going. What do we got through here? Are the Fallow good on Emerald Coast? Uh, they're better than Hirschfelden, but not as good as Tiaboroa. I don't like them that much on here. However, one thing I will say, uh, if you're not doing herd management, this map will be fine for grinding. Because you can just pick like you can just pick like your favorite lakes and just grind those. However, if you're gonna do herd management, Tiaboroa is gonna be a better map for that, because it's a lot easier to hunt the fallow there. So it'll be much easier to find all of your zones. But like the the fallow hunting here is not bad. It's uh it's decent. Lots and lots of sandbar running along here. I don't want to shoot the male that was here though cuz I want to see what else is at the lake. Hey, Will, how's it going? I'm super excited, too. You you have no idea how excited I am for this release. In my opinion, best map in the game. We got a fox there. Sandbar there. The tree! <laughs> the tree! <laughs> Wow, that tree screwed us over, man. I think I just hit the bush now. <laughs> We're not doing good. We are not doing good on our uh, shots today. We're hitting trees like it's nothing. What is my luck? Unfortunate. Uh, there'll probably be a lot more around here, though. There's other zones. That was too funny, though. Stupid trees. The trees love to block my shots. We do have more sandbar. Not a big boy four, though. There we go. We got two of them down. Two big boy sandbar down. No more duck aim, it's now bro aim. Yeah, hitting trees is bro aim. Missing ducks is duck aim. 
And then when you uh, hit four whitetail before they spook, uh, that's that's scarecrow aim. Actually, no, it's not. It's that's buck aim. Okay, I'm gonna put up a poll. We're gonna see how it uh, changes throughout the whole stream. Because I really want to see what you guys think of, uh, of this map. Okay, there is the poll. Let's see what you guys think. Get your votes in. Want to see just uh, how you guys are feeling on this map. What your guys' uh, initial reaction is to it. 94.35. So that is a very, very small sandbar deer. And then here's the, the four. We'll take a look at him. So this right here is a very small four. 117.54. Not even a gold. This is kind of what I was saying with the sandbar. A lot of these fours score silver. It's too brushy from what I've seen. Well, allow me to go to the less brushy areas then because we got spots on the map that are very open it's like a 50 50 mix like half of them are very open uh the other half is very brushy so it's kind of a 50 50 mix so far from what i've seen the bad thing is that so many things drink at night um not really there's two species that drink at night for the new ones However, stuff like the sandbar and banting drink like partially in the evening. So it's 1730 right now. They drink from 17 to 20. Um, it's still kind of light at 17. I think it doesn't get dark till like 1830, maybe 19. So it's not too bad for the uh, sandbar and the banting. Let's shoot a few fallow deer though. And we're probably going to just run around the area around here. And take a look at everything else too, since you want to see the more open areas. I mean, look at this. This is about as open as it gets. This part of the map is super, super open. So this map will have something for everybody, in my opinion. I think it will have something for literally everyone, from what I've seen. Uh, early access is for partnered content creators, uh, Stacy. so only select creators that Expansive Worlds have chose will get access to it. It's just for us to kind of show everything off a little bit early, that way everybody can get a feel for what the map's going to offer and decide if they want it or not. Holy, the poll is looking kind of how I thought it would. I didn't think there'd be too many people that were not a fan of it. 53% say it's the best map ever. 19% say it looks good, but it's overhyped. 27% say I still need some time to, or I still need to see more to decide. And 1% say not a fan. Given this is from 145 votes, so it's definitely going to change throughout the day. But as of now... Looks like most of you either like it or love it. Kind of how I thought things would be, because I, I didn't expect too many people to not like Australia. It's just a, it's a super cool map. Hey, Clay Drew, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. 
Hope you're doing good, Clay Drew. How is Lady doing? Hopefully she's uh, still feeling okay. I know she's been sick. And I know that you were uh, in her stream earlier, so... Hopefully she's still been able to continue on. Look at these beautiful, beautiful furs for the fallow. She's feeling better? Okay, that's good. That is good for sure. Alright, we're gonna walk through an area I have not hunted. I have not searched anything around here. In fact, let's go to this outpost. Let's go to the outpost and we'll hunt everything along the way. This is a portion of the map I have not explored. Even though it shows everything open, right? That's just from discovering every single lookout tower. If you didn't know, when you discover all the lookout towers, it opens up the majority of the map except for the edges like this. So I haven't actually explored this area. I went through all of the lookout towers and then straight to some of these outposts, but I never went to this one because it's really far away from water. So we're going to go explore that now. See what we can find along the way. Hoping to run into a bunch of kangaroos. And I got a feeling we're probably going to run into some ruses as we get closer to this outpost. Yeah, Caitlyn's always lurking. Caitlin's always here. Hey, Miro, how's it going? Don't see anything yet. Now, I gotta say, this part of the map over here... This just might be my favorite, like, segment of the map. Um, I've got tents right here. This, uh, this darker green area... It gives off very strong, uh, Pickabean Bay vibes from the Hunter Classic. If you guys have played Classic, Pickabean Bay is one of my favorite maps from that game. And that area that we're heading to now reminds me of Pickabean so much. It's crazy. Hey, Tony's still here. Yeah, Pick a Bean's awesome. I love that map. Do kangaroos have a drink time? Yes, from zero to three. And I think that's because they want people to hunt them in like the open areas more. So they've made it so there's lots of really good feed zone areas for kangaroos and lots of really good resting zones. And then their drink zones are at nighttime. So I feel like they're trying to push people to hunt kangaroos away from water. And I gotta say, they've done a decent job of it. I haven't had too much trouble finding kangaroos just walking around. I definitely think kangaroos are gonna be one of those species where I'm gonna do a lot of multiplayer hopping and just trying to find as many as I can. I'm not really gonna grind them on my own map. Probably gonna do lots and lots of multiplayer hopping for them. What the? They got the, they got the water buffalo glitch where they speed up. Oh, gosh! That's the 22250 on a fox, by the way. Destroys them. I love it for fox. I think that's going to be the strongest point of the 22250 is class 2 and 3 animals. It's not going to do great on class 4, but class 2 and 3, it's going to do great. Yeah, that little dude got the zoomies. That little feller had the zoomies. Another thing I gotta say, not a fan of these iron sights. Not a fan at all. These iron sights are awful. <laughs> I'm gonna just say it. Those iron sights are awful. However, it's not like I'm gonna use iron sights very often, so it is what it is. Ooh, smoked her. You love to see it. By the way, the stats of the brand new... 22250 polytips is um the re-expansion 25 penetration so it's got five more penetration than the new buffed 223 so essentially it's the same as the 223 but with more penetration so the 22250 will be best in most cases it's going to be better than the 223 
We will do more testing today. And uh, use the 223 a bit towards the end of the stream, probably. We will see, though. What do I think of the new harvest screen? You don't like it? Um, I don't mind it, but I don't think it was necessary to change it. I'll put it that way. I don't hate it. I just don't think they needed to change it. It was pretty good how it was. But I'm not mad that they changed it either, right? It's just kind of like, it's kind of just there. It's okay, but it's not like the greatest. I'm sure they'll probably do more updates to it. It seems like they're gradually changing it over time. Jeremy, thank you so much for the membership, dude. Appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, how I love getting stuck on things. What's the new harvest screen? Uh, so they added like uh, some new tabs for each shot you've taken. It's not like a crazy difference, but it's a notable difference. Or I guess a noticeable difference. Hey, CJO, how's it going? How you liking the map so far? I'm so happy you got early access to it last second. That's awesome. I was super happy to see that you got early access to it. There we go. This is a cool outpost. I love how some of these outposts are just trailers like this. So we open the door like that, right? And look at this. You can open those doors. But you don't have to open them to interact with it. See, like if I just go up to it, access cache. And it opens the door automatically. Pretty cool, right? While we're here... Let's look at some of the uh, new skins and things like that. And we will also swap out the 22250 for the 223. We're going to go with that one because it's lighter weight. And we're going to check out the new favoriting system. You essentially can just like click the star in the top right and it'll favorite it. I favorited all the brand new skins. So these come with the Leighton Lakes uh, skin pack. We can't use the wood ones on this gun. Like, a lot of these skins are not too bad. Let's get rid of the gold. Like, this green is really good. This one's not bad. I like this type of a skin as well. I love these, like, kind of brushy patterns. This might be the best skin pack they've done. Like, this camo looks crazy. And then you got this little, like, leaf camo. And then we've got a brand new uh, camo camo. I think they did good with these. I think they did. We're going to go with that. And then we're going to slap on that right there. There's our 223. Do I have the ammo? There we go. Oh, yeah, now we can look at this. So yeah, just five penetration less than the 22250. But same uh, expansion. So 223 is going to do a lot better than it used to. But it will not outperform the 22250. The 22250 will be... One of the go-tos in that uh, range. All right, let's go over here. I, I got to show you guys this part of the map. Like, this little lake that I found is so cool. Huge fan of it. Huge fan. It is, CJO. It's such a good map, man. I love it. Hey, Billy, how's it going? Hope you're doing amazing. Use the 22-250 on a Great One Whitetail? Oh, I definitely will. For sure. I'll probably use it on a Great One Fallow also. Sorry, I was looking at my phone for a second. There is some fallow just drinking right here. I love this part of the map. Doesn't this just remind you of Pickabean Bay? Like the way these trees are and everything, this screams Pickabean Bay 
to me. And there is the white fallow deer. One of the brand new fur types. Second shot did not register, I don't think. There we go. Justin, thank you for the six months, man. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Let me hear your best crow. Oh, no. No, I'm not crowing today. Oh, that did hit. <laughs> foot shot. Of course. A foot shot. This is the new harvest screen that everybody was talking about. Your shots are over here. You click on each one and it gives you the information for it. It shows the distance, how much weapon score you got, the ammo, the rifle, all that type of stuff. And then you can click on true score and it'll bring up the true score. You can click on each of these to see what it says there. I don't mind it. I think it's pretty clean. Definitely could have been worse. All right. Well, anyway, now that we have took a brief look at this little area right here, which I'm a huge fan of, uh, let's head back to the more open area since... We were trying to show off the more open areas of the map. Hope you've been doing good, Justin. I hope you've been doing good, man. Where are all the fallow in Australia? They're on pretty much all the map, uh, Clay Drew. Most of the map has fallow deer. Unfortunately, they're very widespread. But it is what it is. What the? This is... What a... What a feed zone. It's right on top of the outpost. That's crazy. And there's feral goats over there. Which reminds me, feral goats did get a rework. Let's try to get a look at them up close. Two twenty-three versus Feral Goat. Take one. Okay, it's losing health. Definitely faster than before. However, I still wouldn't take this over the two forty-three for the Feral Goats. Feral Goats are one of the tougher Class Three animals. It's like equivalent to shooting a Whitetail. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit less. I say they're a little bit less uh, resilient than the, um, what's it called? They're a little bit less resilient than white-tailed deer, but feral goats are still really tough. We got kangaroo zone right here. Whoa, so this is both of, this is their zone from 12 to 15 and from 9 to 12. So they just... They just stay here the whole time? Or is that two different... That might be two different groups, actually. I think that's two different groups. There's the blood. Let's track them down. I think this is definitely going to be, like, the favorite part of the map for a lot of people. This area is much more open. It's got a lot of cool species like the fallow. It's got the feral goats. It's got the kangaroos. I believe the feral pigs are over here as well as the red deer and some hog deer. It's going to be a nice little area. What's my favorite fur type for the new great one fallow? I like the fabled mocha the most. Where's the starting outpost? It is right over in this area. I believe this is the first one you go to. So you spawn kind of down here. You go to this uh, tower and then you can pick which one of these outposts you want to run to. I haven't missed too much, Luke. No trophies have been taken down. There we go. Zero quick kill. So, yeah, it's not great on feral goats, but... It's way better than it used to be. 
I'm probably going to try it on musk deer at some point. Because I know musk deer are a little bit weaker than feral goats. Where's the ruse, eh? We might have to wait. We'll probably come back to see the ruse. Let's just get to running and see what we can find. How much does the 22250 cost? It is 7,000 currency. So it's not very expensive. It's not too bad. Definitely could be worse, you know, like it's it's a reasonable price, I feel. More zones just everywhere. Another feral goat one. This area right here is just feral goat central. They're all over, man. Before I go, big W's for the thumbnail for the albino on the vid today. Thank you, CJO. I, I spent a lot of time trying to get that thumbnail to be perfect. Glad you liked it. And dude, that Bantang is just, it's so gorgeous. I really want to get some of those on the live game once it full releases to everybody. I need an albino Bantang for my uh, main lodge. Like, I need it. I'm going to have to do a lot of sorting through trophies and trying to like figure out what I can get rid of. Because my gosh, the, the new species are just beautiful. I'm going to have so many rares and diamonds that I'll want to put up there. And replace some of my old ones. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. I saw an albino whitetail at IRL. Nice, Stacey. That's awesome. I've never been lucky enough to see an albino in real life. I have seen, I did see like a blonde blacktail doe though, which I, I've never seen another one that looked like her. Nightbot is a bot, Stacy. It's not actually a person. It's a command bot, so we use commands to bring up specific, like, um, things that we wanted to say. That's wild, CJ. That's wild. Uh, they're doing good, Shadowhunter. They're doing good. Uh, they're at a park right now, uh, with her mom. My wife's, uh, my wife's mom decided to come over and... So they're all hanging out, having a picnic. Cousin saw a piebald white-tailed deer. Nice, Riley. Nice. What is my favorite animal to hunt in the new map? Out of all the new species, I think I've had the most fun hunting sandbar. Sandbar are probably my favorite to hunt right now. If Rusa Deer had a better drink time, they'd probably be my favorite. But Sandbar are my favorite as of now. The Roos are a lot of fun to hunt also. And, I mean, Crocodiles are a blast. But yeah, I'd have to say Sandbar is my favorite. Have you seen the new models for the red deer? I have. They're pretty nice. I don't know if they're more realistic than they were before, but I think they look pretty solid. Uh, a lot shorter hair than before. And uh, depending on which fur type you get, the length of the fur is different. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a nice little touch. A lot of animals got a lot of nice little updates. Probably the most uh, updates to species we've ever seen in one patch. It's it's pretty crazy. 
Wow, we're seeing nothing out here. Where should I go? Maybe cut across down here? How long do Red Deer Great One grinds take on average? They usually take anywhere from like 2,000 to 3,000 kills, but sometimes way more, sometimes less. I'd say average is two to 3,000 for Red Deer though. You should go swimming at the beach, crow. Hey, you never know. Maybe one of these days. If I ever get time away from uh, working all the time, you know. Level six, level eight. Oh, oh, it, we're about to do it. We are about to do it. You get over here. Meet my 223. We gotta see what the others are first. Nothing crazy. <laughs> Wanna fight? You wanna play, bro? Ugh. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what a kick. Hey. I dare you. Oh. I'm sorry! You ran away! I had to do it! This isn't how I wanted this to go. But it's the way it's going. And it's your fault. You're the one that ran after trying to fight me. It's just... It had to happen. It had to happen. I'm sorry. Poor thing. <laughs> Is that? Ooh. You hate to see it. Jeez. Ooh. Ouch. Ah, oh, man. Painful. <laughs> I love these kangaroos, though. They're so much fun. They're so much fun, man. Scarecrow wins the fight. Yeah, 223, 2 OP? I think it is. 223, just 2 OP, you know. Be best gun in the game. Just a phenomenal. All right, guys, since it's a, since it's gonna be a long stream day, I think I'm going to order some food instead of going down and making some because I want to just grind and grind and grind and show you guys everything to do with the map. So what what are you guys thinking? What should I get? A uh, chicken sandwich? Should I get like a burger? Or uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Burger or chicken sandwich? Holy. Okay, I see a lot of burgers. Burger it is. <laughs> five Guys Burger. I don't think I'm going to order Five Guys. We've had some issues ordering from them before. Like, usually if we go to Five Guys, right, we can order what we want there and it's no problem. But when we do, like, DoorDash or Uber Eats or stuff like that, like, half the time... Our order ends up getting canceled because it sends it to like an inactive one. <laughs> it's like trying, it tried to order from an inactive one that was like having maintenance or something done to it. And so it canceled our order, but we never got our money back. So I don't, I don't really like ordering online for five guys. I liked actually going there. Oh, oh, hey. That's big. Probably not going to be a diamond, but that's big. Oh my gosh. That's a giant goat. A 
Look at him. Well, here's the real test of the 223. 223 versus Giant Potential Diamond. Level 4 Feral Goat. Come on! And it's losing HP. Perfect. We did it. Two oh five. Don't jinx it. Daniel, thank you for the nine months, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing great. Nine months as a member. Eesh. That is wild. That is super wild. Doing great. Excited to see the new map. Dude, it's so good. It's new, it's my new favorite map easily. It's so much fun. Like, I can just get lost in hunting this map for hours upon hours. Is it going to make it? I don't think it will. I don't think it's got enough curls. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's going to make it. No, but 201 is pretty big. Solid feral goat. Definitely a solid one. What do you guys think of the rework to the uh, fur types and the models for the feral goat? Do you think they look better? I think they're pretty nice. I think they look really good. They definitely made them look a bit more realistic, I think. Like, the fur fades more nicely. It's a little bit more even of a fade. I like it. I think they did good. That's bigger than your level 5? Yeah, level 5s troll a lot. It's a sad thing. It's a sad thing, man. They troll so much. To take it to a barber shop. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to trim the hair on my uh, dead feral goat. <laughs> I bet that would go over very well. <laughs> Just takes a dead feral goat to a barbershop like, uh, Excuse me, ma'am, can you uh, trim his beard? It's getting a little bit too uh, long. Oh, oh, you're calling the cops? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be on my way. <laughs> that would go, that would, that would go great. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Excuse me? You guys are just running through like you own the place. Uh Cod made themselves trash for real. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it, dude. W channel? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Thank you for the $20 super chat. That's very generous of you. Very, very generous. Hope you've had an awesome day. We got feral goats all over. Uh, kangaroo tracks all over as well. Maybe we'll run into some kangaroos. What are you doing? You're just rocketing over rocks. Maybe that's why it's called rocketing, but... Still, chill. More. Dude, the goats are just all over. I mean, I know it's Australia, but they're everywhere. <laughs> My gosh, Justin with $20 super chat as well. W channel times two. Thank you so much, Justin. Thank you so much. Absolute legend and longtime supporter of the channel. Yes, the Justin's, uh, he's been around for a while. Hey, we got kangaroos. That's a mythical. Okay, okay. We got ruse. 
Is it a solo Rue? Could you imagine if it's a solo Rue, though? Oh, I'm zeroed wrong. That makes sense. Stand up, buddy. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love those animations. They look so crispy, man. Oh, rest in peace, this little Rue. Did you see him just get whipped backwards? That was awesome. Oh, gosh. There's more. Um... There's some really close. Let's uh, try to sneak up on them. Holy. God made themselves trash. Thank you for the super chat again. Another 20. W channel times three. <laughs> you guys are insane. Thank you so much, dude. That's incredibly generous of you. That is incredibly generous. Holy, 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 holy. That is just wild. Random wheel challenge on this map? Yes, we will be doing random wheel challenge on this map for sure. Uh, we'll also do a 60 minute trophy challenge most likely. Lots of cool stuff planned for this reserve right here. Hey Crow, what have I missed? Uh, you haven't missed anything too insane Raider. I think the only crazy like notable trophy was we got a level four feral goat that was really close to diamond. That's been the only like super not notable thing though. Tony with the four months. How's it going, Tony? Welcome back. Thank you so much, Tony. Hope you've had a good day. Hope you've been enjoying watching all this. Been a fun time. Been a super, super fun time showing things off. I hope you've enjoyed watching just as much. Where's the ruse? Oh, hey! I found the ruse. Oh, they're just resting there. Lots of sevens, man. Literally half of these are sevens. That, that's crazy. Let's just shoot this one. Absolutely knocked him back. And down he goes. Okay, we'll get him after we get the eight. I want to see the eight first. Yeah, it's awesome, Tony. I love it. It's such a well-made map. Such a well-made map, man. So freaking good. Kangaroos are so cool. Yeah, they're really awesome, YK. They're really, they're really awesome. I almost said awesome. They're really awesome, man. Yeah, they're great. I like them a lot. Charlie, thank you for the one month, dude. Welcome back. Love your vids and streams. Thank you for all the entertainment, Crow. Hey, no problem, man. Happy to do it. Happy to provide all the entertainment for you. Messed up a 260 whitetail. That's unfortunate, uh, Shib. That's unfortunate. There it is. So this was a solo zone. 406 mythical eastern gray kangaroo. Love to see it. You love to see it, man. 
That is super, super cool. Smacked it right in the lung. Little bit high with the shot, but... Not too bad. Let's hope Mela is a fur type. That'd be so cool. Oh, that'd be great. I'd love to see a Mela one. I don't know what rares they have aside from Lucistic, though. Lucistic is the only one I've seen somebody post, and it was in Lady's video from today. Especially an albino. Yeah, albino would look absurd. Like, the leucistic looks pretty good, but yeah, an albino? That'd look crazy. Oh yeah, the kangaroos, they're, they're very muscular. They definitely are. They look like they could beat you up, and believe me, they will try their best. They, they will run up to you, and they will try to beat you up. Level 5 Chocolate Fallow would look insane for real, man. I really hope we get one. I want a Chocolate and a White Diamond Fallow so badly now. Like, that's a couple of my new goals. My goal for the Great One Fallow Grind is going to be to try and get a Diamond of every one of these new fur types. And possibly a Diamond Piebald as well. Because I've noticed something. It seems Piebalds spawn more often than they used to. I feel like piebalds might be a, like a almost an uncommon now, but not quite as easy to find as an uncommon. And I was talking to some other creators and stuff, and it seems like fallow deer in real life have like those types of special furs more often. So I'm curious if they purposely made piebalds a little bit easier to get for the fallow deer. And there's also something else I noticed about the uh, piebald fallow deer. And because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a video out for them in time, like I'm just going to tell you guys what I discovered with the fallow deer. Uh, there's two different piebald patterns. I've found two different piebald patterns for fallow deer. In case I still post a video on them, uh, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to show both of them off today because we've got to keep a little mystery for if I make it into a video, but there's multiple piebald patterns for fallow. And either I've got really lucky with spawning a bunch of them quickly, or they're uh, not as rare as they used to be. Because let's see, I've killed 189 fallow deer on Australia during early access. I've been doing a little bit of a grind trying to get the great one. Seeing if we can get an early access great one. So. I've managed to get four of them. Four piebalds in 189 kills. So they definitely seem like they spawn more or else I've got really lucky. One or the other. Piebald kangaroo. Piebald kangaroo would look so cool. I'm curious what all the rares are for the kangaroo. As of now, we've only seen the leucistic. But the leucistic looks mm, amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's go ahead and... Let me finish placing my order for lunch. All right. I guess it's like, it's not even lunch anymore. It's like lunch dinner. Like a, it's like a lunch dinner combo. <laughs> I'm gonna be just walking straight for a second cause I gotta type the directions. For the delivery guy.
Ah, gosh, I gotta add all my... One second, guys. One second. Won't be more than, like, a minute. I don't really order food that often. Usually we just like make our own food, right? And so I gotta enter all my information in just so they can deliver it. Okay. There, I think we're good. I think it's placed. It's a special day. It definitely is. It's definitely a special day. The beginning of early access for this beautiful map. Doing a super long stream, so yeah, can't, uh... Can't, uh, waste time making food when I could be grinding, right? Gotta get it to go. Okay, so we're not running into anything crazy. Let's go ahead and change the time to fallow time. And then we will try to get a few fallow deer down. Is 5 medium max for Banting? Yes, it is the max uh, level for Banting. Level 5 is the biggest they get. Anything good yet? Uh, we got a really big level 4 feral goat. It was like a 202 or something like that. Not too bad at all. Um, I don't know if I saw it, Angus. I probably saw the thumbnail, but I didn't see I haven't watched any videos. And Casey didn't really like share any uh any of the trophies that he got with uh with the creators. Same with me, I didn't share everything that I got with other creators either. Because you know, some of it you gotta keep it a surprise. Best Whitetail, great one grinding map. I would say best map for whitetail grinding is between Leighton and Rev, depending on what style of hunt you like. Both can be viable. I like Leighton better, though. What's the hard thing in chat? It's like a way that you can, I guess, show support for the streamer. I don't actually see it unless I... Oh, that is tiny. I don't really see it unless I'm on mobile. Like, it, it's only for mobile... Um, viewers. But as you guys can see, this lake is not too bad for fallow. This has been one of my favorites so far. The hunt for fallow deer. There's a lot of them through here. Can we see the colored tents? Right there. That is actually a good point. I should probably show them off a little bit. This is what I've done to this one. Gave it like the little, uh, the black paint. I think that's the only thing I put on it as well. Oh no, I've got, uh... Got one of the tans right here. It's a really cool system. To be honest, like, stuff like this isn't too bad. Something like this fits a tent pretty good. Same with, like... I like that one too, you know? I like them all. They look good. And if you really want to get wacky... Do something like that. Some of these are pretty crazy looking. 
That's gonna be like the Medved special. But overall, not bad. I like the tent skinning system. Definitely pretty nice. Some of these work better than others for a tent. You can even go bright pink if you'd like, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Is this map good for Red Deer? I have not tried it for Red Deer, uh, King Charles. I've kind of been focused on stuff that's like new and fallow deer. I haven't really focused on old species. Because I'm more interested in seeing where all the new animals are, getting good looks at them. Oh, definitely, Caitlin. Definitely. I'll probably slap some of the, uh, like, Easter camos on there just because... I know it annoys some people, and I think it looks, like, pretty flashy. And you can't get them anymore, so, like, I got multiple reasons to do that. <laughs> Angus. Got a few kangaroos there. These things are everywhere. See what I mean? Like, I'm not even hunting for kangaroos right now. And they just pop up like it's nothing. The kangaroos are so plentiful. Like, you can't avoid them. No matter where you go, you cannot avoid them. Anything on release safe for angler on console? All we know is summertime. That's it. That's all. Hey, Nate, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Also, guys, look at that. $249.99 is now diamond for the uh, fallow deer. They updated the diamond requirement. And you know what that means, right? Means they made some changes to the actual scoring of some of the racks. I managed to get a, I believe, 247 or 244. I think it was a 244 scoring fallow, which before that was like never possible. Like, it was almost impossible to get a 240 scoring fallow deer before. No, Mason. Everybody gets the update the 20th. Right now, it's just a content creator early access. However, it's not that far away. Just four days left, and then everybody will have the map. And uh, none of the progress will be kept for content creators either. Like, anything we get now... It's not going to be kept. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I need to kill that. I don't care if it's the right gun. That's a dark, right? I think that's a dark axis deer. It should die. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. They definitely uh, made some changes to Axis Deer. Um, it's only people that are partnered with Expansive Worlds through their partner pro program, uh, Emily. Creators that are in the partner program for EW get access to uh, all the maps early. But if you have not applied to the creator program and have not been accepted into it, then you will not have access to it. So it's not every content creator. It's just people that are partnered with EW. Love the chocolates. Dark Spotted looking pretty nice, too. Honestly, Fallow Deer in general just looks so good now. So nice. I gotta go see that Axis Deer, though. But we don't get to keep anything in early access, uh, Stasis. All right, it says that my food will be delivered at 249. So, got like 25 minutes roughly. Like 25 minutes till I gotta go eat my food. So, 
That's enough time to shoot some fallow. Oh, hey. There's the two that we accidentally hit. <laughs> the accidental casualties. Ah, oh, they look good, though. What do you guys think? Is this a W right here? Are these changes a W or are they a big L? I think they look great. This is like... I'd say that's a W in my book. <laughs> what? Not sure what that is, though. What you got going on there, huh? Uh, <laughs> something going on there, but yeah, the models, they're so good now. Axis Deer got a huge facelift. And apparently I was walking that whole time. <laughs> yeah, they're so much better. Now let's see the mail. I mean, it was only fitting that Axis Deer would get a rework, right? It's only fitting that they'd get a rework with an Australia map. Axis Deer are actually going to be pretty interesting to hunt now. I could see this becoming a more popular species than what it was before. Now, let's see if where we can find, or if we can find this uh, dark fur type that we unloaded shots into like it was nothing. Question is, where's the blood? Where did I even hit it? Did I miss him? I'm starting to think I may have. Well, that sucks. That's very unfortunate. Wait. Hopper found him. I was tracking the wrong one. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, I like the new models for sure. They look good. Why do they look like fawns? Because that's what Axis Deer look like. Axis Deer do look like a, uh, like a fawn. With all their spots and stuff. There it is. Wow. Okay. That might be one of my favorite reworked furs. The Dark Axis Deer. That's crazy good. I love that fur type. Wow. Wow, man. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Sheesh. That's crazy. I love that. There's a fallow deer. Boom. That's a big fallow. That's an awesome looking fallow there. Holy. I really want to try and get one of those piebald fallow to spawn for you guys because they look really good now. And they do seem to be a little bit more common unless I've just got really lucky. I want to try and get a few of them. Hey, bro, bro. <laughs> you been busy all day, man? I take it you've been, uh, very, very busy. The last creator standing. <laughs> well, not the last, but of the ones you were watching, probably. 189. Gosh, they're so gorgeous. Fallow Deer definitely got such a nice rework. Fallow Deer, Axis Deer, like, so many nice reworks with this update. Still need to see more of the Red Deer to fully decide, but they look okay. No, we have not got the Great One Fallow Deer. We're going to do a bit of grinding today, though, and see if we can. Uh, this stream's going to contain, like, everything. It's going to be Fallow grinding, it's going to be exploring the entire map and seeing everything. 
There's a 216 with the chocolate fur type. Ooh. Can you imagine what a diamond will look like with this? Oh, man, a diamond with the chocolate's gonna look really good. It's gonna be super crazy. Super, super crazy. And also, this will kind of give you a guy, you guys an idea of what the grinding will be like on uh, this map for Fallow. Because it's not too bad. I definitely would say this is not the map to do if you're going to do herd management. Because finding every zone will be very difficult. But if you just want to do a shoot everything grind, then this map will be great because you can just pick some of the... Uh, Lakes that are more open and just hunt all the fallow that you find there. Is this modified rates? No, it's going to be the same as everybody else will get. The uh, build that we play on for early access is the same build that's going to go live for everybody. So nothing is increased like spawn rate wise. If you're referring to all the rares and stuff that content creators are posting, it's because we've had access to the map for one week. So we've had seven days to prepare content. So, we were able to actually get some trophies to show off. This is the first time they've ever gave us seven days in advance. Usually it's like three or four days in advance at the most. But we had a full week to prepare everything. So we were able to get a lot of stuff to show off. There's some more red deer. You know, speak of the red deer. Let's drop one of them real quickly. So that we can get a look at them up close. Uh, we hunted a bunch of crocodiles earlier, uh, Emily, but we'll probably hunt more. I mean, this is going to be a very long stream, so I can imagine we'll be hunting them a bit more. At least a couple times. Oh, hey. Another fallow there. What do you guys think is your favorite rework you have seen so far for the animals? Uh, feral goats, fallow deer, red deer, axis deer, like... What animal do you think has got the nicest rework so far? Really? Okay. <laughs> he didn't move at all when he was alert. And then I aimed too low. Seeing a lot of Axis and Fallow Deer. Lots of people saying Axis and Fallow Deer. That yeah, makes sense. They do look really good. Wish the kangaroos could kick. They do kick, R53. I've been kicked by a kangaroo a lot. They punch and kick you. Yeah, Schrader, for sure. I can see that. I could see that. They definitely do have a much more realistic look. In fact, we're going to get a look at one of the red deer right now. Going to get a nice up close and personal look at this beautiful beast right here. The dark brown fur type. This one still looks very similar to what it used to. It's the other fur type that I've noticed the biggest difference on. Like, this one you can still tell that the fur is better quality. But it's not nearly as drastic of a change as one of the other ones. Is the white fallow rare? No, the white fallow and the chocolate fallow are commons as far as I've seen. Which kind of makes sense because in real life I see so many pictures of, like, chocolate fallow. So, to me, it makes sense that they would make them a common. At the very most, they're like a, a easy-to-find uncommon. But they seem pretty common to me. There we go. Pretty sure this is a zone that I had deleted earlier, so it's nice to see that it's back. I was a little worried about that. Ha! 
Haven't seen you hunt red deer since I've been a follower. Been waiting for this. Yeah, Jonathan, for sure, dude. I mean, I've hunted lots of red deer in the past, just, you know, a long time ago. Anything else here? Nope. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Yo, what? Oh, my gosh, there's a pie. I I did indeed order a slice of pie. So kind of you to uh, deliver that to me. I don't know if that's going to be vitals, but it's just a female, so I don't really care. We got Yeah, we got the vitals. Let's go. We got a pie ball. Of course, it's a red deer, but I kind of wanted to see that with the new fur anyway. That is sick, man. That is sick. That is super awesome. Let's go check that out first. We'll get our uh, fallow after. Poor fallow. <laughs> Just lay in their face first. That is awesome. They look awesome. They do. That looked really good. I wonder. Do we have multiple piebald patterns for the red deer now? Because that didn't look like the ones that are in my lodge. Because, like, they updated all the old ones, right? And none of them looked like that, I don't think. I wonder if there's multiple uh, piebald types. There might be multiple patterns. We will have to see in the coming days. I feel like that's different, though. That is awesome. You tap out for two seconds? Ah, uh, that's how it be, Caitlin. That's why you gotta watch like 24-7. You can't even take your attention away from it. Look at that beauty. Our first rare of the stream. Definitely different. That's what I was thinking. Like, this does not look like the normal pattern that we're used to. This seems different. It definitely seems different. I'll have to check it out at some point. The problem is, I can't go into my lodge on stream because I've got spoilers for future videos. I mean, I guess if I switch to a different scene, I can. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll just make sure that I've got everything placed before I switch back to the normal scene. Because I don't want to give any spoilers away for the diamonds I ended up getting in early access. Because I did run into a couple diamonds during that week we had to prepare. I did find a couple diamonds, so... Can't be spoiling that now, can I? Alright, though. Let's jump in and take a look at them. I got to see the piebald side by side. Yes, I am going to lose all progress when uh, it full releases. Whenever we get full release on the 20th, I will lose all progress from this map. Because this is a completely different save file. Essentially, we just import our saves over to the uh, beta build. And that's what we're playing here. So none of it carries over. All right. We're going to go to the other scene real quick. And then I'll get everything placed so I can avoid the spoilers. And yeah. Then we'll show them off.
Okay, we're good. So this is the new one. That's the old one. Looks the same. Yeah, they're the same. They didn't change them. So it's not... It's not a new pattern. It's just a reworked version of the old one. Also, look at that. Isn't that for beautiful for Red Deer? I love this. This is one of the new commons. Isn't that gorgeous, man? This is what it looks like on my legacy rack one. So that's what the light brown fur type looks like now. And this is what the Mela looks like. Isn't that beautiful? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> they killed it. They absolutely nailed it with the detail. And then here's what a piebald uh, stag looks like. Pretty cool, I gotta say. Pretty cool. Not bad at all. Um. Okay, there's spoilers in the room over there, so I can't go there. I don't think there's spoilers in here. No, all this is old. Okay. So these are the ones from today's video. This is all the stuff I got in today's video. This looks beautiful. I love that. Absolutely insane. Yes, the old piebald did get changed. Uh, they have to convert them over, right? So any of the old like piebalds, they will have got like updated. Do you guys want to see what the new pattern looks like for the for the fallow deer? Because again, I don't know if I'm even going to release that video. And if I do, it's going to be like four or five days from now, and I'm sure by then somebody will have got one on foot on video. So if you guys don't want spoilers, then stop looking in three, two, one, because we're going to show them off. These are the new pie balls. And you know what really shocked me the most? See, this is the old one, right? These two that are staring at us, this is the old one. This is just what it looks like now with the new fur. So this is like the piebald pattern that we're used to, right? But they added this one as well. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I was blown away when I saw that there was two different patterns. Like, look at that. Two different patterns and they look incredible. Incredible, man. They look so good. Also, albino red deer looking nice. Looking pretty fire. And this is the albino axis deer as well. They look great. They absolutely nailed it, man. They absolutely nailed it. This is one of the best updates we've ever got. So many, like, revamped old animals. So many like new rares added, so many new species, a brand new map, new gun, like so many good things. Can we see new stands? How do you find so many rares? I have 5,600 hours played in the game 3D print. And I play roughly like 5 to 10 hours a day as a content creator. Alright, I'm going to show you guys this. Without spoilers, I'm not going to show what they are. Look at that. Isn't that a cool multi-mount? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> There's a bunch of different fighting poses, but I can't cycle through them or else it'll show the, the scores. And I don't want spoilers. But it's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. They did good. They did really good. So, when are we going to get a Roosevelt uh, elk for a rework, huh? That would be awesome. I'm kind of hoping we'll get one. And then here's our... Here's more of our red deer. From our great one red deer grinding that we did a while back. There's the regular brown. This is the light brown. And this is the dark brown. They all look so good. Oh, and, uh, did I mention 
Eyeballed uh, axis deer looking nice. Isn't that beautiful? Such a good update, man. Such a good update. Hold on, let me let me put this axis on a full body. Actually, I think I have all of the trophies placed, so I don't have to worry about spoilers in the trophy manager. Pretty sure everything is placed already. We gotta scroll all the way down, find Axis Deer. Where's a piebald Axis? Oh gosh! Come on. Where's Axis Deer? There we go, piebald Axis Deer. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. They look incredible. The Axis Deer rework might be one of the like sleeper hits. I think this is going to be one of those reworks where nobody really knew it was even going to happen, but it ended up being really nice. I think this is going to breathe some life back into Axis deer hunting because for the longest time they've been one of the species that nobody really cares about because they were bugged on release, uh, a lot of people thought the true Rex didn't look good, and their models were always weird because they had to upsize them because they used to be too small. Now that they've got a full rework of the model and the furs, I think they're going to be more popular now, especially since they're on Australia. It's amazing, man. Super amazing. Alright, let's go to... Emerald Coast and continue hunting. Yeah, they look great. All right, I gotta go get my food, guys. So we're gonna take a break. Uh, I'll be back in like 20 minutes. Stay tuned for more uh, stream. But uh, in the meantime, feel free to go check out some of the other content creators that are streaming right now. We'll be back in 20 minutes after I finish my uh, lunch, dinner. What is it? I don't know. It's 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 lunch for me because I, I didn't really eat this morning. I was working, getting everything ready for the stream and uh, getting everything ready for the video. So I will be back in like 20 minutes, guys.
Hello. Hello, my friends. We're back. We're back to take down fellow deer. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing great. We have returned. We have returned. Let's see what we can get going. Let's see what type of big males we can smoke. Hope you're all doing good. What did I eat? I had a uh, one of the like Western burgers from Carl's Jr. It was pretty good, Tony. It was pretty good. Been a while since I've had one of their Western burgers, so I decided that I'd have one today. I think the last time I ate one was like three or four years ago. They're still pretty good. They're okay. It's not my favorite place to get burgers, but they're not bad either. They're solid. That's like the best way I can describe it. They're solid. Not my number one pick, but they're solid. Smoked him. Imagine you find a great one foul in early access. Ah, that's what we're trying to do, Cheesy. We're trying for it. I don't know if we'll get it, but... I wanted to at least give it a try. I'm from Oregon, uh, 3D print. Yeah, they look great, Tuxedo. They look amazing. Uh, this is not full release yet, Tuxedo. I'm gonna grind Tiaboro on full release. Early access, we're going to be doing Australia just to give you guys some Australia grinding. You know what animals don't drink on Australia? Just stubble quail and crocs, I believe. Believe that's it. And no, I haven't found all my zones. I'm not doing a super hardcore grind in early access. Thoughts on the new diamond score for Fallow? I like it because they completely like redid some of those racks to make them score different from what I can tell. It seems like the scores are much more... Uh, they make more sense. I guess that's the best way to put it. Like there's no huge gaps in scores anymore. I got a 244 scoring Fallow for the first time ever in early access, so pretty cool. Well, I feel like it was a good change. I think it was definitely a good change on their part. I've only been getting one male here, but he has been a consistent male. That is also my 200th kill on Fallow Deer on this map. I think we got a chance that we could end up getting a uh, Fallow Great one. I hope so, at least. Gosh, the white looks so good. So beautiful, man. Love to see it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, Johnny, I'm back now. How's it going? How do I keep track? With an app on my phone called Click Counter. I just press the plus button every time I get a kill. Every time I get a kill, I press the plus button. Ibai's already at like 1600 somehow. It's because he's only been grinding Fallow for the most part in the uh, seven days of early access. I was like getting tons of content ready for other parts of the uh, update. Ibai did a bit of like uh, hunting around with some of the new species and then I think he went straight to grinding. So Ibai's going to be a lot further into it. He'll probably get a great one in early access, like 100%. Moose may have been tough, but I can see him doing it with uh, Fallow easily. No, you don't get to keep any of the trophies from early access. No trophies will carry over.
And you may be wondering, why would you want to go for a great one in early access then? Well, it's a challenge. That's why. It's a challenge. And it would feel incredible to get an early access fallow. I mean, did he outright say that, CJ? Or was he getting mad at you for saying that you were going to watch my stream in his chat? Because that's a completely different thing. That's more of like, you don't need to announce it when you're going to somebody else's stream type of thing, right? That's more likely what it was. Isn't it always a challenge? Yes, but now it's like a limited time challenge, right? It's like, can I get one before early access ends? Oh no, I zeroed for 75! We somehow still got him! Oh my gosh, a one. We have a one on the map. Well, I guess we'll leave him. I gotta leave a level one. They're too adorable. I don't know, Johnny. <laughs> I was gonna say, what happened there? Gosh, you CJ. There we go. That's the dark fur type. Love to see them, man. Love to see them. Is the new map a DLC? Yes, it will be a DLC map. Best money grinding animal. Um, red deer are really good. Speak of the devil, there they are. Red deer are great for money. Is the new map good for red deer? I haven't hunted red deer on here much. I have not checked their drink time, so... I don't know if it's good here. I'm going to assume it's probably decent. Beautiful. Yeah, it's awesome, Mr. Lazy. I like it. Uh, yes, fallow deer are pretty much across the entire map, which is why I'm only hunting a few spots. And it's why I'm not going to try and herd manage them in early access. It just would not be worth it. Would just take way too long, so I'm just going to shoot everything and hope we get something. Did 308 get nerfed? Uh, not that I've seen, no. I'm just getting really unlucky shots here. Hitting the bones quite a bit. Uh, yeah, Daniel, this is part of the content creator early access. We've had the map for like a week. It's been about a week since we got uh, access to it to record. Today was just the day that we're allowed to show it off. <laughs> I see the people! That hot air balloon, balloon is so cool. Gosh, I can barely speak today. That hot air balloon is really cool. There we go. English is tough. Yeah, it's so cool, right? I love that hot air balloon. It's a nice little touch. I don't know exactly what it's for, but I believe it's part of the missions. If I'm not mistaken, I think it is like a mission type of thing, but I haven't looked into it very deep, so. Any bucks here? Hmm. 
Nope. No male fallow there. Now, I think there was another fallow herd that I was hunting, but I can't remember where. I don't remember where it was. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe I'm, uh... Maybe I'm thinking wrong. Anyone know if they did anything else besides changing the front red deer, like drink time slash behavior? I haven't noticed anything else different, no. Just like the model changes for them. That is the only thing that I have seen so far, man. Apparently, Jaxie already tried shooting the hot air balloon down and did not uh, get it, so... Seems you can't do that. They, they knew that we would try. <laughs> they knew we would try. So they made it so you can't. Uh, yeah, Johnny. So we're, yeah, we're kind of in a fallow grinding portion of the stream. We'll be back to hunting everything else in an hour or two, most likely. We did the first two hours just hunting everything. Then we're going to do a couple hours of grinding and then I'll do a couple more hours of hunting everything and kind of go back and forth vice versa. Early access is something for partnered content creators in the expansive worlds like or the uh, Hunter official Discord Cheesy McNuggets. So any of the content creators that make it into EW's partner program will get access to the map a few days early to show it off. That way people can decide if they want to purchase it. Yeah, Johnny, for sure, for sure. It's a long vid, so I mean, yeah, nah, it's going to be a long watch. I don't believe they changed the Great One Red Deer. From what I heard, they didn't change them. As far as I understand, they did not change Great One Red Deer fur at all. And I think that's because they already were different. So they didn't really need like an updated texture or anything. Because they already had a better texture than the rest of them. Why is it not showing the outline? Now it is. Well, that's a bug. I have not ran into that. That's so weird. Our respawns are not here either, so. Yeah, Optic, we're going to see if we can get an early access one. We're kind of doing both fallow and everything else today. Trying to include everything in this stream. Like, I want to get an idea of how the grind will be on Australia, because I have a lot of people asking about it. And I'd love to try and get an early access fallow great one. But I'm also trying to hunt everything else today too, so we spent a couple hours hunting around the entire map. Now we're going to do a couple hours of fallow grinding, then later on we'll do a couple more hours of just hunting around and hunting whatever we can find. <laughs> Baby level 3. That is adorable. As of now, the only notable trophy we've got today was a piebald uh, red deer hind. Piebald female red deer. Holy fallow. Three males. There's a fourth male. So low buck though. Rip, that guy got away. We got three, though. That's not bad. Why are females called hinds? No clue. Your guess is as good as mine. No, it's not the same thing, uh, Philil. It's something different. I already have the clues toggled on. Uh, we were running into something else that was just preventing it from showing up. Did I? I deleted that zone. Oh, no. Where are they going to show up? Wait. Did they merge with that herd? Hold up. I think they did. 
if they merged with that herd, that's actually really good. Because then that saves uh, tents for me. Then I can move a tent. I think they did move right here. Let's see. That's red deer. Okay, <laughs> that's red deer. I think they did move though. Is this a good map? Yes, I love it. It is a really good map. Really fun. Yeah, I think those two groups did merge. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, either way, we can remove this tent now. Yes, this is the brand new Australia map, Camo Clan. It will be released to everybody in four days, but right now we got the early access look at it, so... Enjoy, my dude, enjoy. Lots of content gonna be shown on this map over the next few days. Are the birds on the loading screen in the game? Yes, they are. Those are the magpie geese. They look really cool. Big fan of the magpies. I can probably slap down this tent over here. Definitely need one here. There's that little one. So no buck is here either. Glad you enjoy the content, man. They look like dinosaurs? Yeah, the magpies are really wild. They definitely got a dinosaur-esque look. For sure, man. For sure. How long did it take me to discover the whole map? I was not keeping track of how long, but I'd say it's at least 20 or 30 hours. But I wasn't trying to discover it all, like, instantly. I was taking my time with it. Just having fun. Uh, yeah, Blake, I'm at 210 kills as of now. I didn't do a lot of grinding before we were allowed to stream. Because I want to do most of the fallow grinding live in case we spawn a great one, right? The last thing I would have wanted was it to show up before we could stream and have somebody being like, Ah, oh, there's no way that he got that legitimately. How, how can you get one before it even released? So I decided I'd do most of my grinding live. So far... I don't mind the fallow here on Australia. I think it's pretty good. How big was the update? I don't know because I did a fresh install of the entire game. I always do a fresh install whenever there's a new update. And since this is an early access build, I did a fresh install anyway just to make sure everything was right. Do zone indicators always show up or just sometimes? Are you talking about, like, the need zone indicators on the map? They'll show up whenever you pick up a track that uh, is a drink zone one, right? These indicators will show up at any need zone that you've discovered. Once you've discovered it, it will stay. Oh, we got a new herd here. Is that where the herd went? Was over here? I think we found them. I think they went here. I mean, that's cool, though. Yeah, Giga Spoon. I mean, a lot of that is a combination of a few different things, right? So, internet speed will greatly affect how quickly you download a new update. And then, like, uh, the platform you're on, if you're on console, it's going to take longer because the updates are larger, because of the way the files are 
are on those uh platforms right it's unfortunate but it is what it is it's kind of the nature of the beast Uh, Rusa drink from 20 to 0, unfortunately. I hate that they have a nighttime drink zone. It's very sad, man. Super, super sad. I suppose it is what it is, though. Uh, if you want to see the kangaroos, go back a little bit in the stream and you'll see some kangaroos, Spectre. We got, we're trying to get to everything today, so I can't just go back and forth like to whatever each individual person wants in chat, right? We'll, we'll get to everything throughout the day. We've already checked out all the new species, and so we're doing some fallow grinding now. Only so much I can do, you know? I want to get to a lot of different stuff. I, I can't just like constantly be going back to stuff that we've already checked. I want to make a little bit of a push for a great one fallow. We already hunted all the other species today. We will go back to them. So um, if you want to see like the ruse and stuff, you can either go back like an hour in the stream or so or wait a couple hours and then we'll be checking out ruse and stuff like that again. But I can't just keep bouncing back and forth. We're going to do it in like little uh, two hour segments. Yeah, pretty much, Will. I mean, I, I want to be able to get an early access Great One Fallow. Like, it would just be such an achievement. And as you guys know, I'm very competitive. I'm incredibly competitive. And I always want to go for, like, the best of the best trophy, right? And with this update, that's the Great One Fallow, dear. And it's something I've waited for for so long. And I want to see what the grinding's like here on Australia. Because I've had so many questions about, like, do you think Australia will be good for fallow grinding? And, well, so far it seems okay. I wouldn't say it's number one. It's not going to be Tiawaroa, but it's solid. Like, you can totally get a good grind going for the fallow on this map. It's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, Dawson, Lady Legend got a leucistic, I believe. I believe, at least. Uh, I'm not in a race to beat him, Will. I, I I don't think I'm ever going to get a Great One Fallow before I buy. I buy just... He's been doing the grinding for longer than I have. I mean... I guess technically I've been grinding for the same amount of time. Actually, longer. I've been grinding for longer, but he's been doing the hardcore grinds for longer. I used to be a very casual grinder. Like, I never took it too seriously, and it hasn't been until recent, like, the recent months that I've really took it seriously. I think it was, like, a little under a year ago when I started grinding for them more heavily. I used to be a very casual grinder. Nowadays, though, I, I go hard with the grinds. Gotta catch them all. It's like Pokemon. Sam, thank you for the 13 months, dude. Really appreciate it. And Necron, thank you for the 8 months. How's the map for Fallow? Gonna come back to Call the Wild after 5 months to play the map? Uh, it's pretty good. The Fallow hunting is not bad here. It's better than Hirsch by a long shot. Not as good as Tiaboroa, though. Tiaboroa will be the best fallow map. 100%. We have three males there. Alright, looks like it's just those three.
Nice, okay. Yeah, Ibai's been going crazy with the Fallow. He's been grinding for quite a few days at this point. He was pretty much immediately on Fallow when the uh, early access dropped. I only did like a little bit of Fallow grinding before today's stream because I didn't want it to spawn when I wasn't streaming. And also I had a bunch of video content I need to get ready, ready for like the uh, other stuff. They should add the 300 foot spiders they have in Australia. <laughs> uh, no thank you. How many kills? 218. 218 so far. We are gonna need some ammo very, very soon. No, I don't get to keep anything that we get in early access. Nothing we get will transfer over. So if we get a great one, we don't get to keep it. But I still want to try. Still want to try. Yeah, for sure, Zevin, for sure. I buy his kill count is already up there. It's like 1600 or something. My guess is they're going to be around 2,000, like Whitetail. 2,000 or less is my guess. Whitetail are like 1 to 2,000. I would imagine these will be the same. Although I would love it if they're like Moose. Moose are like an average of 500 to 1,500. Which is great. Ooh. Beautiful. Love the white fur type, man. Oh, he turned. He turned, man. Did I miss anything special? Yes, we got a piebald red deer female. They look really good now. Oh yeah, Zevin. I remember that. That was something else back then. Ah, It's so cute! Adorable little fallow. Yeah, that one's tiny, man. Heard somebody got a great one white tail and 400 kills. Yeah, I've had a few that were 400 or less. I think I've had... I think I've had two that were less than 400. Most of my white tail are more than that. I only see one of the herds. Pop that real quick. I made a bad shot, I think. I don't think I compensated enough. Yeah, he's gone. CJ, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emos, the extra Discord channels, and scrapped uploads on the channel and all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much. Okay, there's the other herd. Other herds just got a little level three. Uh, Donald, thank you for the 11 months. Holy fallow deer, finally. I know, right? Going for those fallow. Hoping to get a great one. Finally, that was the most subpar shooting I've ever done. No, Raider, we're not on break. Somebody tell Raider that he's probably not caught up on the stream. He probably paused the stream when I went on break.
There we go. The other one was not a good shot, so it's probably not going to die anytime soon. I think we will leave it. Yeah, no problem, Raider. I try. I tried to have everybody let you know. Because, <laughs> yeah, you were definitely behind on the stream there. We have not been on break in a while. Okay, I haven't seen a male fallow here in quite a while. I think it's time to pack up. I think it's time to pack up. And I'm pretty sure we only ever got one there anyway, so I'm not too worried. This has fallow. Yeah, this area's got two fallow zones. Yeah, I buy's going wild. He's going for that fallow great one hardcore. I had to like balance my time between fallow hunting and trying to get like other trophies for videos and stuff. But I didn't get to do as much grinding as I would have liked. Okay, we need to reposition everything here. Not a fan of where we've got everything placed. Okay, let's save that and then... Alright, now let's walk over here. Uh, the multi mounts will have to wait, Logan, as I do have spoilers in my lodge. I'll probably do a YouTube short that shows them off, though. I'd say it's very likely that I will do a uh, YouTube short on the multi mounts. Why everyone's saying fabled? Because it's our uh, it's our good luck. It's the good luck for the grind. Trying to summon the Great One. We must summon the Great One, Fallow. And tell him, Fallow me. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I had to. Anything yet? Uh, nothing yet, Johnny. You joined right as I did a pun, though. Why do you always, like, you always join right as I make a terrible pun. <laughs> You, you just get really unlucky, Johnny. There we go. What the? Okay. Well then. What a weird tripod. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it definitely is, Johnny. It definitely is. I honestly cannot wait until we uh, get to actually start our, like, uh, our actual fallow grind on Tiawaroa. I am so excited for when early access is done. Uh oh, it unequipped stuff. Did it? Yeah, it's not counting that as being equipped. There, now it is. Figure we'll just pop him with the 300 to make sure he goes down quickly. Are 
Are all my zones for Fallow going to be the same? No, they're going to be a little bit different. You'll have to refine most of them. Some will be the same, but uh, some will have changed. Can you show us the new Bison True Rex? That will be in a future video, CJ. Yes, Evan. Super green in the chat. You'll love to see it. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. Red deer running away. Yeah, I think fallow grinding is actually going to be decent on this map. If you're not doing herd management, it's probably going to be great. But if you're doing herd management, it's going to take a long time to uh, find all your zones and shoot down all the ones you don't like. Because there's a lot of places that they can be. But it seems like they're really consistent with their respawns, so that's nice. Like, out of the 225 kills that I've done on Fallow Deer in early access, they pretty much always spawned in the same places. Uh, not this one, do man. This is early access, so I'm not gonna start up herd management yet, just, you know, because I'll have to start it all over again whenever the live, uh, build drops. Ooh. Five! We got a five! Let's go, our first level five. <laughs> Holy level five fallow. Not one of the fur types I wanted to see with that rack, but oh my gosh, we got a level five. It's a troll? Uh, they redid the scoring for the fallow, Johnny, so it might make it. We don't know. I got a 244 level four the other day. So, it might make it, because it, it seems they've redone the scoring on fallow. I don't know though, this is the first five I've seen. This is the first level five. But I actually don't know if it's gonna make it. All I know is they've redone some of the scoring. Diamond is now 290 or 249.99, so 249.99 is diamond. We got him. Holy man, we got a diamond potential fallow deer. Holy. I mean, it's wide. That's really wide. It's a diamond. <laughs> I like I was saying they reworked they reworked them, man. They reworked the fallow deer. This is now a small diamond. The new reworked fallow can score 255 and be a diamond. That's crazy. That is awesome. So 249 Point ninety nine is diamond now. And it seems that level 4s can score in the 240s now as well. And it, you didn't used to be able to get a 250s diamond, I don't think. Yeah, Johnny, that's what I'm saying. They revamped them a little bit. They did a bit of a rework to the fallow deer. I mean, that's definitely a new rack, I'd say. Isn't it? That has to be. Look at it. That's 100% a new fallow rack. Now that you mention it, Johnny, that, that's got to be a new fallow rack. I like that a lot. Yeah, this is the small diamond, uh, Kenneth. This is crazy. I like that a lot. Our first diamond. Let's go. <laughs> that is awesome. 
Diamond Fallow looks sick now, man. That's just a little feller. Let's see if we can get a giant one. Yes, but this rack didn't exist before uh, GHC. That's what we're. That's kind of what we're talking about. Before you could not get Diamond Fallow below like 262 or 260. Um, they just never scored 250s before. So this is a first. Before it was like if you scored below 260, it would be like below 230 usually. There was like a massive gap in scores before. And now that gap is gone. The rework on Fallow was so much more than just new fur types. Like, they revamped so much with the Fallow. Super cool. Yeah, we're going to try and get a great one Fallow in early access. We're going to see if we can pull it off. Anything over here? Nope. Uh, no. Axis, you're not getting a pop reset, oddly enough. I'm not sure why, but they're not. It's a strange thing. I expected them to be getting a reset. What is the best map to get diamonds? Um, Revontuli and Silver Ridge seem to be the best if you're just trying to get, like, diamonds in general. Because the animals are very easy to hunt on both of those maps. You have a 259 scoring fallow? That must be like a really tight rack, Eli. That's rare. That is really rare. But with this update, it won't be as rare. Um, yes, I do have a different channel that I play other stuff on. Uh, JXKFRN. I've got, um... I have a channel that I do like first person shooters and like uh, stuff like that on. It's called Scarecrow Uncut. It's where I do all the other types of games. Level three. And level three again. Red Deer, hello. And some pigs as well. All righty. That both herds? I think it is. But I think only one of the males respond. Two hundred and thirty kills. Uh, Fallow are across the whole map, do man, the whole map. The white Fallow are so good. The white and chocolate Fallow are gonna be like gold rares, or not rares. They're gonna be gold diamonds of mine to get. No, they won't show me the diamonds. I already checked. I already checked my Tiawaroa in early access, and, uh... There was nothing too different from before. It was, like, this, the same range. What's my favorite diamond to grind or hunt? Favorite diamond? I don't know. I've always been a fan of the red deer. They're real, they're really satisfying to get. I think they've got some of the nicest looking diamonds in the game. No males there, but we got a male here.
You know, maybe we can get some of the solo males to swap with one of these. Let's, uh, try to shoot one. Eh, let's shoot two. Give us twice the chances of maybe swapping them. Get anything, anything since break? Yes, we got a diamond fallow, dear Bebop. And there's a new rack for diamond fallow. We got a 255 scoring diamond fallow. And it looked amazing. So, really exciting stuff, man. Really exciting stuff. This is super exciting here. Whoa! That's a fallow zone! Crazy. How long do I plan to stream? Most of the day. I'm gonna go for as long as I can. There's the hot air balloon. Just chilling up there. Watching us shoot Fallow repeatedly. You know, what? I wonder what it's like to be a spectator up there just watching Fallow Deer drop left and right. <laughs> That must be something else. Favorite trophy that's not a great one. I don't know. Uh, non great one favorite trophy? I don't know, to be honest. I have a lot of them that I like. Um, Melanistic Pheasant is one of them, for sure. You there, buddy? No. All right, well, that guy is not popping out, so it is what it is. Can't win them all. Does what you said mean that you don't have to find all your zones if you aren't doing HM? Yes, if you're not doing herd management, you don't have to find all your zones. All you really got to do is find enough consistent ones. Uh, COD made themselves trash. W channel times five, I think. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. I believe it was times four? I believe that was the fourth one. I could be wrong, though. But thank you so much for the super chat regardless. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. How many fallow drink zones are on Tiawaroa on average? Uh, never done a grind there, so I don't know. We will find out whenever we start our grind. So we'll be learning it all in real time. You guys will get to see us exploring and learning about all the places that they can be. Yeah, definitely Bucks Wanted. I remember you telling me about that. Hopefully it goes well, man. Do I have a piebald gator? Yes, I think I have a couple of them. Two hundred and thirty-three fallow deer down. How do you make the tracks pink? It's in your settings. If you go into the settings, there's tons of options for customizing different aspects of the game. Look for the one that says active track color and inactive track color. Really want to see what the rares are for Crocs? Yeah, same. I've seen a piebald one get posted. That's it. Actually, I might have seen a leucistic. I can't remember if somebody got one of those. I know somebody got a piebald. I think it was Kinsko posted a video on one today. Uh, COD made themselves trash. Thank you so much for the super chat again. 
On a real note though, thank you for, or thank you Crow for being such an amazing content creator. We all appreciate the hard work and dedication you put in W channel. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate the support. You know, it's you guys that allow me to make the daily content. Without all of you watching, there's no way I'd be able to do full-time content creation, so thank you all so much. It's the reason I get to do what I love. Oh, CJO got leucistic. Nice. CJO with the W trophies. You, you're just going to bounce away. Okay. I see how it is, buddy. Hey, K9, how's it going? How you doing? I need to pace myself, man. I'm talking way too fast today. Talking way too fast, and then I end up uh, stumbling over my words. I need to just chill, relax, get my grind on, and have some fun. What's my favorite trophy in my lodge? Uh, I have a couple that I really like. One of them is my Fable Two-Tone Moose with the uh, big rack. And then the other one is one of the 50-50 Whitetail Great ones that I got recently. It just looks so incredible. Definitely a favorite of mine. There's our little pet level one. I'm gonna call him Spike. That's his name, Spike. Good old Spike. Yeah, exactly, JX, exactly. I get to mass slaughter pixel animals for a living thanks to all of you. It's all because of you guys. You guys make it happen. Y'all are the real legends here. Okay, nothing over there. Good to know. Nice, Mirrored Madness. That's awesome, dude. That is, like, an awesome combo. The typical rack looks so good for the Great One Moose. I'm a huge fan. What's my favorite species to hunt so far on the new map? Uh, the sandbar deer. The sandbar deer are a ton of fun. I do like the rusas and the ruse and the crocs as well, though, and the bantang. It's hard to choose, man. <gasps> Ow. Chill, bro. Chill. The beautiful chocolate fallow. Please give us a chocolate diamond in early access. I would just, I'd be so happy. That'd be so cool if we could get a, a diamond chocolate fallow in early access. Like, jeez, man, that'd be awesome. There's our red deer. Why did they change the harvest screen? Ah, because they wanted to clean it up a little bit. Make it so it's less cluttered and I guess more like in line with what the changes have been to the harvest screen in the last couple updates. What do you mean by it looks bad now? You gotta specify. I've seen some people say they don't like it, but I've never seen, like, anybody explain the reason they don't like it. Like, what looks bad about it? Because I haven't seen anybody give me, like, a full answer on that. Two more down. 240 kills into the grind.
Oh, you want to dive into the white fur? Yeah, that's going to look crazy too. Why doesn't Nightbot like uh, other languages? It's just because I can't, I, I don't understand anything but English. And so if somebody types in another language, I don't know if they're saying like something like terrible. They could be saying slurs and I wouldn't know because I don't speak other languages. So that's why we don't uh, do other languages in the chat because I only know English. And so if, uh, if we allowed like all languages in the chat, I wouldn't know what half the people are saying and they could be saying some terrible stuff and I wouldn't be able to even like put a stop to it because I wouldn't know. I don't know. I like this harvest screen. I like how everything has the, the info for each shot here. It's more detailed, I feel. I feel like it's less cluttered. I don't think it's a bad change. It could still be tweaked, but I don't think it's bad. I think it's a decent harvest screen. Did I mess this one up? No. Okay, we got it. Where did it go, though? Right up there. There it is. The layout's bad, but it's the same layout they've always done. They didn't change the layout. The layout's the same as it was last update. They just added, like, more details to the shot info and stuff. The actual, like, layout's the same that it's been for months. Metal's too small? Okay, I'll have to kill another and look. We will have to get another look at it. You don't like the color scheme? But it's the same color scheme that they had with it last time. That, that's what I'm saying. There's no changes to, like, color scheme. It's the same as it was before. You know, let's just pop one of these, see if we can maybe get them to swap with a buck. Also, something to keep in mind, guys, I play on a 32-inch 1440p monitor. So it's probably going to look different than what it will for you guys. I, I play on a big monitor on 1440p, so I imagine this is more spread out than it will be for everybody. Pretty much anything on 1440p looks a little bit more stretched out, which is why on the Hunter Classic video from yesterday, the uh, actual, like, claim info was so tiny. It's because I play on 1440p. Not too bad. Uh, let's see if we can get this mail to render in. Ah, uh, no business. I have not been playing it. I will eventually, though. Uh, I've just been too busy with early access. No time for other games right now. Gotta go, go, go with the early access, yo. Uh, yeah, Tiabaroa will likely be the best fallow map. This one's good, but it's not, like, insane. Beautiful. Love to see that, man. That is a beauty. An absolute beauty of a fallow. Yeah, I, I, I'd say it's probably very likely that Tiabaroa will be the king of fallow still. This map is decent, but it's not insane for fallow. More Javan Rusa. We might try to go find that mail real quick. 192. Let's go see if we can find that mail.
I so badly want to find a diamond uh, rusa that I'm just going to go for every single rusa I hear. Oh, that's a hog deer. A level four hog deer. It's a small four, though. Ah, oh, it's a tiny one. Oh, there's one closer, too. Ah, He's adorable! <laughs> okay, like, I think... The more I look at the Rusa, the more I think they are going to be my favorite deer. I think I'm going to like them more than Sambar once I learn how to hunt the Rusa effectively. That... Is that a rare? That kind of looked more white than normal. It might just be the lighting. I think it is just the lighting. I don't think that's a piebald, but just in case we'll kill it. The black bear grind is so annoying. I agree. I am not a big fan of it myself. Least favorite great one Call of the Wild has released. You guys may be shocked to hear this. It's not the bear. The bear is not my least favorite great one. I don't like the grind for it, but I think the great one bear actually looks really good. Like, I'm a big fan of the six different fur types for bear. We're talking about just the look of it. We're not talking about the grind itself. Just the look of the animal. Great one bear is not my least favorite. It's the red deer because there's very little variety. The red deer has one fur type and four antler variations. All four antler variations look almost identical. In fact, there's two of them that look literally identical. The only difference is like two different tines. Like that's it. There's only like a small difference between some of them. And because of that, red deer is my least favorite great one. They just didn't give it much to keep like, to keep it interesting for a long time. It's like once you have two or three red deer great ones, you've seen them all. They need to add more fur types to the red deer. If they add more fur types to them, uh, they will shoot up in the ranking quite a bit. But right now, that lack of fur types just kills it. Lack of fur types and all the antlers look the same. That's why I haven't gone back to them. I mean, I've got six great one red deer. I don't need any more because I know it's going to look identical. It, with the whitetail, I've continued grinding for them because, I mean, we're 27 Great One Whitetail into it, right? We have 27 Great One Whitetail. And most of them look a little bit different from each other. Like, I've got so many weird and wonky looking Great Ones. The Whitetail Great One has crazy replayability because of Truex really making those antlers look different from one to another. But with red deer, there's not a lot of, like, variance in the antlers. Truex doesn't really affect them as heavily. Have I ever messed up a great one? Yes, we messed one up yesterday, CJ. It was unfortunate. I broke my streak of good shots on great ones. It was a big old rest in peace. But to be fair, it wasn't fully my fault, which made me feel a little better. I kind of got screwed over by the game. But at the same time, I should have paid attention and I should have waited. It is sent what what happened essentially is the great one put its head down to start drinking right as I shot. And I was using a bow, right? So by the time the arrow reaches it, it's probably like a second later. And so during that one second from when I released the uh, arrow to when it hit the great one, 
He had already- Ooh, we got two here. He had already put his head down to drink. And because of that, his spine had lowered. And so I ended up hitting the spine. Tragedy. Tragedy, I tell ya. But it is what it is, you know. You can't win them all. <laughs> you can't win them all, man. It was bound to happen eventually with the amount of grinding we do. What is that racket? Looks weird. I guess we'll find out. You talking about that one? It is kind of weird looking. That's a cute little fallow. But here's the weird one. Is that new? Is that a new rack for fallow? I think it is. I think that's another new rack. That doesn't look normal. I, I'm guessing they just filled any of the gaps in score with new racks. It's looking like any score range that wasn't really like common before they kind of made new racks to fill those gaps honestly i'm glad they've done that the spoon rack yes seven there's been a lot of names thrown out to be honest i don't know what i'm gonna call them I've seen it like uh, people have called the like no tines one. They've called it the no tines rack. They've called it the paddle rack, the uh, spoon rack, club rack. Like, there's been a lot of names for it. Curious what the community will settle on. You called it the mitten rack? It does look like mittens, doesn't it? It looks like those uh, like fingerless mittens. That That is crazy. You know, it also kind of looks like a boxing glove. I mean, that's kind of the same thing as a mitten in terms of look. They do look very similar. Just wild. Absolutely wild. Three males there. Oh, we got a solo. Solo fallow, though. Ah, feels bad. Nice. Yeah, this map's not bad for Fallow. Like, as you guys can see, I'm only 246 kills in. And, like, we've got consistent zones. If you don't care about doing herd management, then, like, this will be a really easy map to just jump on and start shooting some Fallow. What's Diamond for Water Buffalo? Uh, like 167, I think. Somewhere in that range. I don't hunt them often, so. Uh oh. There's one over there. Of course, there's one over here. Ooh, that's a nice three. Don't run from me. Stay, bad fallow deer. I didn't tell you you could run. No, it's fine, CJ. I I don't I don't like uh 
I don't limit like mild cussing in my chat. Mild cussing is fine. One seventy-five. I just don't personally cuss on my main channel because YouTube guidelines type of reasons. But uh, it's fine if it's in the chat because I can't get like I can't get demonetized for something somebody says in chat, right? So, ooh, that's a nice one. My old cussing's fine in the chat. Just nothing like like no f bombs, you know. That's about the that's about the limit. Just no f bombs. On the second channel, it's a little more loose. Second channel, anything goes. Because we're not doing, like, hunting content on there. Second channel's just, like, first-person shooters and things like that, so... Second channel, it's, like... It's a free-for-all. Aside from, like... Like, no, uh... No racist stuff, obviously. We don't allow that anywhere. But on the second channel, like... I don't mind if the, uh, cussing gets a little more wild. But yeah, here on the main channel, I don't cuss at all. And for chat, I limit it to people can do like mild cursing. That's it. I buy his 22 diamonds already. Yeah, he's been grinding more than I have, Stinger. He's like 16 or 1700 kills in. I'm like 250 kills in. And I've chosen not to herd manage them, so I'm not going to get as many diamonds. I chose not to herd manage them because I don't want to have to redo herd management when full release happens. Because we're already going to be herd managing our Tiabaroa. So I didn't want to get deep into it on here. Any diamonds so far? Yes, we got one diamond and it was really awesome looking. I am a huge fan of the new rack for diamond. Looks really good. <laughs> I had to double check to make sure we didn't have too much pressure before taking him. Do Kangaroo go to Legendary? Yes, they do. They go clear up to Legendary. It's honestly kind of wild to see them go that high. Not what I expected at all. Any diamonds so far? Yes, we've got one diamond fallow deer on the day. Uh, we also got a piebald red deer, so that's pretty sick. It was a female, though. What would I consider a big diamond fallow score for the old scoring? Uh, 270 plus. Anything above 270 was big back uh, back before this. Now we don't know what they can reach. Bro, the red deer being in here kind of threw me off, not gonna lie. I was like, oh, that's huge! And it's a red deer. <laughs> Just a red deer. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Get a little hog deer respawn in there, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. I immediately was like, oh, that's a big fallow. Oh, it's a red deer. Never mind. <laughs> 199 chocolate fallow. Gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Super duper gorgeous. Little hog deer. That is adorable. That is just so cute. They are really freaking cute. Yes, they are. Okay, I got an idea. I kind of want to delete the fallow zone over here and see if it'll go somewhere else. Actually, maybe I should do that with one of the ones that's closer. We'll see. Uh, it's content creator early access hunting gods, so you have to be part of Expansive World's partner program in order to get access to the map early. One of the herds is not here. Let's see if we can get them in their zone. No. 
Where are you at, man? Silly fallow. Yeah, I miss the open betas too. They were always really nice to help, like, uh, weed out bugs. There we go. Got one male over there. Yeah, if you guys did not see it, that, that reminds me, now that you've mentioned it in chat. Uh, they're doing another free week on Epic Games, so be sure to get your free copy of The Hunter Call of the Wild. If you play on PC, it will be free on Epic Games for a full week, which is honestly huge. No, Hemu, they don't. Nothing will carry over to the live build. Okay, so there is no more fallow there. How are the fallow? They're not bad, Grizzly. Early access look at the fallow so far has been going pretty good. Um, to be honest, Raider, I don't even know how to get the magpies to cooperate. Every place I've tried to hunt them, the crocs spooked them the whole time. We'll probably save magpie hunting for another day when I learn more about it. Because right now I got no clue what to do. No, the free week is not for the DLC. It's only for the main game. You'll be able to get the base game for free, but DLC does not count in that. DLC will all be purchasable, and I believe it's going to be on sale. I think it'll be on sale. Uh, for those asking to see specific species, we'll be looking at some of the species later. Uh, we spent the first two hours of the stream just hunting around and hunting all of the new species, so... If you want to see them right now, uh, you can go back like a couple hours in the stream and you should get to see all the stuff you're wanting to see. Um, but we will be returning to some of those species later in the stream as well. So The new fallow looks so good. They do, man. They look awesome. Well, yeah, but you still have to pay for Game Pass, uh, Show Me the Diamonds. With this uh, Epic Games free week... You'll be able to get a copy of Call of the Wild on PC through the Epic Games Store for free, and it'll be yours forever. You'll, you won't have to pay for it at all. Which is pretty sick. Yes, if I get a great one in early access, we n will not be able to keep it. But I'm not too worried about that. I just want to get one. I just want to get one so I can show it off to you guys. And so I can have the achievement of getting one in early access. Boom. Welcome back, uh, Tony. Has anyone got a great one yet? Nope. Um, I buy premiums is grinding for one. He's like over 1600 kills into the grind. And I'm 255 kills in because I, I just started recently. I did a bit of grinding a few days ago, but I only shot like maybe 170 or 180. And then I just focused on recording content for other stuff. So now we're really getting into it to see what we can do. Part of me wants to eventually just try out Tiabaroa grinding in early access and just see if we can maybe get lucky and get one really quickly there. Because I know it's just going to be such a smooth grind compared to Australia. Three bucks, and there's a buck over there. Oh, and there.
He stopped! <laughs> That's a lucky deer. That's a really lucky deer. This zone is so good. I love it. Or fallow there. Yeah, true, Zevin, true. You can save a lot of money that way. 100%. Yes, Davit, we can all see your messages. Yeah, I mean, I could totally do it, Oliver. It's just a matter of how much time I decide to put into it. Right now, at the current pace, we're probably going to get about 50 fallow an hour. So if I do 10 hours a day, that's like 500 fallow a day. I could get like 2,000 fallow in the four days of early access if I did nothing but grind fallow. But obviously, I want to do other stuff too. So we'll see. I think if we can get lucky and get it like sub 2,000 kills, we might be able to pull it off. Uh, they did a bunch of changes to the racks off Duty 149. They added some new racks to Fallow Deer and uh, changed a few of them to score differently. So they ended up changing the diamond requirement as well. Fallow got more than just a fur rework. Like they added new furs. They improved the existing ones. They added more variations to the piebalds. They changed the racks a bit. And they added the great one to them. So Fallow got like the most insane facelift that we've seen of any species. Pretty insane, honestly. Very impressed with what they've done. Pop that dough as well since she's there. Hope Whitetail get new racks. Me too, Johnny. I'd love to see them get a rework. It would be a breath of fresh air for them. Indeed, Walker. Indeed. I definitely recommend it, uh, Nice Man. It's a good map. This map is probably the most solid map they've ever released. Super well done. Lots of awesome animals. And just a beautiful map. This should be called the Fallow Update, not Australia. Yeah, they, they did a lot with the Fallow for sure. I mean, they should just call it the facelift update because so many old species got reworked. But, you know, I get it. The Outback update because Australia. So I get why they went with that name. Really, bro? <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. I know that freaking tree, dude. It's right there. Gotta love it. Lots of gold level 4 fallow popping up. Yeah, so for those of you that didn't know, any tree that you see moving, like if it's a tree or a limb on a tree that is just moving, like swaying back and forth with the wind, you can shoot through it if it's one of those. I don't think a lot of people know that, but yeah. You can shoot through the ones that are moving. But if it's a stationary tree, then you can't. Like if it's completely still, then it cannot be shot through. Three males here. Oh, 
Come on, die already! It'll go down. That was not the cleanest kill, but it'll go down. Johan, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. How good is Fallow on Australia? They're decent. They're not bad. Not as good as Tiabaroa, but way better than Hirschfelden. So they're, they're, it's a nice middle ground. And so far from what I've seen, I'm not using herd management right now. I'm just shooting every Fallow in a few different positions. So with just picking a few consistent herds and just rotating on them, you can actually do pretty good. So, so far, it's been enjoyable. They're definitely not bad here. Thank you, Supreme. Really appreciate it. Glad you like the content. And also, welcome to all the brand new subscribers. We've gained quite a few during this stream. I think we've gone up like 60 or 70 new subs. So, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy the content and thank you for being here. It's all of you guys that make this possible. Ah, uh, yes, I did check on my fallow for Tiawaroa. It's not too bad. They're still in the same spots they were before, so they didn't do any type of changes there. Which is good. There was no redistribution for the Fallow on Tiawaroa. So they're going to be just as overpowered as before. That's a big four. That's a big boy four there. Can you grind rares the same way, or is there another method? Yes, so you can grind rares the same way that I am right now. In fact, that's the most effective way to get rares. Just repeatedly shoot the same, uh, like the animals in the same zones until you get a rare to spawn. Rares are a completely random spawn, so it's just the more of a species you shoot, the more chances you have at rares. Because there's no way to predict when you're going to get a rare. Fallow deer are only on the right side of the map on Tiabaroa. They're actually incredibly overpowered on that map. Like, insanely overpowered. Ah, uh, we've shot all the new animals today, Connor. If you want to see some of the new animals that we aren't hunting at the moment, uh, the first two hours of the stream we were hunting everything. And I also hunted everything in today's video, so if you guys have not seen today's video, highly recommend checking it out. It's 58 minutes of early access footage. It's insane. My longest video that I've ever put on the channel. But I wanted to make it, like, jam-packed with, uh... Ooh! That might be a diamond. Maybe? No. May it would have to be top of the estimate to be diamond. So I don't think it will be, but that's a big fallow. That's a huge fallow. How many kills? 266 for fallow. Hey, Tyke, how's it going? Good to see you. Just popping in to say hello and wishing you luck hunting before I roll off to bed. Ah, uh, no worries. Hope you have a good, uh, a good evening. Glad you could at least stop by. 248! It was so close! <laughs> we almost had our second diamond of the day. <laughs> look at, gosh, the new racks for Fallow look incredible. Like, I this was definitely not a rack before, right? There's no way this was a thing before. 248.49. They definitely added multiple new racks for the Fallow. That is so good looking. 
I think I like this one better than the other rack that was on our five. So close, man. Jeez. Uh, that's that's a big one. I'm liking what they've done with the fallow. Like, I think the fallow is literally the best part of this update, if I'm being honest. I mean, they got a great one. They got a bunch of new fur types. They have multiple piebald patterns now. And they have new racks for the diamonds and even for non-diamonds. They killed it. Wish I knew you were still live earlier. Would have come and hung out. Yeah, I've been live since, I think, noon, if I'm not mistaken. So, we've been going for four hours and 45 minutes. Just been having an absolute blast, uh, smoke and everything. This map is wonderful. I love it. I love it so much. It's such a wonderful map. Okay, so we're getting that bug again where... Wait, did we get... Hey, I think we got a... Uh, the buck that was here to swap with a doe. I hope. That'd be nice. That way we don't have to come over here anymore. I don't know. I kind of like the new harvest screen. I've seen a lot of people say they don't like it, but I don't think it's that bad. I think it's pretty much the same as the last one. Just with more condensed information on the right side. If there's one thing I would change about it though, it's probably the size of the text on the left side of the screen. Like I would maybe make the text a little bit bigger. That's probably the only change I would make. Like I like, I like how all the shot info is condensed now. And I like how you can see the information for each individual shot you take. It's going to suck for Xbox. Uh, in what way, Camden? I'm curious because something... Something that's probably affecting it for like how you guys can see it right now is the fact that I play on 1440p. And usually like a lot of things end up looking smaller if you... Uh, have a 1440p monitor. So I think there's a lot of things where it could just be that it's uh looks a little bit smaller for me than it does for anybody else. I don't know. I haven't looked at what the other content creators have done video wise, so what does it look like for other content creators? Is is it the same? Uh Hunters, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Another two down. 270 kills for Whitetail. Or not Whitetail, Fallow. I'm so used to Whitetail grinding. Can you guys tell? <laughs> so used to the Whitetail grind. That even when I'm not hunting Whitetail, I think I'm hunting Whitetail. It's a problem. scarecrow has got Whitetail problems. Nice, Connor. That's awesome. That's awesome. They do, Tyke. They look really good. I'm super blown away. I, I genuinely think the fallow deer is my favorite part of the update. Oh, three males here. Okay, we're finally getting some of the females and males to swap. Holy... Nice, Connor. That's awesome. You definitely won't have bear problems for the next four weeks. Wow. I I hope we don't. If I if I get a bear like experience on my fallow deer grind, I will genuinely be sad. How do I feel about the red deer touch up? I like it. Um. It's not as, like, extreme of a touch-up as I was expecting. It's very subtle. 
but they definitely look more realistic now, I'd say. Especially the, um... Especially, like, the light brown male. They look really nice. Now, in terms of, like... The rares, I think they're probably the best part of the rework to Red Deer. The rares look really good. But I think with the Red Deer, I still need to hunt them a bit more before I can fully figure out how I feel about them. But uh, so far on first glance, I think they are better. Nice, two more fallow down. Hunters, thank you for the super chat again. Do you remember me from yesterday? Yes, I do. I definitely do. Yeah, Billy, it did. It did. Yesterday was wild, man. I can't believe we got a great one to spawn yesterday. As our, like, last ditch effort to try and get another great one before the update. It was the luck of having the beard himself in chat. It had to be. It had to be the Jaxi luck. No, Gustav, I didn't. What is your favorite animal to hunt on Emerald Coast? So far, it's between the Rusa and the Sandbar. I like those a lot. Um, another one that's been really fun is... Oh, two males here. Another one that's been really, really fun for me is the crocodiles. The crocodiles are just insane. I love how aggressive they are. It's just crazy. You know what was hilarious about that too, Stinger? <laughs> Jaxi literally made a joke earlier in the stream about like sending me a great one and then we got a great one like an hour later a bunch of people in chat were like Jaxie give him a great one he's been grinding really hard give him a great one and then Jaxie made a joke he's like oh it's already on your map you just haven't found it and then he was like just kidding and literally an hour later after like another probably 70 kills we end up spawning a great one <laughs> it was the best like the best timing possible I was just blown away. Sheesh. Yeah, it was wild, Billy. I can't believe it. What great one did I get? I got a uh, big rack great one white tail yesterday. Nothing there. There should be crocodiles on Verhonga. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Would they have to do a different type of croc, though? Or is it a saltwater croc on uh, in Africa as well? I'm not familiar with that. Oh, for sure, Lep Boy. They look really good. Did you tag him with the, hey, I found it on disc? No, he was still in the stream when I spotted it. Jaxi got to watch me uh, spot it and everything. It was pretty cool. It was a really, uh, really cool Great One encounter. Probably one of the most memorable Great Ones I'll ever have. For that reason, and also because I messed it up. I spine shot it. <laughs> First time I've ever spine shot a Great One. And it was because uh, I was using a bow from about 40 meters. And I had just uh, reset my perks so that I could use the perk that makes it so you can shoot while you're prone with a bow. And so I was trying that out. I was 40 meters away, getting ready to take the shot. I take the shot, the arrow goes flying, and it puts down its head right as I shot. And so by the time the arrow reached it, it was already moved down, and it had put its back down a little bit, so I spined it. If it hadn't have started drinking, it would have been a good shot. But I should have waited. I should have just waited a little bit longer to shoot. But I, I wasn't really thinking. 
I expected it to keep its head up a little bit more. But like I told chat yesterday, like, it was bound to happen eventually. With as much grinding as I do, we were bound to eventually mess one up. To be honest, I'm, I'm surprised I haven't done that to a whitetail before. I mean, we've literally, like, barrel stuff no-scoped a great one with the 45 Rollison and didn't mess it up. So, I was due to mess one up. <laughs> so, it is what it is. I'm just happy it wasn't a rack that I didn't have. I'm just happy it was a big rack and not, like, a typical rack. If I had messed up a typical rack, I'd be so sad. Like, I would be beyond sad at that point. I was a whitetail, Waylon. Yeah, exactly, Tyke. Exactly. Which is why I'm not too upset about it. I think we've got 27 whitetail. And I've only messed one of them up. Yeah, I did hip shot the uh, great one red deer with the Glock as well. That was, uh, that was a crazy kill. Might be one of my best uh, great one kills of all time. Do I really only see two fallow males here? Whoa. I should have kept looking. He, like, did an animation as he was dying. That was wild. He, like, kind of flipped around. 201. Solid fallow. I know, Johnny, that was crazy. I remember when I took that shot and I saw it lose health super quick. I was like, are you kidding me? There's no way I just did that. Uh, true, Ty, true. It's not everybody can say they got a messed up great one. You're right there. More people have not messed up ones. Oh, hey. Where's our pet level one? Where did he go? Where's old Spike? There he is. Howdy, Spike. How you doing, buddy? Wish I could spot you. The cutest fallow alive. He is adorable. Oh, there's two males. I didn't see that one at first. But I saw the chocolate fallow. That's a new level one wreck? Wait, it is? You telling me that's a new level one wreck? I thought it looked bigger than normal. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Okay, that is a new level one rack. Gosh, we just keep finding new things. This update's incredible. <laughs> this is incredible. Don't think they looked like that before? Yeah, definitely not. There's just so much to uncover with this update. We keep finding new things. Pretty much every animal that was reworked has been reworked in more ways than we thought at first. It's so nice to see. Super, super cool. Three males here. Nice. Okay, they're being way more consistent. I think I successfully swapped all the solos with females. I think I successfully swapped them. Oh, there was four? Or did I only kill one? I might have only killed one. Did I kill the other one? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, he probably ran a long way, so we won't worry about him. Convinced that great one red deer aren't real. I've got 1,300 kills, one super rare, and no great one yet. Oh my gosh, a super rare after 1,300? That's crazy. 
Congrats on your super rare. That's like way more difficult than a great one. You'll get it eventually though. Usually great one red deer are like two to three thousand. In uh, my experience at least. Nice, eh, Rod? Nice, dude. Let's see if we can get the other herd to show up. There we go. There is another fallow. Nice. Rip 16 scoring fallows? I mean, maybe they can still score low like that. My hope is that this is a new one that was added on to the old one, right? I hope we still have the old ones. One ninety one. Big boy, Red Deer. Plus a guaranteed piebald diamond gator to deep water. Oh no. Oh no, man. I'm sorry to hear that. That sucks. It happens, though. I've lost some, uh... Oh, gosh. I've lost a few, uh... A few diamond gators before. That's a big one. That's probably a 248. I'm guessing that's top of estimate. We need to move this stand around real quick. There we go. Much better. Much better, man. How much longer will I be live for? Uh, quite a while. The goal is to go for, like, at least another five hours. Give or take a few, you know? Depends on a few different factors. I want to stream as long as I can so that we can get a really good look at everything, get a good idea of what the fallow are like, hunt some of the other species along the way, and uh, hopefully get a great one. But then, it's also going to depend on uh, what time my daughter wants to go to sleep tonight. If she's getting tired at like 9 o'clock, I might have to cut the stream like a couple hours short. But, um, if she goes to bed at like 10 or 11, then we'll stream until then. 223. Okay, so that was not a 248. 223. Good to know. Very good to know. Oh, no, Supreme. That's the worst. Um, if you want to, Connor. Yawning more than watching. Uh, oh, the message just went away. Uh, good luck getting some goodies to spawn. Night, y'all. Later, Ty. Thank you for dropping in. Hope you have a good sleep. And we will do our best. We're going to try and get something good. So far, we've done good today. We got a diamond fallow. And we got a piebald red deer. So, can't complain, you know? Can't complain. We're definitely doing okay. Oh, I just realized I forgot to grab that Rusa. We'll have to go grab it. I forgot to pick up the Rusa. Gotta go get our little Rusa deer. Yep, 
Yeah, they did lower the size of the uh, Springbok a little bit. I don't know if it's more realistic. I feel like it's not, but I don't know. Uh, CJ, thank you for the super chat, dude. What great one should be my first? You choose. Hmm. Well, if you don't might mind waiting till the 20th, I would say Fallow Deer. Uh, if you want to get started right now, I'd say Whitetail. Whitetail is one of the more fun first grinds to do. Uh, the Chocolate and White Fallow are commons, Cody. They spawn very often. I've seen them pretty much every run. I don't think they spawn quite as common as like the Spotted and like the Dark Spotted and Dark, but they're like pretty much the same rarity as far as I can tell. They seem to be commons. Which I actually think is a good thing, because in real life I don't think they're that rare, right? Like Chocolate and White Fallow Deer are pretty common. Especially the Chocolate. I see I've seen so many pictures of Chocolate Fallow. Do you have any tips for tent placement? Uh, yes. If you want to check out a guide that I've got on the channel, I made a guide with Lady Legend about, like, general tips for grinding, and we have a whole, like, tent placement segment in that video. So I would recommend checking that out if you have not. It should have lots of helpful info. Yeah, a rod for sure. They're uncommon in the game? I don't think they're uncommon. I see them every single run. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hey. You know, I was hoping that you would swap with a doe from another zone. Because I don't exactly like this lake that much. You know, I might just try to shoot this down to like a two and then leave it. Gotcha, Cody. Okay. It might be similar to that in the game as well. It's not rare enough to be considered uncommon, but... They also seem slightly harder to find than like the uh, spotted, dark spotted, and dark. So, like, they're definitely not rare enough to be considered an uncommon, I think, but there is slightly less of them than there is the other fur types. When you get your great one, Blackberry, you should do a video of the highlights leading up to that. That'd be the longest video in the world. We've had so much stuff leading up to it. Uh, that, that would be a long video, man. I mean, let's see, that's a dark, right? I think that's a dark. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now, Logan. That's what we're doing right now. Okay, there's the rest of them. See, there's a chocolate there. But they're not super hard to find. Twenty-four hour video at least, I know, right? He moved as I shot. Die already. There we go. Yeah, I'm at two hundred and ninety kills right now. 290 kills on the fallow. Stoked about the chocolate and white fallow because I have two nice bucks on my wall in real life and having them in game is a dream come true. Oh, for sure, dude. I'm so excited about them. I had been wanting them in the game for a long time as well. Definitely nice to finally see them. I mean, just look at that. The chocolates are so beautiful. <laughs> I love the chocolate fallow. So nice looking.
Oh, gotcha, CJ. Uh, the thing is, like, I'd have to go back to all my videos that I put them in and, like, find it from the videos, and that would just be... That would take ages to do, and it would also be very low quality because I'd have to download it off of YouTube. Whenever I get the Great One Bear, I'll probably just post, like, uh, obviously the bear, and then, like, maybe a few of the recent kills that were leading up to it, but I won't post, like, old kills that led up to it. Chocolate looks a lot like the mocha fur. Yeah, it's got similarities, for sure. Definitely has some similarities. Twinkies, how's it going, man? Thank you for the 13 months as a member. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back. And I'll be right back one second, guys. Give me like one to two minutes. I am back. I accidentally spilled water on my shirt, so. Oh! What are you doing here, buddy? How'd the first one miss? <laughs> That's crazy. That was wild. Just out of nowhere. Uh, yes, my boy, I do. I've got two cats. And we're getting a dog very soon. What a liver shot. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Freaking kangaroos think they own us. Rolling up and splashing around me. Making me think I'm getting attacked or something. Crazy. Hey, Bee Weaver, how's it going? Hey, Deer Killer, how's it going, man? No, we have not been mauled by anything yet. I mean, we got chased down by a couple crocs, but we killed them both before they were able to get us. We've just been blasting like a ton of everything today. Ooh. Um. I'd say the olive tabby, uh, Zevin. That sounds pretty sick. Don't forget the ruse, they knocked you out. Uh, they didn't knock me out, no. They they did not. As far as I know. I don't think we got knocked out by ruse at all. Any diamonds? Yeah, we got a diamond fallow. So far the trophies are a diamond fallow. And a uh, piebald red deer hind. That has been our trophies of the day. Honestly, not too bad, you know? Two trophies in like five hours?
Another white fallow. Only one of the herds is here. Got a male there, and then that male. Okay, so we got two males. Let's pop them and drop them real quick. Popping them and dropping them. And flopping them. Boom. 295 kills on the fallow grind. Fallow grind battle be wild on Tuesday for sure. I'm going to go hard with it. Tuesday will likely be another 10 plus hour stream. All fallow grinding all day. Yeah, for sure, Johnny, for sure. They will be very tricky to tell at a distance. So beautiful. See what I mean though? Like the uh, white and chocolate fallow do not seem to be uncommon. Like, seems like every zone there's one of them. They might be one of those weird ones where the game classifies it as uncommon, but they're not as rare as some other uncommons. They might be like an in-between. I think that's likely what it is. I think they're probably classed as an uncommon, but one of the easiest to find uncommons. There we go. Get that guy's attention. Oh, I did not think we would drop him like that. Yeah, it could be. It could be like a 25% chance spawn for either of those. It's hard to say. There's a dark spotted. We'll keep track of it as we go to each zone, see how many of them we find. We've killed a bunch today, though. In fact, let's look at our last 20 kills. Thank you, dear killer. I'm really surprised we didn't hit the tree, to be honest. Hunting log, latest harvest. So, we got white chocolate. Chocolate. So, three out of 20 have been those so far. But then we've also had some runs today where I got like three of them in one zone. So, we will have to see. That continues. But like when I think of an uncommon, I think of something that's like a 1 in 50 chance of finding, right? I think of something like how Dilute Mule Deer used to be. That's kind of how I view uncommons. <laughs> yeah, A-Rod pretty much. Gotta do it to them. Get them moving. They like to move it to move it. They don't like to move it to move it. Do a little reset here. How rare is a rare? Uh, usually like 1 in 400, 1 in 500 kills. Rares are very hard to find. I sometimes go 1500 kills without a rare on grinds. He likes to move it. Okay, the male's there. Is this map good for Fallow? Uh, it's decent. It's not as good as Tiabaroa, but it's it's solid. One of those ones where it's not my first choice, but it's definitely not my last either. It's um, I kind of can consider it to be like an equivalent to like Rancho for Whitetail. Like Rancho's not the worst, but it's also not number one. Kind of like an equivalent to Rancho Whitetail.
Let's drop this fallow real quick and then we will reset the time to get the rest of them here. That's a chocolate and another one that is not a chocolate. It really feels like getting a chocolate or white fallow deer is like a one in five chance. Seems to be about one in five and I headshot her. That's fine. Bro. Oh, gosh, don't look, guys. Don't look. On another note, though, 300 kills. 300 kills. There's another chocolate fallow. We're not going to worry about that one that ran away. It never happened. It never happened. That water looks nasty. Yeah, it's a little bit, uh, looks almost like a chocolate milkshake. That can't be good. You know, chocolate milkshakes are great, but it's not good when your water looks like one. Another chocolate fallow there. Yeah, pretty good amount of chocolate fallow that pop up. I'd say one in five is probably the accurate representation of their spawn rate. About one in five to get a chocolate or white, I would say. Two twenty. Ooh, vertebrae on both. We must have been zeroed for three hundred. Two twenty is a pretty big one, though, man. Not bad at all. Welcome back, Johnny. No, Red Deer did not get any changes to antlers. It was just fur types for them. They only got fur type changes. No, like, uh, antler changes for them. I was zeroed for 300 again. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that, man. I gotta stop miss zeroing there. I need to actually look at it and not just click the key the amount of times I think I need to. <laughs> I'm just gonna blame it on the five and a half hour stream, you know? We've been going for a while, you know? I'm bound to make a few mistakes here and there. It's gonna happen. <laughs> 181. Yeah, we spined that one. Probably spined this one too. Further over here, I guess. There it is. What do I think about the map? I think it's going to be my new favorite. I think it has overtook Revon Tuli for uh, the map that I'm going to enjoy playing the most. Lots of really good species. Lots of amazing looking rares and diamonds for them as well. And the map itself is fun to hunt and has good layouts for a lot of things. Overall, solid map.
How much is the 22250? So it's going to be 7,000 currency, I believe. I think it's like 7,000 to buy it. It's really cheap. Because it's essentially the same as the 223, but a little bit better on penetration. So it's like a better 223. Where on the map are Ruse? Uh, virtually the entire map. Thank you, BSA. I thought it was a cool little design. The little black and green look. You know, I need like a neon green to get added to the game. Like, come on, EW. Add like a scarecrow green color, eh? Or like a, a, a neon green and black camo. Ooh, that'd be nice. Something like that would be awesome. How much does the 22250 weigh? It weighs two units, so it's the same weight as the bolt action 223. Which honestly does make it a pretty good option for like a lightweight loadout. Yeah, it's unfortunate, A-Rod. I don't even use them because of that. Anything good? Yeah, we've got a diamond fallow deer and a piebald red deer female. We've had some solid kills on the day. Yes, Maddie, because it's not the gun that gets buffed, it's the ammo. So if uh if the bull if the 223 ammo gets buffed it'll be all guns that shoot it that'll get the buff, you know. Cuz they're buffing the ammo, not the gun. Oh my gosh, Cod made themselves themselves trash. Thank you for the $20 super chat again. Holy W channel times 6. Thank you so much, dude. You're an absolute legend. Cannot believe the insane support. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, it's, oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, sadly, the uh, the backpacks are just not good in this game. It's not worth the extra weight. It really isn't. All that spooking does not... Uh, like, all the, the extra weight does not make the spook range increase worth it. Not at all. Pop a little dough here as well. Do you know what the rares are for Kangaroo? Uh, the only one we know of is Leucistic. Dark Fallow Deer looking good, looking good. Love them, love them. Do you think I'll get the great one today? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll see. God made themselves trash. Thank you so much for the super chat again. Holy W channel times seven. Last one. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. Absolute legend. Is it just me or do fallow spook faster than whitetail? They seem the same to me. I haven't noticed any difference. But I haven't hunted them as long as I've hunted whitetail, so it's hard to say in the long run. I would wait till Tuesday because you will get a population reset on Tuesday, King Charles. So any uh, any grinding you do until then will essentially be for nothing because they're going to reset it. It's not like there's like legacy furs to grind for because all furs in the lodge will change over for fallow to the new and updated ones. Oh, hey, another five. It's a guaranteed troll. It's a guaranteed troll. Yikes. <laughs> it's a guaranteed troll. Oh, no, man. Guaranteed troll fallow. <laughs> uh, feels freaking bad. Box, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. 
Enjoy all of the perks that comes with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel, as well as all the other cool things. Thank you so much. All right, let's get the other herd here. That was one of the herds. There should be one more. Yeah, there we go. There's a white fallow deer. Also, I should have checked the solos. No solos here, it looks like, unless we spooked one of them. Smoke that dough as well. Jeez, man, a troll. Guaranteed troll. Beautiful, though. 238? Wow! We're finding so many new racks, man! You never used to be able to get a 5 that would score 238. We've had a 244, a 248, a, uh, like 255, and now a 238. There's definitely a lot of work that was done to the antlers because these scores are way different than they used to be. I love it. I don't even care that we got trolled. We're seeing a bunch of new stuff. That is so cool. Super, super cool. So, is this the first time that we have seen a rework to True Racks on a species? I feel like it's the first time we've seen new antlers get added. Like, actually get added. Like, we've had it with, um, like, let's say Roosevelt Elk before, where we saw new Diamond Racks show up. But it wasn't because they were new, it was because they were bugged and weren't showing up. They were already created. And just weren't showing up. But with Fallow... These seem to be new racks. It, it seems like they completely reworked the antlers. Or the fallow deer. Which is honestly really awesome. So cool to see. Yeah, I remember when the 22 Hornet was ridiculously overpriced. That was so bad. <laughs> I do remember that. Rough times. All right, this rack looked really weird. Whoa. Whoa, bro. That's a cool deer. What a wonk. What a wonky dude. That is pretty sick. I like that. Nice little wonky fallow. <laughs> Hi, bro, bro. Welcome back in. You just missed our second level five fallow. It trolled by like uh, 11 points. Really bad troll, but really sick regardless. Super cool. Any kangaroos? Yeah, we've hunted kangaroos. Um, a few times throughout the stream. Okay. Yikes. Bad shots. Is that Pigmella? Could you imagine? If only those existed. Yeah, Mr. Lazy, they used to score either 220s or 260s. Or like high 250s if at the lowest. Uh, but they've definitely reworked the uh, diamond racks to where they can score 230s, 240s, 250s. Or not diamond racks, I mean level 5 racks. So there's at least three different score ranges they can hit. 230s, 240s, 250s. Probably 260s I would imagine is possible. But uh, we will have to find out. Still kind of in the phase of learning everything about these new fallow deer. Oh, hey! 
Another nice four. We've been seeing a lot of good fours recently. Three sixteen on the kill count. What about any diamonds? Yeah, we got one diamond. One diamond fallow, one troll fallow. And, uh, we've also got a piebald red deer female. You get the 300 treatment. Boom. Take that. <laughs> Might as well just bop all the solo fallow with the 300 so they can't run. What is max level for fallow, not including great ones? Uh, max level would be level 5. Uh, no, if I get the great one, I will not be able to keep it because it is in early access and uh, nothing in early access will be compatible with the live save. Because it's a uh, completely separate save and trying to like transfer it over would likely corrupt the files. So we will not get to keep anything. But you know, for me, it's the experience. We're getting to experience a early access grind with new fallow deer that look beautiful. And if we get a great one, it'll be such an insane moment to have got a great one in uh, early access. It'll be a lot of uh, it'll be a lot of fun. It'll definitely be exciting. I'll probably uh, scream a little bit. Oh, I know I will actually. <laughs> There's the male. There he is. Is Fallow the best grind or Whitetail so far? Um, I don't know. We haven't really done enough Fallow for me to get a good idea. I mean, this isn't even the map that I'm going to do my main Fallow grind on, so... It's hard to say, man. It's hard to say. Right now, Fallow's... Or, uh, right now, Whitetail is my favorite grind, but... Once we get going on Tiabaroa, I'm sure Fallow Deer will probably take it over. Hey, it happens, Shark Bubba. It happens, man. What's my least favorite DLC? Um, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know if I have a least favorite DLC. Big boy, four. That is the diamond rack, I think. Maybe not, actually, but look at that. That's crazy looking. Holy, we got them both. 246? Maybe, Johnny. I think it's likely. Could be around there. Wow. Okay. Solid one. Uh, I'm going to say 227. 217. Okay. Much lower than I thought it was. That's like as low as it could have gone pretty much. Still got to get used to these new scores as well. So we can get better at judging them. I keep track of my kill count on a uh, app on my phone. I want to get all the diamonds, uh, see, and I want to get all the diamonds. I'm not going to race for every single diamond of every species in early access. I'm kind of just, whatever I get, I get, you know? But, uh, once we get the full release on the 20th, I'm not only going to be doing my, uh, fallow grind, but I'm going to be doing multiplayer hopping for diamonds and rares as well to try and get some of the new ones. Definitely going to try to get them all. Nothing there. That's a good sign. What's the app called? It's called Click Counter. You're not touching my map. I'm sorry, Brover. I I know I know all the diamonds and rares I've took from you have scarred you for life. 
Don't worry, I will not go on your uh, Australia map until you get your diamond stubble quail. And until you've looked at every single fox on your map. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't, I won't take them, I promise. Aw, it's adorable. That is adorable. Any solos? Not yet, but we'll do a quick time reset just to make sure. Glad you've enjoyed it, Bucks Wanted. It's been fun. Okay, no solos. It's just those two. Little level two white. Wow, I zeroed for 75 again. Why do I keep doing that? Am I just like clicking too much on the key or am I clicking too much? Or am I clicking not enough? What's going on? It's that uh, five hours and 40 minutes of streaming, guys, you know? It's getting to me. That fallow literally has like tiny clubs for antlers. That's great. Come on, great one fallow, where are you? You're not even halfway? Oh, I am. I told everybody it's likely gonna be a 10 hour because of Aaliyah. Because if I do 12 hours, it'll be midnight and Aaliyah goes to bed at like nine or 10 and usually she will just go up to the bedroom door and just pound on it until I go and help her go to sleep. Like whenever she's going to sleep, she wants mom and dad right there. So if she won't go to bed with just Bree, then I'll have to jump off at like 10. So we'll see. Gotcha, bro, bro, for sure, for sure. Yes, I am a dad shark. I am indeed. My daughter is just over two years old. Nothing there. Uh, yes, we did get a diamond turtle. We got a diamond fallow. A little tiny diamond fallow deer. It was just barely a diamond, like 255. And then we've also been trolled once today. So we got a diamond and a troll. Uh, yes, Pan, I am. Well, I set up Tiawaro alive. Yes, of course. Whenever we uh, get the full release and do our grind, I will be streaming all of it. Or at least the majority of it. Because I want to spawn it on stream. Because it'll be a lot more special if I spawn it on stream. Three there, eh? Nice, Miles. Nice. Love to see it, my dude. Uh-oh. No males. What happened? No respawns. Well, I know what time it is. It's time to smoke a female real quick. I've noticed with the fallow, like shooting females does not ruin your zone. Provided you don't shoot it down to one. I have noticed that the bucks and the uh, does swap a lot though.
<laughs> yeah, CJ. <laughs> we gotta take Spike down. Put him back in the gene pool. What time will Tuesday's stream be? I have no idea. Likely... I don't know. Probably a little bit earlier than normal. Like maybe 11 or 12. Because most likely I will post my video earlier. Have I tried the river? I have, yeah. The river sucks. The river is the worst part to grind for fallow on this map. Because they're constantly getting spooked by crocodiles. The crocs spook the fallow like it's nothing along the river. So I try not to hunt there. It's going to be one of those situations where if you're playing Emerald Coast, right? And you want to hunt all your fallow zones. Like, let's say you're going to herd management your uh, fallow deer on Emerald Coast. You will want to manage this section as fast as possible. Um, I think I deleted all the zones, but there is fallow that are around here. Fallow deer can be through these mangroves. Which is rough. It's really rough. Oh, nice, Tony. That's awesome. No, the crocs only live through part of the river. The crocs are, like, starting about here. Like, see where all the resting zones are? They're all through here. They're all through this area as well. And I think down here. Um, but they, they kind of stop right here. And then you can find crocs all the way up through here. And all across the coast. So the crocs have a range of like... Just right, right through here, up there, and then they go to right there. They're just around that area from what I've seen. Aside from not having searched the, like, a southern part of the east coast. I'm not sure if they can be there. I assume part of it, probably. Yeah, no male respawned there either. They'll probably be back next run. Is Tony the one that dropped off your food? Yes, it was uh, Tony from DoorDash. Yeah. Hey, Zachy, how's it going? I like how I just don't even take what you say seriously anymore, Zachy. <laughs> I just gloss over it. What's my favorite animal on the map? Um. I mean. For real, the fallow. <laughs> Not really. Um, I'd say it's between Rusa and Sambar. Which is kind of how I figured it would be. I like them both a lot. Holy three fallow down. Holy, holy, holy. One sixty four, one ninety one, one eighty one. I'm doing Tiabaroa for full release, Zaki. No way I could do uh, Australia for uh, the fallow grind, I think. Not if I'm doing herd management, at least, right? And. Mainly because they're way more spread out on this map. They can be at most of the water. Uh, aside from a few lakes that I haven't seen the map. But most of them, they can be there. Tiabaroa, it's going to be such an easy, like, condensed grind. That I'm probably going to go with Tiabaroa on full release. But in early access, we're going to be sticking to this. Just to give it a go.
Nothing there. What is my favorite looking great one? My favorite looking great one is... Probably... Fallow. I would say it's going to be Fallow. Ooh, that's a big four. Oh, that's a nice four too. Yeah, Zaki, I buy was grinding very heavily this last week. I spent most of my time uh, getting footage of the other species for videos. I think I only did like a hundred and like 170 kills on fallow deer before uh, early access was able to be shown. And now we're up to like 330. Get anything good in the last hour and what's the kill count? We're at 330 kills. And uh, the last good thing we got was a troll fallow. We got one troll and one diamond fallow on the day. You telling me that tree blocked that shot, bro? Really? There's the other one. What are my thoughts on the new map? Uh, it's my favorite map, Emily. I think it's going to be the most balanced map we've ever had in terms of like, not only does it have really good species, but they're placed well throughout the map. Um, a lot of them are true racks animals, which gives them lots of replayability in terms of di like differences between each one. Not to mention, the map itself is beautiful. It's a perfect combination of Pickabean Bay and Bush Rangers Run from the Hunter Classic. And even though, like, some of the areas are pretty brushy, they're not so brushy to the point where it's not fun. Like, uh, it, it's a it's a good amount of brush, I think. Yes, it's the exact opposite of New England. Exactly. It's actually good. New England was a major, major letdown. Nice pan pizza, that's awesome. Congrats, dude. Oh, you're the male. We got to Javan Rusa. Yeah, pretty much, Emily. And uh, based on what Jaxi was saying on the stream last week, he said this map has had the longest, like, the most amount of work ever put into a map. That makes me think that that's probably why we got New England. I would imagine that's the reason that New England was lackluster, because they were probably putting in the efforts towards Australia. That would be my prediction, at least. Oh, hey, double males. Beautiful. And one's a little chocolate fallow. Even more beautiful. Well, it's not about that, A-Rod. It's not a bad map for, like, small game. It's just... It's bad in comparison to other maps when you consider, like, uh, everything that it came with, right? There was no new species aside from green Wing teal. It's incredibly brushy. And, uh, it was marketed as a good grinding map when in reality it's a terrible grinding map because... Or I guess I should say it was marketed as a Great One grinding map because of the fact there's three Great One species, but every single one of them 
spans across the entire map, so it's impossible to set up an efficient grind. It was just not good uh, marketing with it. Which made it feel very lackluster. Yeah, definitely, Kenneth. They look awesome. They look incredible. The whites and then the chocolate. Both fantastic. I think the chocolate's my favorite. Just looks so good, man. Just looks so amazing. Would love to see an Antarctica map. Yeah, that'd be cool. What would they be able to do with that? Like, species-wise. Uh, there is no Great One Red Deer fur added, Ender. The Great One Red Deer did not get any changes to its fur. It was just the normal Red Deer. They did not change anything on the Great One Red Deer. At least that's what we were told, so I'm assuming there's nothing there. <sighs> you had to be close. Okay. Yeah, you stupid deer over there. Making me spook them off. Unbelievable. Yeah, Chen, I am. I'm trying to get that early access great one. I can almost guarantee that I buy is going to get his. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get mine. We will have to get lucky with like a low count, uh, low kill count grind. Yeah, Bebop. We're doing good. How many kills do I think it's going to take? Uh, probably one to 2,000, like, white tail. That'd be my guess, is they're going to be, like, white tail. So, likely between 1,000 and 2,000. Nice, Terra Man, nice. Your guess is they're going to be like Red Deer? I don't know. I feel like they're going to be like Whitetail because Fallow in a lot of ways are very similar to Whitetail. Same like size of deer. They give diamonds quite often. Similar to the Whitetail. It's hard to say though. Hard to say. They're the European whitetail. Sounds about right. Gosh, that's so annoying. Doe just sitting in the way. Rest in pieces, Zaki. You'll get it eventually. You will get it one of these days, man. You think Fowler are going to be easier than Red Deer? Yeah, I think so too. I couldn't see them being tougher than Red Deer. I think they're going to be just like Whitetail.
One second, guys. All right. Great one, Stubble Quail up next. <laughs> Could you imagine? That'd be wild. That'd be really wild looking. What in the what? There's not a fallow deer in sight. Not a fallow deer to be seen anywhere. There we go. Only one of the herds, but at least it's something. Gonna be in between Whitetail and Red Deer because their max level is in between Whitetail and Red Deer. Maybe. I mean, I like that theory. I'd say that's a, a solid little theory there. I guess we'll see. The only other animal that goes to five that has a great one is the moose. <laughs> yes, jolly good fallows. I like that. They do, Zachy. I think the chocolate's my favorite, but the white is my second favorite. What time is it over here? It's 5.53 p.m. Every time I'm over here, we get a Rusa call. <laughs> Are some great ones harder to get than others? Yes. Uh, for sure. Got a three there. Beautiful. Oh, no worries, uh, Bass Slayers. We did get one diamond. Uh, we got a diamond fallow. You think this map is better than New Zealand for fallow grind? Uh, no. I don't think it's better. But it isn't bad either. It's solid. It's a, it's a decent one. Let's check out these fallow zones here. We got a little cluster there that I think could be good for grinding. What do I use to count kills? It's an app on my phone called uh, Click Counter. More structures of this type are not allowed. Okay, we gotta grab a tent first. Uh, let's go grab this tent. I only dropped it there to get that albino band tang anyways. Did I shoot anything special today when I was going through the map? Yes, we, uh... We ended up killing a couple nice things. We got ourselves a... Highballed red deer and a diamond fallow. And then we also ended up getting a troll fallow. Always annoying to run out of tents. I know, right? It's like, come on. I need more tents. Increase the limit to 20, please. What would you guys think if they increased the limit to 20? I think it'd be good. I think 20 would be a perfect little sweet spot. We're currently at 16. Um, I think 20 would be the most that they could increase it to without it being too easy. I feel like anything more than that would probably cause, like, issues with the game. I could see it lagging things out if you have more than 20 on a map. I would like to see them increase it to 20, though. There. Now we can place it.
Yeah, definitely, Johnny. Definitely. That's what I think. For sure. You just have to pay for extras. That could be kind of a cool, like, a uh, money sink. Yeah. What if, like, you start with being able to play 16, and then you can purchase the last four slots for, like, 100k currency or something, so... That way it gives you something else to spend money on. And it, like, uh, gives you more of, like, a progression to the game. That'd be kind of cool. It could be a perk? Ooh! I like that as well! That would be cool! A perk that increases your limit to tense. That would be really nice. Or maybe- well, they would have to put it as a skill, I think. They would have to place it in the skills, because for perks, it's all, like, weapon-related. And, like, a tent limit increase doesn't really fall into any of the, uh... Skill Happy Camper, yes. Yes. That would be hilarious. That'd be so good. Oh! Ah! Nine Legendary Fox! Oh my gosh! Legendary Fox! Holy! Oh my gosh, that's the last thing I expected to see coming over here to get Fallow Deer. Level 9 Fox! It's guaranteed? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? They're running with the kangaroos! Wait! Oh my gosh! Albino! That's an albino Roo! Oh my gosh! That, that's an albino! It's got pink feet! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this spot's loaded! <laughs> We're not even hunting for Ruse or Fox right now. We're hunting Fallow! And we've got a... We've got an albino Roo and a diamond Fox that's a guaranteed diamond. Oh my gosh. Which one do I take first? Um, we gotta take that. Or is that leucistic? It might be leucistic. Is it leucistic or albino? I don't know which one it is. Oh, it's albino for sure. 100% that's albino. Oh. My. Gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Holy! Now, how do we find that fox? Is this him? Yeah, it's his track. Okay. That is his track right there. Oh, hey, there's our fallow here. We found our fallow zone that I was looking for, but oh my gosh, I don't even care at this point. I don't even care at this point because we got something much nicer. Holy, there's fallow bucks everywhere, though. Ooh. Another fallow buck. My gosh so many that's insane look at that kangaroo man first ever it might be the first ever albino i haven't seen any other creators get an albino roo oh gosh that's gorgeous that is so beautiful It is, it's albino. Oh my gosh. That is so cool, man. That's my favorite kangaroo fur type so far. This is insane. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. The first trophy of a new species today. This is our first uh, new species trophy of the day. Wow. <laughs> it's only a level 2 female, but I don't care. That's incredible. Now we gotta find that fox, man. Yeah, it is too bad it's early access, but you know what? I don't care. We got to see them finally. We finally got to see how beautiful they are. 
Wow. Do I get to keep the trophy? No, I don't. I don't get to keep anything from early access, unfortunately. What a beauty. I did. I took a ton of screenshots. I screenshot every trophy we get. Um. Okay, we... We need to find ourselves, um... What's it called? We need to find that fox, man. We need to figure out where the fox went and take it down, because that was a guaranteed diamond fox as well. Hey, kangaroos. Oh my gosh. Where do you guys think that fox went? It wasn't guaranteed? I saw a few people saying it was guaranteed, so... I just assumed that you guys wouldn't lie to me, you know? I'm just assuming y'all ain't lying to me, right? Not much else I can do. I didn't look at the estimate. Imagine you spying it. That would suck. That would suck a lot. That's him. This is his track. Battle of Deer. There's some more tracks right there. Okay, so it's got to be somewhere near here. Oh, that's going this way. We may be tracking this fox for a while. So it crossed like right there, I think. We could just reset the time, I think. I think they've got a zone near. They got to. They got to have a zone near. But if they don't, then they, it'd be gone forever, so. I think we'll just track it down. I just need to figure out where it crossed. Because those tracks we just saw are older ones. Whale. Little tiny stubble quail. Okay, there's a track. This has to be new. Yeah, that's a new one. Can we cross here? Yes, we can. I bet it went through here. Maybe not, though. This is pretty deep. 14 is diamond. It was 13 to 16. Got you. Okay, so it's not guaranteed. Still got a decent chance of making it, though. That was such a crazy turn of events, like... We're just fallow hunting. We're looking for a great one fallow and boom, level nine legendary and albino kangaroo. Crazy, man. That was the running track, but I don't see any more running tracks over here. Did it even cross? I don't know if it did. Oh yeah, it did. There we go. There we go. We found it, finally. Thank you, Daniel. Really appreciate it, man. Caitlin, did you see that? Did you see that craziness? We got an albino kangaroo, and it was next to a level 9 fox. The most absurd thing I think I've ever seen. Definitely the most absurd moment I've had on this map. That was the craziest thing ever. I just... Ugh, oh my gosh. And we just came here for fallow deer. We were coming down here because I have three fallow zones and I wanted to see if there was any bucks in them. Because we picked up the zones when it was out of their drink time earlier today. Oh, hey. A little stubble. And so I really wanted to see, like, what the fallow deer were looking like over here. Turns out there's a lot of them, but we kind of got sidetracked with that level 9 fox. And the uh, albino kangaroo. We're trying to track the fox down right now. But we got the albino kangaroo. And I gotta say, the albino kangaroo is probably one of my favorite rares in the game. 
it might surpass melanistic pheasant in terms of beauty. I did not expect them to look like that. Truly just stunning, man. Truly stunning. Aw, look at all those little guys. That is adorable. Oh. That's him. That's him. That's our nine. That is our level nine fox right there. We will now get to try out the new and improved 223 on them. There he is, just chilling right there. What a freaking hunt, man. What a hunt. One hundred and fifty meters, we might be able to do this. Turn for me, buddy. I don't like this angle. He's already not alert anymore. Is he just going to walk to us? If he's walking to us while he's nervous, this actually might be great. He is. He's just walking to us. Oh my gosh, this could not be better. Uh, let's move left a little bit. This wind is bad, man. This wind is so bad. Grayson, thank you for... Gosh, I can't speak. Grayson, thank you for becoming a member. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. Enjoy all the perks that come with that. The emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel, and all the other cool things. Thank you so much, dude. We got it. Level 9 legendary on the ground. Let's go. Let's go. What a turnaround of events. It, we went from just hunting fallow to just two trophies <laughs> side by side. The new and improved 223 does Pretty good with frontal shots on these as well. It's a diamond. 1485. That's a monster diamond as well. Wow. That was a single lung, by the way. Single lung. 223 is insane for Fox now. Like, uh, for small game, the 223 is going to be a beast of a rifle, finally. Like, if you're hunting coyotes or fox or musk deer... 223 is going to slap them. Like, deadly slaps. Well, guys, that's our second diamond of the day. We have two diamonds and two rares and one troll. Not bad. Not bad at all. 1.62 kilometers of tracking. Feels bad. Try that shot at 200 meters? We will have to for sure. Oof. It's good to see that the buffed 223 actually does really good on the types of animals it's meant for. It's actually usable now. I really like that. And with the really low weight of the 223 as well as the uh, new 22250, I think a lot of people will actually end up using it. It's going to be a really good weight saving option without forcing you to use like the single shot 243. Like if you still want five rounds, but you don't want to carry like the full size 243, it'll be a good option. Later, Emily. Yeah, it is unfortunate that I don't get to keep them, but it is what it is. To be honest, I wouldn't feel right if I got to keep early access trophies because I'm Hunting at a time where nobody else can. So I'd kind of feel bad if I could keep all the trophies. Because I wouldn't be on like a level playing field with everybody else. Yeah, probably, Johnny. It's definitely not great for like, uh... 
like the hog deer it's kind of weak versus hog deer and obviously on like white tail and stuff like that but I feel like on stuff like musk deer fox coyote raccoons it's gonna do great on those Holy. Ah! What? What? Are you. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me at this point. Uh, what? <laughs> what is up with this spot? This spot is insane. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm sweating. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is my luck? I, I'm hunting fallow right now. And we're finding literally everything else. That's a good four as well. Holy. I know where I'm going first. That's what I'm saying, Johnny. This area is insane. There's so many zones around here. And we've had three trophies. Holy. Okay, we gotta track that Rusa down. That is my dream level 5 off of this map. Or my dream diamond potential. Oh my gosh, we gotta find that thing. And we gotta see if it makes it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where's Jaxi? We know he's on the map spawning and we need to find him. Yeah, we gotta look for Jaxi. Where is he? Is that a beard? Oh, no, that's a bush. I should have known. Jaxie's beard is way nicer than that bush right there. Is this the five right here? This might be the track from the five. Holy super. Thank you for the five gifted, dude. Congrats to Johnny, Texas Hardshot, Nick, uh, Yeezus, and Ivan. You guys all got gifted memberships. Be sure to say uh, thank you to super. Now, we got to search for a level five. I'm never going to get a fallow great one in early access if I keep running into other stuff. We're spending all our time chasing them down, but I can't complain. Hey, AEW, how's it going? You joined at the perfect time. I need to know where you are, sir. Right here, Nicholas. Right here. This spot is loaded with, with uh, stuff. Not only is there zones everywhere... Like, I've just been finding, I mean, as you can see right here, there's zones all over this area, and I haven't even found them all. But it seems like there's giants all over, too. Though it's probably just luck of the draw, to be honest. The rest of my map's been pretty barren in terms of trophies. This is uh, probably just where all of my big males decided to spawn. Because aside from that albino banting and a couple of diamonds that you guys will see in tomorrow's video, that's about all I've been able to find for like new species, diamonds, and rares. I guess all of mine were just in a different part of the map, which happens to be what, right here, I think. Oh, either way, this is crazy. We got to find that five. I got a feeling he's over here with these ones. Or was he solo? He might have been a solo now that I think of it. Was he alone? Did you guys see just him or did he have some with him? The problem is so many of them are max weight that you never know if you're tracking a big three or if you're tracking a four or a five. I uh, know it's not a hedgehog. You might need to refresh. If you guys are having issues with the stream, refresh. It should fix it. It's usually a YouTube issue.
Oh my gosh. Let's figure out where this guy went. If all else fails, we could reset the time, but again, I don't know where his zone is, so who knows where he'll go. How did the albino rue look? It was incredible, Caitlin. It's probably my favorite rare in the game now. It, it's probably better than melanistic pheasant. Like, no joke. Johnny, thank you for the nine months. Hype, 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 hype. <laughs> yeah. All the hypes in the world. All the hype for a level five Rusa. And all the other crazy stuff that we found. What a day. Is this him? Or is this the big four that was with him? Or like near him, I should say. Gosh, there's Ruse here. We got Ruse here as well. Hey. Shush. We're after Rusa, not Ruse. <gasps> That's him. We got him. Level five Rusa deer on the ground. Oh my gosh, mythicals everywhere. Look at that. Oh, that looks incredible. Huge fan of that. No, it's... Wow, that's 12 points below diamond. They get bigger than this? You telling me that this is a bad troll? Wow, they get huge then. This is 12 points below diamond, guys. And it's already looking really good. Gosh, that sucks that it's a troll. I really wanted this one to make it, man. I wanted this one to make it so bad. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. You know, I would have taken a troll fox and a diamond rusa over a troll rusa and a diamond fox any day. <laughs> This is 168 on the weight as well. 172 is max, I believe, or is it 174? It's one of those. That is sad. We will still tax it and get a look at it though. Wow. That was crazy. Okay, so 172 is max weight. So that one was about four kgs below max. Ah, that means it's probably going to be really hard to get one to score diamond. I got a feeling they're going to be a really tough diamond. They're probably going to be really difficult. If uh, one that was 4 kgs away from max ended up scoring that far below diamond. My guess is that's probably a guaranteed troll rack. Like reindeer? Yeah, probably like reindeer. It's looking like it. Looks like they're probably going to troll a lot. But, I mean, that'll just make them very sought after. So maybe it'll be a good thing. Maybe a bad rack. Yeah, it looks like that rack probably is a bad one. But the thing is, level 4s are very commonly silver as well. So it would make sense that level 5s would be commonly uh, golds. Is this the new map? Yes, this is the new map. It is the new map and we've uh, we've been doing like a variety of hunting on it today. We did a couple hours of just like roaming around the map and shooting whatever. Then we did a few hours of fallow grinding. Uh, we came over here to look at these fallow zones. And then boom, literally three trophies just in this area. 
We went pretty much the entire day without a trophy of the new species. And then they were just over here. Holy. All right, well, back to the fallow hunting and uh, whatever else happens to cross our paths. Have I got a sandbar yet? Yeah, we've shot a few sandbar deer. They're really nice. I like the sandbar a lot. They look quite good. Okay, I don't know where I'm going to need to be for these uh, zones, so... Hello, little Rusa. They were hiding, apparently. Like, all of the trophies were over here. Will we be able to hunt these zones like this? I don't know. Doesn't seem like very good placement. I guess we'll see. Actually, we should probably main menu because they're probably spooked still. How long have I been playing Call of the Wild? Uh, since the pre-release beta back in 2016, back in December of 2016. Clocked in a total of 5,670 hours or something like that in that time. Let me check. 5,680 hours, actually. So, uh, I've spent a little time playing. You know, just a little bit. <laughs> just a tiny bit of play time. Holy ruse, they're everywhere. Nothing crazy in that group of ruse. Look at all of them, though. They're just everywhere. The ruse are going to be so much fun. Like, I cannot wait to see what you guys end up doing with the ruse. Yeah, I know. I buy is an animal with the, with the playtime. Pretty insane. Pretty ridiculous, man. Imagine just seeing a level 9 legendary Rue. Yeah, it'll be pretty incredible. I've been hearing from a lot of other creators that they troll a lot, though. It seems like a lot of the animals on this map do troll quite often. So, that's a little bit sad. I was hoping that would not be a thing, but yeah, they seem to troll quite often. Uh, these fallow are not here yet. That's yeah, a big boy four. Big boy level four Rusa. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, so that fellow zone up there is the big one, I think. Yeah, it is. That's the good fallow zone. This is just a solo here. Oh, we can make this work, though. Especially with this being right here. Yeah, this will be wonderful. This will actually be pretty good, being able to place it right in here. Oh, amazing. And then one more over here just to cover all our bases. Yeah, that's going to be good. And I need to switch back to my other loadout. I forgot. <laughs> and very well get them if I don't have a gun. Let's just give them the 300 treatment to make sure they go down.
That four is pretty big. Definitely a nice four. Is there going to be any callers for the kangaroo? Uh, no, there will not be a caller. Because I don't believe they have one in real life. How many diamonds have I got? Uh, we got one diamond fallow. Uh, we got a diamond red fox. And, uh, we got a troll rusid ear. Along with an albino kangaroo. And a piebald, um, female red deer. We've had a really solid day. When did I get the albino roux? I think like 30 minutes ago, maybe. 30 or so. 117. Nice looking little Rusa. Beautiful. Love to see it. Nice, Grayson. Nice. Welcome, dude. Just got an albino Rocky Mountain Elk. Nice, CJ. That's awesome, dude. Those things are beautiful. I'm a huge fan of them. Big fan of them. Oh, we got one more zone over here, right? Yeah, right here. Do kangaroos drink? Uh, yes, it's from zero to three, sadly. They have like the worst possible drink time that they could have possibly come up with. Ooh. Two male fallow there. That's rare. Usually it's just one here. Holy. You're thinking 248, Johnny? Well, that one's 218, but that's not the one that you were talking about. It's this guy. 216. Man, they're tough to judge now. With the changes they made to the antlers on the fallow, they're tough to judge. We're going to have to get used to it again. It's like a brand new species being added, practically. Uh, yeah, Rusa do have a drink time. It's from 20 to 0, just like Black Bear, Brown Bear, and uh, Grizzly Bear. There's another little white fallow. Never gets old seeing the white fallow. You're lucky, little doe. You got away this time. Did they fix the pronghorn and bobcats on Rancho? I haven't taken a look at them yet. We will likely look at them sometime after the release. No, we were talking about the Rusadir, uh, King Charles. The the Rusadir drink at the same time as bears. What's the biggest non-great one bear that I've got? Uh, max score. I've got a few max score uh, black bear. From the grinds. Nothing. Is white a rare for fallow? No, it's going to be a like common slash uncommon somewhere in the middle. Yeah, the white does give off like leucistic vibes for sure. Can Fallow still go to 270 with new antlers? No clue. Have not hunted them enough to know. But if I find out, I will let you guys know. 
Really want a diamond white fallow. Me too, Connor. I want to get all the new fallows as a diamond. All the new fur types would be great with those diamond antlers. 100%. Yeah, let's get the dough as well. Three bucks down. Is that an albino? No, it's not. That's a uh, white fur type. It's one of the new furs. Boom. Anything good since the troll? Yes, we had a crazy little uh, group of animals. We got a level nine diamond fox. We got a albino kangaroo and a level five rusa that trolled us all in the same part of the map. It was insane. Absolutely mind blowing. Uh, yes, Grayson, it does. It will release on the same day, so the 20th. Little level four. Wait, there's another. Oh, red deer. Okay, that makes sense. I was gonna say there shouldn't be any more fallow there, right? How do you get pressure down so fast? Using tripod stands. Tripods are the way to go to keep down the pressure. Three hundred and fifty kills into the fallow grind. What time do wild boar drink? I don't remember to be honest. I don't really hunt them ever. So it's never really been something that I needed to remember. Ah, uh, yes, he is, Cole. He's way further into the grind than I am. Yeah, Zaki, the only thing that I think is going to hold this map back and make it so Tiabaro is still better, ooh, that's a big boy, is uh, the fact that there's more water you have to cover to uh, find all of your zones. So if you're doing herd management, this is going to be a, a slower map to manage. But if you're just doing like a kill everything grind, this will be an awesome option. That's where this map is going to shine, is if you're just shooting everything. Because then you can just pick a few zones like I have and start blasting. They're very consistent with their respawns from what I've seen. I haven't had any issues at least. 220. Not as big as I thought it was. Man, it's tough to judge. These things are very tough to judge now. Yeah, I mean, he probably managed all the solos early on, Zaki, because he's been grinding Great One Fallow for at least five days. He's been grinding like crazy the last few days. Also, I'd say that it's safe to say piebalds are not spawning more often than they used to. I must have got really lucky the other day. I thought they were over spawning, but I haven't seen a single piebald this entire day, so... Must have been a false alarm. I think we're good.
Nice. Three more down. That brings us to 356. Are you trying to spine them? Nope. We're not trying to spine them. We're compensating for the recoil. Or not recoil. We're compensating for the bullet drop. Because they're too close to 0 for 300, but too far to 0 for 150. So we have to either aim high at 150 or aim low at uh, 300. What's the kill count? 356. I think we've killed close to 200 today. What FOV am I playing at? I believe 80, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's 80. There's that big dude. Die already, you freak! Which species on which map do you think is the easiest for a first great one grind? Uh, currently in the game, I'd say either Leighton or Revon Tuli Whitetail. And uh, on the 20th, when this update releases, Fallow on Tiawaroa will probably be the easiest grind. If I were to take a guess. Two seventeen, man. We suck at guessing. <laughs> we suck at guessing these things. That's crazy. Yeah, at least you were a little bit closer that time, Johnny, for sure. My guess was two thirties, though. I was thinking it would be two thirties. Look at that beauty. Oh. Another one there. He spawned in the other zone. A root of him. Gonna make me walk, bro? Uh, there's four racks and six different fur types. Or is it five? I think it's five different fur types. Five fur types, four racks. Lots of variety for the Great One Fallow. Double chocolate. I mean, I think it's the opposite for me, Zachy. Like, I found I found the zones quicker there than I have on any other map. Oh, hey. There we go. Got another one down. No, chocolate is not a rare. It's a uh, common as well. Or pom common slash uncommon, somewhere in that range. Two hundred on the dot. Ah, uh, yes, Senjutsu, I am. 
Uh, yes, SC Outdoors, you did. You missed an albino kangaroo, a uh, diamond red fox, a troll rooster deer, and a uh, diamond and troll fallow deer. It's been a day. It has been a crazy, crazy day. Want to see you demolish a kangaroo? Oh, we've been wrecking kangaroos. Right now, we're uh, smoking some fallow deer, but earlier today in the stream, we have been smoking some kangaroos. Finally. Oh, hello there. You're looking mighty nice, Mr. White Fallow Deer. Oh, hey. 190. This grind is going to be so much fun for the Fallow Deer once we get uh, the full release of this update and we can hammer the Tiabaroa grind. It's going to be so good. Hello? No buck there, okay. Honestly, that's good. I don't want them to be there. I hate that zone. Yeah, definitely, Mr. Lazy. I do like that about it. This map is very gorgeous. Like, they did a really good job on it. I think it will be a more interesting grind. It's going to be more interesting than Tiabaroa, but Tiabaroa is going to be the most efficient. Uh, yeah, Matty B, I will be. Once we get over to Tiabaro with full release, we will do herd management because I want to get diamonds of all the new furs and try for some super rares as well. So we will be doing herd management on full release. Why grind the zone if I hate it? Because I want to get it to like a low level if I'm just going to ignore it. So I'm hunting it until I get a uh, level two or one there. Because I don't like the zone, so I'd prefer to never have to check it again for respawns. So I want to just get a low level there so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Anything good? Haven't been able to watch since 2. Uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. Reflex, we got an albino kangaroo. We got a diamond fallow, troll fallow. Um... We got a troll uh, rusa deer, and we got a diamond red fox. So it's been a good day. It's been a really good day. Because uh, I play on PC, uh, Chen Li. Mouse and keyboard's really easy to compensate for recoil with, especially if you've shot uh, literally almost 100,000 animals on grinds like I have. I think I calculated it the other night and it was 76,000 kills amongst all great one species. And so at this point, I've just memorized the recoil of every single gun that I use and know how much I need to jerk the mouse down in order to compensate. Uh, plus, I use level 3 recoil management perk in the shotgun category. It applies to all weapons and greatly reduces recoil. It's amazing. Big boy level four again. And we got old Spike over here. How's it going, buddy? Living large, I see. Or uh, living small antlered? He's living. Hey. Hey. 
Oh, really, Nicholas? That's wild. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've been going for a while, so... I mean, we just hit seven hours almost. We're at six hours and 54 minutes. That's a 220. You were close, Lazy. You were close. Almost guessed it perfect. How is the red fox hunting on here looking compared to existing maps? Uh, it should be the best in the game. It's likely going to be the best fox hunting in the entire game. It's really good. Ooh. We finally had some good shooting. Yeah, Charles, pretty much. Poor little level one fallow deer. Spike is just witnessing the, the genocide of his species. Holy, 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 holy. Let's see what we got over here. What is the best way to level up? Um, lions and red deer are really good. I'd say best way if you want to just grind out a specific species to level up, red deer is probably going to be the best option. However, general tips to level up quickly. Just shoot everything you see. Uh, make sure to claim them all. Play the missions while you're uh, hunting everything also. Like, doing missions and just shooting everything you find along the way can be a great way to earn money. If you don't want to focus one species. Okay, so it looks like if I shoot the left herd, the right herd does not spook until... I uh, shoot one of them. So that's nice. That's good to know. Then we can just run through here and pick them all up. <gasps> Ow! Getting rammed over here. Y'all ain't bighorns. Chill. You're running me over. What did I do to deserve that? No, I have not done the missions. I've purposely stayed away from them because of, like, spoilers. I don't really do missions myself anyway, so... I might do it with this map, though, just because... It's been such a hyped-up release. I might do the missions. But it won't be until after we've done everything else. Like, once I get done with grinding for the Great One... Uh, once we've got all the diamonds and rares, then we'll start thinking about maybe doing missions a little bit. Yeah, that's the one that we already killed. So, I'm going to assume the other bucks that we shot were solos. Ah, man. Feels bad, dude. Feels bad. It is what it is, though, I suppose. Can't win them all. This was looking like it would be a good zone, but it was just uh, a bunch of solo bucks with a herd that had one buck in it. There we go. So, I think since that's a solo right there, we're going to shoot a couple of the does in the next herd and see if we can get them to swap. It's unlikely, but maybe it'll work. Oh, hey. Nice. Okay, that worked out really well. That's a two, so I'm not going to shoot him. Because he's also a solo. Oh my gosh, we're back to my intro song. That means we've gone through the entire playlist that I have. That's insane. That's crazy. I'm uh, not in early access, Daniel. 
Probably just in uh, the official like launch of the map on the 20th. That's when we'll start grinding. Um, that's a nice looking four. Uh, that's when we will start grinding for Fallow on Tiabaroa. That looks crazy. That's got to be a new rack, right? That has to be a new rack. Let's get this other herd to show up. There they are. We're going to shoot two from here as well. Try to get those uh, solo bucks to swap with them. That's wild that we're clear at the beginning of the uh, playlist again. Sheesh! You never realize how much you've been streaming until the playlist gets to the end of its uh, seven hours of songs. <laughs> Crazy. I did not create herd management, no. It was originally discovered by Jaxie Beard and Flinter. Uh, Flinter stopped doing it like shortly after discovering it because he didn't like what it did. Um, Jaxie continued messing around with it, trying to learn more about it. And then eventually, people like iBuy Premiums adopted the method and took it even further than anybody had seen before. Look at that. That's a cool four. Gosh, the fallow looks so good now. I'm glad they gave them new antlers as well as uh, new fur types. Like That is a uh, really good update in my opinion. Nice, Holden. Nice. That's awesome. How many diamonds have I killed? Uh, today alone, uh, two of them. A fallow deer and a red fox. Yeah, it was Flinter and Jaxie Beard back in the day that kind of discovered it. Although back then, not nearly as much was known about it. Like, we didn't realize how far we could take it and how consistently we could get diamonds spawning with it. So back then it was not known to its full extent and then over the years people found ways to take it further. And now it's practically the meta for anybody that's grinding. But the other thing that's really cool to see is that it's also not like the, uh, it's not a necessity, right? You don't have to grind with herd management. Unless you're really just wanting to get lots of super rares and diamonds. And even then you're not guaranteed lots of super rares, so... I think there's a good mix of people that use it and people that don't. Even I myself don't use it all the time. Like right now, we're not using it on this grind. We are just blasting away. I had to. She was giving me a shot. <laughs> had to take down the kangaroo. The ruse are just too much fun. Yeah, Charles, I usually do herd management just to get a chance at super rares along the way and also a chance to get really wonky diamonds. That's my primary reasoning for it. Is there new fallow furs? Yes, there is faded. Lots of them. There's lots of new furs. There's improved old furs. There's new antlers. There's new diamond racks like they changed the diamond requirement. They got a full overhaul. I gave it a little hand shot. That's adorable. Those tiny little kangaroo hands are adorable.
You can get super rares without herd management. Yes, indeed you can. But it's more effective with herd management. Because when you're increasing the amount of diamonds you get, naturally that increases the odds of getting a super rare as well. There's a three. You know what? Oh gosh, there's two of them here. No. I can leave that too, but ah gosh, we got a three here. I did not want have to keep hunting this, but you're a three, so going down. I'll leave the two though, because I hate this zone. It's way too brushy, and it's really slow to get up to the point where I can shoot. No floater. Well, guys, we are officially seven hours into the stream. It's currently 6.58 p.m. for me. We're doing good. Like, I don't even feel like quitting at this point. I still got some in me. I'm still good to go. Well, what I like is the next great one. I would say probably... Uh, mule deer, black tail deer, or one of the elk species, or cape buffalo. That's like my top five. How many kills am I at? 381. Can we see Springbok soon? Um, I've got a video for that, Johnny. I'm doing all the, like, new true rack species in a video. So, in a couple of days, we're gonna take a look at all of them. It won't be tomorrow's video, but it'll be, like, the day after or the day after that. And I don't want to look at them before that video comes out. Otherwise, there would be no reason for people to watch that video. And then it would probably just end up being a scrapped video. Nice, got them both. Oh, hey. He uh, decided to go take a nap, I guess. Uh, yeah, YT Aspector, yeah, we are. We've been doing like a bunch of hunting for other stuff today as well, but yeah, we're trying to grind for a great one fallow to see if we can get it. How long do I think I'll go for? Uh, at least a couple more hours. I want to reach at least 10 hours streamed. If we can hit 10 hours on stream, then I'll be happy. Why am I grinding? Because I want to get a great one fallow in early access. I want to be the crazy person that gets one in early access. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a major challenge and I love a challenge. Not to mention, I really want to see one in game and I'm impatient. I don't want to wait four days to try and get one. And if we can manage to get one in early access, it's going to be like a huge thing. Yeah, possibly, Logan. All depends on that RNG, though. I mean, I could get a 500 kill great one. Or it could take, like, 5,000 kills. You never quite know. Couple decent ones there. Jonathan Cena, thank you for the gifted membership, and congrats to uh, Matty B. You just got gifted that membership. Hope you're doing amazing. There was another? Oh my gosh, there's another! Ooh, dropped him. And Jonathan Cena, thank you for another gifted membership. Congrats to Brimney, you just got that one. How many kills am I at? 387. Not super far into it.
214, not bad. Not too bad at all. Last one should be right there. Uh, yes, the Bing they did. The Great One Fallow looks really good. I've got a full video on the channel kind of covering all the different fur types and racks. I would recommend checking it out if you have not. Lots of cool fur types and antlers for them. They look really good. Great one at 65,000 kills. Oof. Uh, if I actually have to kill 65,000 to get my great one fallow, I'm blaming you. <laughs> that happens, you spoke it into existence. Hey, that's a good one. Couple big boys over here this time. Yeah, those are two really good fallow. Big boys. Ah, uh, Jackson, thank you for the 11 months, man. Thank you so, so much. Welcome, welcome back. 198, and this one should be the bigger one. I'm currently at 389 kills, faded. 219, okay, yeah, not as big as we thought. I uh, know I don't get to keep any of the trophies from early access. It's all going to go away. All early access kills will be gone once early access is done. And, uh, yeah, so if we get a great one, we won't get to keep it, but we'll still have the experience. And that's really what I'm after. I want the experience of finding one in early access. Nothing there. Wow. Where did those uh, males go? Do you think they went over here? Please tell me they did. Hey, Alexi, how's it going? Ah, uh, yeah, I saw a few people get the diamond level fours, uh, Walker. Pretty cool. Glad they do. Okay, two males here. There we go. 391 on the kill count. Approaching 400 already. Do I like the Australian map and what would I rate it 1 out of 10? Um, I'd say right now, it's like a 9 out of 10. It doesn't get a 10 out of 10 because a couple of the animals I really wanted to, like a couple of the animals I was super excited for, drink at nighttime. So I dock points for that. And the magpies get spooked very easily by crocodiles, which makes it difficult to hunt them. So because of those reasons, it doesn't get a perfect score of 10. Because that is holding it back personally for me. But I'd say a solid 9 out of 10 is not bad. Not bad at all. London, thank you for the super chat. Been watching you for years. Love to see uh, you so happy and on your game. Just know your fan base loves you. Enjoy the early access and get that great one. Thank you so much, London. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. We're going to do our best. We're going to do our best to get this thing. And uh, see if we can see a beautiful, great one in game. Yeah, kind of, Kenneth. For sure. 
assets! Oh my god! Let's see. Another one bites the dust. So you don't think that there's a 10 out of 10 map? Not yet. Every map has a couple things that keep it from reaching 10 for me. There's always a couple things that just prevent it from getting a perfect 10. Can you get great ones in early access? Yes, you can. Nothing's perfect? Exactly. Now, I definitely think that if they eventually made some changes to the things I just mentioned, it could probably reach 10 out of 10. They would have to make it... They would definitely have to change the drink time for Rusa and Kangaroos to make me give it a 10. And they would have to... Uh, kind of move the location of magpies or just make it so the crocs don't scare magpies as easily Because uh, magpie hunting is really tough. You got to find like a perfect spot for it to work You have any rares yet? Yes, we have an albino kangaroo and a piebald red deer female. That's what we've managed to get today. Two males there. Nothing else in the immediate area. Kill that doe as well. And that one, screw it. Let's get her down as well. Also, just a heads up, I'm not counting does in the kill count because they can't really get you a great one, so... Does do not count. One fifty six. One sixty. And a female. Uh, as long as I can, uh, Brothers on the Hill. We're just gonna go until I can't anymore. Got a fox call. There's a buck right there. I think I'm just going to shoot the does in the zones I really like, so that if we do get them to swap with a buck, it'll be in a really good spot. Ooh, feels bad, Reflex. Feels bad, man. It is what it is, though, you know. That doe did not deserve that disrespect. <laughs> ah, yeah, she did. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's a doe. Of course it did. They deserve all the disrespect because they can't give you great ones. Now, if they could respawn as a great one, then they'd get all the respect in the world. Silly little Dirios. Wow, Mr. Fallow. Not, uh, not giving me both my herds in the zone, just one of them? Okay. Kill count? Uh, 396 with that one right there.
I'm gonna try something. I got an idea here. Y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but hear me out. Hear me out. Tree will not get in the way, and I'll still get hunting pressure reduction. Amazing idea, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> We're doing it. I've never used a waterfowl blind on a uh, Great One grind, but we're doing it today. We're doing it today. Crazy works sometimes? Yeah, it, it definitely does. In this case, I think uh, crazy will work. One seventy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just ask Brobra. Wow. Poor Brobra. Getting the disrespect. Nice four. But the other herd is not here, so... Gotta reset. Yeah, the other group. Oh, wait. There they are. Okay, we're good. We got both of them here. Both of them are here. Bro, I hit the tree. I hit the tree again. That tree has ate so many of my bullets. He'll die, but that was awful. Stupid tree. <laughs> Sounds about right, Johnny. Yeah, pretty much, uh, YT, pretty much. Yes, CJ. That's where we're getting it from. Their uh, their doggos had um, had puppies, and so we're taking one of the puppies. Oh, hey, we got a buck back. There we go. When are you going to play Call of the Wild? Okay. Um, take a moment to read your comment. And, uh... Just tell me if you notice something wrong there. Any bucks over there? Nope. Nada. Nothing. Nothing there.
Wait, did uh did the male here get replaced with a doe? I think it did. <laughs> you think we'll ever get an Australia map, Crow? Ah, I don't think so. Sounds like it would never happen to me. That sounds like a fantasy map. Come on, where's the other herd? Show up. Need to see. There. There's the other herd. One male. Feels bad. You think this map will be better to grind for Grant One Fallow than the previous maps? Uh, no, it's not going to be better than Tiabaroa, but it will be better than Hirschfelden. To be honest, though, I don't even think Hirsch will be terrible. I think Hirsch will be okay, but this will be better than Hirsch, and uh, Tiabaroa will be better than this. Think we'll get Ruse on a map? Nah, that sounds... That doesn't sound real. Who would shoot a kangaroo? They're just so, like... Like, cute and mean. Do I ever look at comments on my old vids? I uh, not very often. I try to focus on, like, newer videos primarily. But, like, if I see a comment pop up in my notifications that I, uh... And I want to answer it, then I'll answer it. But usually I'm... Usually I'm too busy making content to reply to old comments. I usually reply to the new comments primarily, like... I'll reply to pretty much every comment that happens in the first 30 minutes of posting a video. And then I'll uh, respond to a few here and there throughout the day. But most of the time, if I'm not, like, within the first 30 minutes of a video, I'm usually streaming or recording videos or spending time with my family so I don't have a lot of time to respond to like old comments or comments on old videos I should say so essentially like the sooner you comment on a video after it goes live higher chances I'll respond to it I miss when you used to play Call of the Wild. I know, me too. I, uh, I miss those days as well. Bro. Why you keep coming back? You know what? Screw it! <laughs> we're not gonna... We're not gonna keep hunting here. I hate this zone. I don't like this zone at all. It takes way too long to get to the stand. And then if they're not there, I gotta walk all the way back, reset the time. Not an efficient zone. It is what it is, though. Got a piebald fallow at 228. Holy. That's a good piebald fallow, man. Okay, let's see. What fallow zone do we want to implement into the grind? Or should we try to find a new one? When am I going to start the stream? I don't know. Two of them. Hello, Red Deer. I see you came to join the party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all's trolling is wild today. It's wild, man. Get booped with the 300 Magnum. Get booped.
ay, ay, ay. Fellow, a good grind on the new map. Uh, will we be using Tiabaroa? Um, Tiabaroa is going to be the best for Fallow, but this map is totally grindable. You can definitely make this uh, into a good grinding map. It's just going to take a little longer to like manage down the river. The river is the pain point of the map. Because the uh, crocs are always spooking off the Fallow that are near them. Oh yeah, lots of great one polar bears. Got all of them. Big ol' level 7. Beauty. We love to see it. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate, Troy. That's why I'm going to stick with Tiabaroa. Plus, Tiabaroa is more condensed. I don't have to search as many places to find them. So, Tiabaroa will definitely be the go-to. But again, this won't be bad. It's just not going to be my first choice. Got that little dodo too. Yeah, drawn. We're we're on seven and a half hours right now. It's uh, it's been a while. Doing that extra long early access day one stream. Gotta do everything we can. We've got a ton of trophies today though. It's been worth it. Bino kangaroo. We got a uh, troll rusa. Diamond Red Fox, Diamond Fallow, Troll Fallow, and a Piebald Red Deer. It's been a crazy day. No, we haven't got any great ones yet. Yes, I've hydrated today. I've drank an entire, like, 24-ounce glass as well as uh, a large soda, so... <laughs> and I drank a bunch of water before the stream as well, so... We're good. Another reset. Where's the other fallow herd? Just one of them is showing up. Four hundred and five kills. Which means we've killed 220 fallow today. Is a lot. Okay, yeah, that other herd's being stubborn. They don't want to show up. Uh, yes, Tron. I got a video recorded on them already. It's going to be a few days before it releases, though, because I got so many other, like, amazing videos to upload first. If only I could get multiple fallow herds in this area. That'd be awesome if I could. I don't think I'll be able to, though. Don't think I'll be able to. Yeah, it's unfortunate dynamic, but uh, their feed zones are good enough to where I think it shouldn't be an issue. Like, feeding and resting roos should be pretty easy to hunt. Really? Yeah, just not gonna show up, eh?
Ooh, five. Five. We got a five. Let's go. Level five, number three of the day. Let's go, guys. That's a big one, too. I think that's diamond. I don't want to jinx it, but... Holy, that's a big boy. That is a big boy right there. Third level five fallow of the day. Look at him. That's a beast. Will it make it though? Please don't troll. Please don't troll. Oh, I think that'll make it. That looks good, I think. It's a diamond. 255, just like our other diamond. Diamond fallow number two of the day. This one's a dark fur type. So not a chocolate. And uh, not a white, but we did get a, uh, a dark level five diamond fallow deer. Like 5.85 points above diamond. Beautiful. For those that did not know, they've added new racks to the fallow deer. Yeah, exactly, Henry. They fixed the score gap. They made it so fallow deer actually can be like just barely a diamond. Uh, we can also get 240s scoring fallow deer now. We can get 230s scoring fallow deer more often. They really did fix the massive score gap, which is amazing. It's good to see. It was desperately needed. And I think these uh, new diamond racks look pretty good. I think they did a good job on them. I'd say it's a solid little uh, change. Yeah, I'm not sure how big they can get. We gotta see. Yeah, definitely Necron. They've made two different updates that change the harvest screen a bit. This one and the last one made adjustments to it. Holy Fellblade, thank you so much for the uh, gifted membership. Really appreciate it. Congrats to Austin Gaming. You got the uh, gifted membership. Holy. Thank you so much, Fellblade. The updates just a pure W. It is. It's a great update. It is a fantastic update. Okay, so we did get an extra dough here. <laughs> and it got rid of our... Uh, got rid of our buck. So let's just pop a couple of those. Maybe we can get that buck to come back. Maybe he'll swap with one of them. That's the goal, at least. Uh, most likely, the next great one will be a base game species. I think shortly I'm going to need to go get a drink as well as fill up my uh, water. The new fallow furs look so nice. Yeah, they do. I love them. One of the highlights of the update, in my opinion, the fallow deer rework is incredible. Because I'm trying to get them to swap with uh, the solo box uh, monkey man. And to keep the hunting pressure even across all of the uh, map. Because I'm not shooting a ton of fallow each run. So anytime that we're missing bucks, I shoot a couple does to make up for that. As well as hopefully getting the bucks to swap with does that are in better looking zones. So there's a couple reasons I'm shooting some does. Yeah, a drink. I need one of those, um, I've been live for seven hours and 40 minutes type of drinks, you know? Ooh, let's see that fallow dough. 
I don't think we've really took a look at one of those up close. All right. Yeah, the dark spot, it's pretty. I like that. That is pretty. Uh, okay, that's the end of the run now, because we got rid of that lake. I think we need to go find another zone to uh, tent up on, and we'll shoot some other species while we're looking for it. How about that? We'll shoot some other species while we're looking for a new fallow zone. Uh, but let me go grab some more water real quick and grab another drink as well, and then we'll be back up here ready to go. Actually, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break because it's been probably like, what, five hours since I had my lunch break. So I'm going to go eat something for dinner real quickly and then I'll be back. So give me like 20 minutes.
Hey. We're back early. Sorry, I just ran up here. Alright, so, um... What we're gonna do... Um... I'm just gonna take the break whenever the food's ready. So... We're going to, uh... We're gonna do a little bit more hunting while we wait for the food. It's gonna be like 30 minutes before it's ready. So... We will grind for another 30 minutes and then I gotta eat dinner with my family. Then once I get done with dinner, we'll continue grinding for as late as I can go. We've already been going for eight hours though. Holy. Eight hours is a long stream. This is one of the longest streams I've ever done, guys. Love to see you, man. Hey, Jake, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Guess I ain't gonna get sleep. Ah, sounds about right. It's hard to sleep when there's updates, you know? Really difficult to sleep when there's big updates happening. This is definitely one of the most like hyped up early accesses of all time. Pretty insane. Alright, let's go towards the beginning of uh, fallow time, like one hour into it. And we'll try to find a new zone to implement into the grind. And just see what we can do. Hopefully this will go well. Um, the problem through here is freaking crocs, man. So we're going to go like up the river. Where there's hopefully less crocodiles. We got two tents to place at wherever we can. So going to use that to our advantage. I'm kind of tempted to check out some of the lakes I've never been to also. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we're going to be hunting anything that we see along the way, Sienna. I've got a full video on Sandbar that'll go live at some point in the next few days. So stay tuned for that, but uh, we will shoot Sandbar if we see them. What's the map like? It's my favorite map. Easily my new favorite. It's got such a good mix of like open areas, brushy areas. The species list is incredible. And uh, the map itself, it just keeps you entertained at all times. It's a very well done map. It was definitely worth all the hype, in my opinion. It was worth the many, many years of wanting an Australia reserve. Okay, let's see what the poll is at. Holy, 1,800 votes on the poll. Jeez. 57% of people say it's the best map ever. 25% say I still need to see more to decide. 17% say it looks good, but it's overhyped. And 2% say not a fan. Looks like overall pretty good reception, to be honest. Yeah, we're almost at 2,000 votes. If you guys have not voted on the poll, be sure to do that. And uh, give your opinion on the map. From what you've seen through the early access footage. So far, it seems like most really like it. Which is really awesome to see. Because I really like it as well. This map is amazing. Oh yeah, understandable for sure, Bebop. I'm not going to say what diamonds I got before today, baseball, but we did get a couple diamonds today. None of them were sandbar. We had a diamond fox, and then we had two diamond fallow, and a troll fallow, and a troll... Oh, aggressive! What's it called? A, uh... Where is he? Oh, oh no. Oh gosh, both of them! Oh no. Where'd this guy go? Really? My dog got in the way. Dude, they both charged me! <laughs> oh gosh, another! 
I mean, that one's not charging, but still. <laughs> I love the Crocs. I love them so much. The Crocs are so good. Um, the last one I was going to say is we had a Troll Rusa deer. That's the one I was forgetting. Troll Rusa. Jeez. It's just crocodile season over here. Just crocs everywhere. They don't want to leave me alone. My gosh. Well, we're going to get a lot of respawns, that's for sure. <laughs> Lots of crocodile respawns. Yeah, it's great, Maddie. It's great. That was insane, Peepop. That's got to be the most trophies I've ever found in one spot on a brand new map. Like, holy. It sucks that uh, the Rusa trolled us. I was really sad that that didn't make it. But, you know, maybe that just means that we'll get our Diamond Rusa after the map is fully released. When it actually counts. You know, wishful thinking. We will hope that that is the case. Now, let's see what we can find. Is that red deer? Yeah, red deer. Nice. It's cool that you can just put two shots into the lungs and... It's perfectly fine now. You don't have to worry about them sinking. Gone are the days of next shot meta. It's honestly kind of a relief. Look at the red deer just crossing through croc territory. Super cool. Yeah, now you can just go boom, boom, and they're done. Easy. Yeah, maybe, Josie, maybe. How much longer are you going to be streaming? I'm not sure, Trent. We shall see. The goal is to go till at least 10 p.m., so two hours from now. I'm going to try to go at least two more hours, uh, maybe longer. We will see. It all depends on uh, when my daughter goes to sleep. And whether or not my wife is able to get her to sleep without my help, because normally, like... Whenever it's bedtime, my daughter wants both of us to be there with her. And, like, if I'm working late, she does not want to go to bed until I'm there, too. So, it's very likely that I will have to, uh, jump off to help get her to sleep at some point. However, I might stream past then as well. Like, we might just take a break whenever I need to do that and then, uh, get back to streaming. We will see, but I think I'm ready for, like, a, a late stream. I think I'm ready to go for quite a while. Alan, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. You're awesome. Love your vids, man. Thank you so much, dude. Much appreciated. Thank you for the uh, super chat once again. Thank you, Josie. I appreciate that. Another nine fox? No, we just got the uh, one level nine fox. We have not got another one. Just the diamond. I'm super happy with that. Oh. Well, hello there. Smacked him. Slapping him and smacking him. How am I liking the map? I'm loving it, Tokyo. It's my new favorite map easily. I'm just like, I'm so ready to try like some multiplayer on this map. Oh, Fallo, let's go. Okay, that looks like a full herd. Let's head over here and grind that zone, I think. 
I think that's going to be the zone to grind. Got that little guy, though. Yeah, two males. Beautiful. Yeah, so just two males. Plop this down right here. <laughs> I think we'll use a tripod for this spot. What's on one? We will see. We'll place that there just in case we need it. Hold on. Uh, thank you for the gifted membership, Scott. Really appreciate it, dude. And congrats to Jaden. You just got gifted that membership there. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Oh, gotcha, Drawn, gotcha. Yeah, gotta get all that money going. Uh, CJ, thank you for the super chat. Just decided to come back. What did I miss? Uh, what was the last trophy you saw us get? Because that will determine, like, what you've missed. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat once again, though. Yeah, Karki, eight hours. Going to try and get at least ten. Ten is the goal. Oof, more fallow. Okay. Yeah, this river's got a lot of fallow deer. A lot more than I thought it did. I think we're going to put a tent right here. It's not going to be like a perfect setup, but it's going to be good enough, I think. Yeah, this will be good. We need to find one more tent if we can. Yep, we're eight hours in for sure. We're trying to do a uh, 10 to 12 hour stream today, so we'll see how far we can go. That's one more kill added on to the fallow counter. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what? Why didn't I think of this? I know what we can do. I think these uh, zones are close enough to where this will work. Or not close enough, but far enough away from each other. Yeah, it'd be midnight for me, baseball. Because it's currently 8 p.m. here. Oh no, Bucks wanted. That's wild, dude. That is wild. I think. Need to move this a little bit. Then we'll just run up here. 
Then go boom, 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 and then we'll, uh... Claim whatever's there, and then we can run over here. Or, uh, fast travel over there. That's gonna be perfect, I think. We will see, though. This angle is awful, so... We shall see. But yeah, it's a rough angle. Yeah, they're kind of back and forth, Bebop. You never quite know what you're gonna get with those. Uh, if you're grinding for the Great One Fellow Deer now, will you get it when the update drops? Um, if you're if you're asking if I get to keep it, no, it will not carry over to the live build. It it'll only be in early access. Um, but yes, I will grind for more of them whenever the update drops, for sure. We'll be grinding for a bunch. Hunter, stay out of the way, bro. There we go. And we're going to see how that goes. Um, actually, I need to move this further back, I think. We're going to see this. See if it works. Maybe move this slightly. Gonna be tough to figure out what we need to do here, but I think that's gonna be good. Let's give her a try. Yeah, so the update is currently in early access, so yeah, anything that I get right now will not carry over to... The live build of the game when it drops on the 20th. Nothing we get today or within the next three days will carry over. Um, I will be starting from scratch on the grind. Uh, I'll be starting from scratch just in general on this map whenever the new update drops on the 20th. So yeah, none of this will carry over. Nothing over there or there. Booked it. Booked it on out of there. We got a lucky fallow. Want a white or chocolate diamond fallow so bad? Me too, dude. I want them so, so bad. They look incredible. What's the most common diamond in my opinion? Um... Probably... It's either mountain lions, turkey, capricali, or... Um, what are they called? Ibex. Ibex are pretty common. Red deer as well, to be honest. Red deer are decently common diamonds. Woke up to no power last night and it was really hot in my house. Oof, yikes. That is the worst. Your voice is going to be gone, Ski, tomorrow? Ah, not really, TDK. I do this all the time. It's just that normally I'm not streaming through all of it, right? Like, I'm always talking. My voice is used to it. Do a 24-hour stream when it drops. I don't know if I'll make it 24, but we'll do a big stream when it drops for sure. I 
Uh, yeah, CJ. Oh, yeah, I forgot to answer your question. Um, yes, we did get another diamond fallow. It was another 255. I think that's probably the only thing you missed. That's a good looking buck there. New fallow times? Nope, it's the same as always, uh, Maverick. Fallow at the same time as always. Two nineteen. That's a good looking rack. Good looking fallow deer. Yeah, same here, Logan. Same here. I'm usually like, I stay up late because I'm working most of the day on like uh, projects for the channel. So since I'm always doing content in the daytime, I use like a later in the evening, like 10 to one or so to uh, catch up on like YouTube videos and just kind of relax and stuff. Shot a Mela Diamond Fallow Deer. Nice, Hunter. That's awesome. That is super sick. Super duper cool, man. Yeah, I think we're only going to get one Fallow there. How many kills in? 415. 415. Getting lots of big golds. That's something I have noticed. Lots of big golds showing up. What's my favorite animal on the new map? Uh, let me think, Commando. I would say probably it's between Sambar and Rusa. I like both of those a lot. Uh, however, like, everything's been fun. The Crocs are a blast. The, uh, Roos are really freaking cool. And the hog deer are better than I thought they'd be. And then you get the magpies, which are really cool looking. The bantang are pretty sick. Like, it's really hard for me to pick a favorite, man. It's so hard to pick. The wide racks look cool? Yeah, definitely. That one looked awesome. The rest of the herd doesn't want to show up. Unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Yeah, Logan, I like them. I like the, uh, the Rusa quite a bit. Probably just because I really loved them in the Hunter Classic, and I've always thought they are cool-looking deer. One eighty-six, and... I hear Rusa. Where, though? This is where we got that five earlier. Sad, sad, trolling five. I already answered the kill count, uh, PM. 416. Gotta pay attention better, man. Don't make me have to say it twice. Alright, let's see. Is this gonna be a stubborn zone? Kinda looking like it. Oh, we haven't main menu. That's right. We didn't main menu yet. Should probably do that. 
That explains a lot. Well, it's not all today, uh, Praise. I had 170 kills from the week that we had in advance. Because we got a week before today to prepare videos and stuff. So I did a bit of fallow grinding during that period of time as well. So it wasn't all from today. We went from like 170 all the way up to 416. And we've also not just been fallow grinding today. We have also been... Um, We've also been shooting other stuff. We've probably done like two and a half to three hours of hunting other things as well. Got a three, got a four, got a two. If I was forced to switch lodges with another creator, who would I switch with? I mean, I'd have to say I buy. Just because he's got like an infinite amount of super rares and great ones. So if I if I was forced to switch lodges with another content creator, I'd definitely say I buy premiums. He's got like 50 great ones. And like 20 or 30 or 40 or something like that super rares. The man's has everything. Except a typical rack whitetail, so that's kind of sad. But I don't either, so... Feels bad, man. Calling it diamond within 20 kills? Maybe. Maybe if we're lucky. Holy Reed, thank you for the nine months, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing good, man. Hope you're doing good. Any diamonds yet? Yes. Two diamond fallow and a diamond red fox today. Holy, 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 holy. Uh, yeah, King Charles, for sure. All trophies we get will go in videos at some point. Ooh, we got four bucks here. What? Four bucks here, man. That's nice. We could only get two. <laughs> ah, luck of the draw. If one of them moves wrong, it throws up the whole little uh, rhythm there. Certainly threw off the rhythm, the rhythm there. All right, everybody, food is here, so we're going to take a break so that I can go eat dinner, and then we'll stream for another, like, two to four hours. So I will be back in a little bit, guys.
<laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. I see I missed us uh, some super chats. <laughs> Orlando, thank you for the super chat times five. Yo, I'm back. My multiplayer has been trash. Keep getting kicked. Um, tried to join. Boom in my face. Disconnected. Yo, chat. What map should I hop on to? Mississippi it is. And Xavier, sadly, I don't. But hope I get a, that great one. Fallow when the map is released to the public. Thank you so much for all the super chats, Orlando. You absolute legend, man. Oof. It is a... It, it's been a fast food type of day, guys. Normally, I don't eat lots of fast food. It's usually like maybe once a month. Like one or two times a month, I'll get fast food. But today, with it being uh, early access day one, I've been in need of stuff that's really quick, so... Got Carl's Jr. once again, tried their chicken sandwich this time. Gotta say, the jalapeno chicken sandwich, 
That might be one of the best chicken sandwiches I've had in a while. From a restaurant, at least. Not bad. Their jalapeno chicken is pretty fire. Nice and spicy as well. Brobra's too much right now. Tell him to behave. Wait, Brobra, where is he? Oh, I'm assuming he's probably live. He's being the Brobra. Yeah, chicken sandwiches are great. And uh, this one's not too bad. I enjoyed it. Gotcha. Thought so, Mr. Lazy. Maybe at some point we'll jump into voice chat with him. Whew. And reloading is a valuable part of grinding. Who would have done thunk it, I tell you? Holy, the grind is wild. The grind is wild. A spotted fallow deer. We shot it down over here. Oh yeah, fallow. I'm going crazy, guys. Now nah, I'm used to this, Riker. I mean, my job is to like stream and make videos all day like my eyes are used to it this is a normal day for me the only difference is I'm streaming the entire day today instead of uh, doing like off stream grinding and recording I haven't seen that name in a while Craig I don't even remember what he sounds like it's been years since I've seen one of his videos I'll have to uh, check one out soon just to see w see if the uh, if there is a resemblance there. Uh, yeah, the 300 comes with the Yukon Valley DLC, Billy. So you have to own Yukon Valley, and then if you own Yukon Valley, you'll have access to it. Nice, they render in from here perfectly. Love to see it, dude. Got a feeling this is going to be a fun zone to grind. I mean, <laughs> we missed him somehow, but I think it'll be good. Yeah, and we've got a lot of stuff today. We got two diamond fallow, a troll fallow. We got a troll rusadier, albino kangaroo, diamond red fox. Uh, what else? Piebald red deer, that's right. Piebald red deer. Was just a female, though. Holy. Is this map better for grinding than Tiabaroa? No, it's, it's definitely not better than Tiabaroa for fallow. It's a good map for Fallow, but not better than Tiawaroa. Tiawaroa is still the king. Orlando, thank you for the super chat once again. I have a huge melon mule deer on my map on SRP, but I lost him, but I'll try to find him later on. Plus, do you like the remodels? I love the remodels, man. They're so good. They're so good, especially for the Fallow deer. Fallow remodel is like, oof, top notch, chef's kiss, best part of the update aside from Australia. Oh, no, this is what I was afraid of. They're so close. Got to make this kind of annoying to grind. Eh, it is what it is. Yeah, 
Yeah, that zone's way too close. Oh my god. Oh well, it is what it is. We'll just deal with it. Uh, thank you once again for the uh, super chat, Orlando. How do I have 38 great ones? Uh, 76,000 total kills amongst all great one species and grinding pretty much every day. That's how. I've killed over 37,000 whitetail and got 27 whitetail great ones. Got 20,000 red deer kills and have got six red deer great one. I uh, got like 8k moose kills and we've got five moose great ones. Just lots and lots of time spent grinding. Yes, this is early access. It is indeed. Yeah, there's only so much I can do on a YouTube poll, Graggle. Uh, you can only do four. Oh, and I had to turn the baby monitor off. I had the baby monitor going so that I could see uh, what our daughter's doing because she's watching TV while my wife was uh, getting her shower done. But she's done now, so I don't need it anymore. All right, Johnny, no worries. Orlando, thank you for the super chat again. What's the most ugly rare? I think it's the piebald rocky elk, especially the cows. I just, uh, or it just not like the moose piebald or whitetail piebald. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my least favorite rare is. Probably, probably the piebald mule deer that only has a tiny blotch on the side because you can barely even tell that it's a rare. And I, there we go. Uh, that or the dark brown raccoon dog, because it's like, how is that even a rare? <laughs> that's probably the other one. The dark brown raccoon dog makes no sense to me as to why that's a rare. So I'd say those are two of the ones where I'm like, yeah, they're not that great. That other fallow got just barely winged, so we're going to leave that one. Do I think they're going to add a great one lion? Maybe one of these days. Probably not anytime soon, but I could see it happening eventually. These fallow are gorgeous for sure. Dude, they look really good now. Fallow went from looking okay to looking insane with this update. Three males there. Orlando, thank you for another super chat, dude. Uh, yes, that is max weight. That would be the max weight estimate for sure. Sounds like you got yourself a big boy raccoon. If you went on to SRP, the great one bear will be the first one you see. Uh, that would be sad because we're in early access, so I wouldn't even risk it. Two seventeen. That's a good fallow. Not a bad one, man. Not a bad one. Ah, uh, maybe, Matt. I hope so. Yeah, definitely, Graggle. It's a great update for them. I'm a huge fan of the new fallow deer. Holy fallow deer. Orlando and Tron, thank you guys both for the super chats. 
Holy. Tracking him, I think he's in front of me. Nice, dude, get him. Get that big male down. What have I got so far? Oh gosh, a lot of stuff. Um, two diamond fallow, a troll fallow, troll rusadir, albino kangaroo, um, diamond red fox, highballed red deer female. I think that's it. I think that's it. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's all of them. Oh, and we got a big level four feral goat that almost made diamond. Keep forgetting about that one. Oh gosh, it's a baby. Oh gosh, there's four here. Four fallow bucks again. He'll die. Maybe. Oh yeah, Logan. Always here. I still exist, I, th I think. So at this point, it's like... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Dylan. Nine hours of streaming will do that to you, I guess. <laughs> nice Thor, that's awesome, dude. Are all my moose from Rev? No, I've got three from Medved and two from Rev. Yeah, definitely hammer. Uh, even if you can't find all of the uh, trophies from the actual stream, I'm going to do a video on them for sure. Uh, the new gun's okay. The 22250 is not too bad. Uh, for a class 2 to 4 rifle, it does good. It does exactly what you would expect it to. Four hundred and thirty five kills. Hi, Scraggle. That's awesome, man. Glad to hear it. What was my 38th great one? It was a big rack whitetail. We got it to spawn yesterday on stream. Nothing there. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. <sighs> oh, gosh, the yawns are setting in. I don't need to, Jake. I, I've already uh, main menued at the beginning of the run. This herd's being stubborn. Uh, 
not sure, isn't it? Depends if we get any in, er in early access, because once early access is done, we're moving the fallow grind to Tiawaroa. I just wanted to grind on here in early access so that you guys could see a bit of like a uh, Emerald Coast grinding. But when the update fully releases to everybody, we're going to switch over to Tiavaroa to grind. Just because it, it's the best fallow map in the game. It's just too good. Any rares? Yes, we did get two rares today. We got a albino kangaroo. And we got a piebald red deer hind. Ooh, that's big. That's a solid one. That's really good. Got a massive estimate, dude. Orlando, thank you for the super chat once again. That's only a level three. Ah, oh, no, man, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Diamond number three could be. Could be another diamond for sure. Yeah, the Banting and the Crocs look really good. Huge fan of them. Let's see. I don't think that's diamond at all. Nah, 220. Good looking buck, though. Orlando, thank you for another super chat. Absolute legend. Oh, wait, this isn't him. It's a brown. When I picked up its tracks, it was a gray, not a brown. Gotcha. Well, hopefully the, the luck is still alive then. Maybe it'll be a giant. Can the fours make diamond? Uh, I assume so. I got a rack that was like one point below diamond and it was a level four. Thank you, Logan. Yeah, dude, the kangaroos are violent. They're fun, though, because of it. How's the map? It's really good, Brayden. Probably the best map they've ever made. It is a gem of a map. Happy we finally got Australia. Uh, we hunted a bunch of them throughout the day, Allison. If you uh, go back in the stream, you'll see some kangaroo hunting. And there's also kangaroo hunting in today's video as well. Anything special after the Troll Rusa? Yes, we got a Diamond Fallow again. Oh, they look good, Michigan. They look really good. I think you will be pleased. They look pretty fire. Uh, yeah, Dawson, I will add it to the Great One Counter, even if uh, we can't keep it. Oh, he stopped. Why'd you do that? Got 
Got him. Viper, thank you for the super chat, man. Hey, Scarecrow, just wanted to see how you're holding up and support you. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. I'm doing good. Getting a little bit tired as we've been going for nine hours and eight minutes, but... Still holding up. Yeah, Cooper, the OG song. Got to get the classics in here, you know? To summon the great one. You think this will, this will stay your favorite map until the next map at least? Probably. I'd say it's very likely. It's a good map. Really good map. Mrs. Crow in the building. Maybe that'll bring the uh, great one luck. Rubber wants me to join his VC. I can I can do that. It's getting to the it's getting to be that time of night anyway. I need something to keep me a little bit more alert while I'm grinding. Hey, but, how's it going? Nope, nope, uh, nope, 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 nope. You're nope, not live, are you? Nope, you don't, of course you're not I'm live, right? Oh, you're uh, live? Okay, good. Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, I can't hear anything you're saying. I didn't hear anything you've said, so. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay. We'll, we'll start fresh. We'll start fresh here. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the stream. This is so wow. super fun. We're doing PG. It's family friendly over here. Rubber's the most family friendly PG person I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Like I I look at Brobra and he just like oozes happiness and rainbows. Yep. Definitely I mean, oozing, that's for I sure. I mean family friendly doesn't mean there's no rainbows, you know, but mm -hmm. or oh. no <laughs> happiness. But oh my uh, gosh. Mm. Oh my I, gosh! I, like I <laughs> to crow, it's been it's been rough over here tonight, buddy. It's it has, eh? <laughs> Why are you Maybe. telling me you're not uh, getting sixty million diamonds and great ones and like having everything go your way? Oh, it's going it's going my way tonight. It's going <laughs> my way. But this way, I haven't done anything productive in like six hours. <laughs> oh, that's. I mean, that's not anything new. <laughs> That's just a normal Brober day. <laughs> the only thing I've heard about about uh, from you is that you wanted me to join voice chat, and then Will said you've been getting too rowdy for him. <laughs> oh. Will Will nerfed us. Will nerfed the non-family friendly. <laughs> Thank you, Will. I appreciate that. He told me to read rule number five like ten times. <laughs> it gives me. It gives me. Put the rules in. Poor bro, bro. <laughs> family friendly, family friendly. I love I, Will. You're like the freaking best, dude. Oh, oh my god. Oh, so? three fallow dead. Beautiful. Love to see it. <laughs> oh, holy. <laughs> We're at 2,000 votes now. Oh my gosh. 2,000 votes on the poll. Poll for what? For how everybody's feeling about the map. Terrible. That's crazy. 2,000 people have joined the stream and clicked vote. That's crazy. Oh. Yeah, you've been keeping like 400 plus all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> except for when uh, I take my food breaks. Yeah, 57% of people say that this is the best map ever. They've not played it. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you don't have to play it to know. 25% oh, said they need to see more before they can decide. I said that I hate it. Absolutely trash. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I should have known. Dylan, are you watching stream or are you just in uh, the text chat? Because if you're watching stream, buddy, you missed you missed a lot. Right, CDK? Sounds like I've missed a lot. Yeah. You, I mean, you should have. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. One of those, like, you're better off moments. Yep. Well, no, no, no. I think, like, you yourself would enjoy it, but, like, yeah. you live, maybe yeah. not so. <laughs> not yeah. Even. You would have been like, okay, well, I'll uh, see you guys after the release, Australia releases. I would have been like, huh. Let's just say Jaxi may have been, like, DMing you afterward. Like, hey, nah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> 
Um, I don't know. You guys get pretty wild when, sometimes. Don't you remember when you were dancing behind me that one time? Nate's Nate Nate's skirting that again. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, it's not that bad. It's pretty oh, close. No. Oh, okay. To be fair, I didn't clean up the Sherpins again. <laughs> Y'all need help. <laughs> we, yeah, that's what yeah, we need a lot of stuff. Time, <laughs> that's what, that's what they went for. That's what they went for you. <laughs> I threatened to leave like five times. So. It keeps coming, crawling back. <laughs> <laughs> you keep coming, crawling back. What is this? A Tackle Tuesday stream? It Pretty feels much. like it. It's worse. It's, it's Friday something. night. Is there a full moon? Maybe. That's what it feels like. <laughs> I got a full moon in my shorts. <laughs> that was actually wonderful. That was, that was a good one. No, that was no, a good I'm one. Trying to get this friggin' diamond smallmouth to bite. Hmm. Are they drunk? Yeah, I don't okay. think so. I think they're no. just... I think it's just bro. I'm drinking pure like, H2O. I'm sober. I've been drinking water. water. Like actually, they're all watered <laughs> up, like a flower. Actually, Woo. actually, I'll correct that. I was drinking Mio in my water, so it's drinking flavored Mio. water. <laughs> How do I get Ooh. this to refocus? I don't even know. Really? Whatever. I'm saying you're drinking fuzzy. Mio just sounds like code. No, 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 no. It's Mio. Oh, I know. I'm just saying it sounds like it's code for something. It can, it can be whatever you want it to What be, even's bro. happening? I don't know. <laughs> they told me to join, so I joined. We, I, I, I should have put it. I, we should have put a disclaimer on that. <laughs> hey, I, I partially, there. I partially blame chat. They were like, "Bro, bro, what's you join? Join, bro, bro." <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, oh, yeah. What's the worst that could happen?" <laughs> no, no, they were saying the opposite of what I was saying. I was saying you're gonna get demonetized if you join. <laughs> nah. Chat it would lie to you. Bad. You're right. <laughs> It was pretty filtered. Yeah, filtered like a Brita. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you need help. Get yeah. some. Oh, man. You need as much help as I'm going to need when I uh, start up the real fallow grind on uh, <laughs> on the 20th. What does that mean? Nate, what does Bradster mean? Who knows? <laughs> Is there a I don't get that. Involved? I don't get that. Or white fellow rare? No. Oh no, I know exactly. But somebody what, following the rules exactly and not spamming is oh, rare. No. no I'll, really. I'll DM you, bro, bro. <laughs> okay, because I don't get it. Okay, we got three bucks there. Beautiful. I missed it. <laughs> I was talking to my chat. That's not how that works, Kaylee. Uh, I'm definitely special, Nicholas. My mom always said so. That's what my mom said. <laughs> my mom used to say. Your coffee ain't working no more? Mom, yeah, mama. sounds accurate. Oh, you floater. Disgusting. Back Welcome here. Back, oh, Crow, did you hear me uh, describe my diarrhea this morning? Oh, no, dude. I didn't. But that <laughs> oh does not God, surprise dude. me, Mr. Poop Story Connoisseur. Dude, I ate something weird. I don't know what it was. I ate like something weird. It definitely wasn't because I have dignity. Um, <laughs> Trash in the but... Pop-Tarts, eh? I was thinking <laughs> ingenuity. Yes. Ingenuity. I it was, I I was, I it would have made sense. I would have had Giardia. I would have given myself Giardia. Pop-Tarts aren't that bad. I mean, it's not my first yeah. choice. I haven't yeah. had a Pop-Tart in like a Pop year, but... No, no, no. yeah. Uh, Eating a pop tart with stagnant water on it. Wait, what? Fresh That's water. What, have what you not you heard mean? this story? What, no, um, I haven't heard the story. I just got oh here. Oh my! No, no, no! Lord. This is old this story. Is my oh this is my lord! Wait, which Baby story? Jesus in heaven, save us from this man. <laughs> <laughs> which one are you talking about? You've my? told me so many stories that no, I've just like is... kind of blanked out half of them. This is my story. This, this is, is Caitlyn's story. That's why. It's oh, it was a Caitlyn story. That's probably why I haven't heard it. Because usually, usually I hear the Brober stories. Mm. Yeah, you're gonna hate this one. <laughs> Question oh, is, I'll is my chat it. gonna hate this one? No, no they're gonna they're gonna love it. They're gonna be like, this chick's a freak, bro. Yeah, they're gonna love it. Um, <laughs> and not in a good way. They're gonna be like, this is Caitlyn from chat. Yeah, this is Caitlyn from chat. This is mod Caitlyn. Yes. Yes, this is um, Caitlyn and Brobra and Nate, all of my uh, moderators and friends yeah. here on the channel. So if you guys are not familiar mm -hmm. with them, that's that's who we done's been talking <clears throat> to's right now. 
Yeah. So, uh, when I was in high school, I walked to school because I lived like a few blocks or whatever. And um, one morning I was eating ah, a hot plate Sunday pop tart, and uh, it was a rainy morning, and I was not very far from my house, and I dropped my hot fudge sundae pop tart in a puddle uh, a very shallow puddle, yeah and it was icing side down so i was gonna leave it but then i was like but i might not get breakfast this morning you know like this is hot fudge sundae as well so i, I don't picked it i already up, don't like where this is going <laughs> i picked it up and inspected it and like it wasn't in the puddle long enough to like for the water to have permeated the icing it was just kind of on the surface so i whisked the water off the icing and i ate the pop tart anyway and then you died the next day and you were forever I remembered see now, as the puddle the puddle pop art eater um no i don't think i really told anyone that time I i've probably been sitting on that one for five second for puddle rule <laughs> no yeah. there's a zero second puddle rule if your pop tart falls in a puddle a stagnant puddle with stagnant no, it was, water. It there's was a, a chance fresh there's bacteria. Puddle. There's a chance. Puddle there's tart? Yeah, it's a puddle tart. There's a dog pee. Dog pee on the ground. It had just rained that morning. Down. It was drizzling on you know the way. You know what happens? You know what happens with a raccoon? Brobra's out of pocket. Dude it is out of pocket. Yeah, he. Brobra's something. Um, you could have gr. You could have got rabies. Why I just have rabies? Rabies from a puddle? What? That's not a thing, Brobra. It's oh, not like the okay. puddle bit you. Okay, okay. How about how about I start come out there to Oregon and start dropping <laughs> friggin' pop tarts and puddles and making you eat them? How about that? We'll see who gets rabies first. I mean, it's probably <laughs> probably cleaner water out here. So first to a rabies challenge. First to a rabies. Challenge. <laughs> I mean, just just stick your hand in front of a raccoon around here. That'll do it. <laughs> or like a uh, find find one of the daytime bats. <laughs> Find a daytime Ooh. bat and then maybe you'll get yeah. it first. <laughs> and you just you just gotta you just gotta go outside. You just keep looking around until you see a little bat flying around. And then you're like, ah, there he is. And, and, that, that, raccoon is and that is how lot. you start. I'm gonna leave that joke there. <laughs> I'm glad you I'm glad we can make you laugh. Um, let's like <laughs> screw eating Tide Pods. Let's just try and get rabies. <laughs> We're gonna, first to a rabies challenge, everybody. <laughs> and it's not as bad as the cafeteria loser. floor. Then you're gonna, then you're gonna yeah, have to probably. Do a lemonade stand or like a car wash to pay for the rabies shots after that. Bikini <laughs> Nate. So I've they got come to the rescue. Yeah, Bikini Nate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just have a lemonade stand. I've got, I've got insurance. I'm an hey, adult. Bro. Can you like <laughs> no. absorb my bullets, please? That is your insurance plan. <laughs> don't don't get rabies. <laughs> Save money. <laughs> just don't get rabies. You call your insurance and they're just like, you're just like, hey, hey, uh, uh man, uh, I'm I'm in rough shape. And they're like, let me give you a tip. Don't be in rough shape. And then they just hang up. <laughs> my god that's the uh, that's that's Ugh. as far as they go with the rabies care Kaylee you're supposed um, to check that out the I'm door. sorry to hear that sir <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to uh, have to drop you from our plan you're getting too expensive this is the fourth time this month that you've uh, done a rabies challenge no, and called us Rabies called challenge. meeting your deductible baby <laughs> hey fall free after that let's go yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh um, man Kaylee, yeah, uh, you're supposed to check your sanity at the door before you enter these streets. Sanity? Oh, what's that? Yeah, <laughs> we have a we have a coat we have a coat check here. Um, a coat check. Yeah, sanity. <laughs> you get a number. Now we got oh. sanity checks. We got to make sure that uh, nobody's sanity is uh, below fifty percent, or else the ghost will come <laughs> after us a little bit quicker. Oh, yeah. it's a phasmophobia reference, everybody. Pop culture. Booga booga. <sighs> booga 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 booga. Uh, Phasmophobia is coming to console and will be caught cross platform, so. <laughs> Just saying. Oh. Just saying. Yeah. I'm shooting bears. I, yeah, oh, I just don't. I just saw Stevie's diamond eye. That's awesome. I'm shooting bears, so prepare for me to pop a great one. What does it take no. me to try Stop again? Stop it! <laughs> 
<laughs> I swear to God, if you get another great one, Bear, while I, I'm in the chat on your stream, I will cry a little bit. I'll It'll happen. Too. <laughs> Must <laughs> I'm, alive. I'm also going to cry if we pop the Great One Fallow now while all this is going on. Oh, can you imagine you pop the Great One Fallow now and then when you get it on your actual cert, like actual account, it takes you like six or seven thousand kills. And it pops yeah, when I'm like 3 a.m. grinding with no, uh, yeah. with no, uh, with no, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Commentary. That'd yeah, be my exactly. luck. Exactly. But at the very minimum, I can at least say that I got one in early access. So, yeah, I was telling everybody earlier, like I'm, like I'm always super happy whenever you get like, like your early access trophies and stuff. But also, like now, like right now, I'm really happy for you. But later on, I kind of like feel bad for you, especially like like the mountain here. Like, well, I got a diamond mountain here in early access, and I'm like, okay, so you like you don't have a mountain here, you yep, know? So, like pretty much. Ugh. I'm really sad about that. Uh, I mean, I'm happy about it, but I'm also sad that I don't get to keep that albino roo. That thing's gorgeous. I didn't even get to see it yet. I heard about it, though. It's the most beautiful rare in the game. It, Dude, it tops Melanistic Pheasant for me. Whoa. That's really? a bold statement. Is it's that really good. Because it, it, it's, like it's got like a cream-colored tint throughout its fur, and it's got the bright pink feet and stuff. Like, oh, my gosh. It's mm. such a good-looking albino. Don't come into my chat talking about roux cream to me. <laughs> Looper roux. Yeah, they look really good, Strife. They, they look great. Is there... Wait, are there leucistic that I hear? Or was that someone else talking about... Or a different type? That's a crocodile. Um, Lady got a leucistic one. Ooh. Kangaroo? Yeah. So leucistic and albino confirmed for kangaroos. Let's go. I want to see a piebald one. Ooh, Nicholas, I hope that's a thing. That was the most tame joke that we've made in this stream, buddy. I guarantee you. <laughs> there we go. This this stream, it wasn't just off the hinges. There was no door. It's like whatever. Not gonna like, lie, after the root cream skin. joke, we gained ten viewers. So <laughs> something must have stuck there. Yeah, like, they left bro bros. <laughs> <laughs> they left bro bros to come over here. They're like, ah, yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. nah, bro bros been going strong, so. It's uh, they're like, uh, this Brober guy, this Brober character, you might be a little I'll too much you. for me. Oh, no, TTK, this hasn't even can't. been unhinged. It's like, it's this stream, like, it's like when you get grounded as a kid and like your parents take your door up the door off your room, like, that's where we're at. There was no, there was no door to be unhinged. I, that, that didn't happen to me. I just was sent to my room for time out. I never was grounded or anything. I just got grounded. Usually it was like get stuff taken away for a week or two. Well, I kept finding where they were hiding like all my stuff. Uh, so I took the door off. You yeah. would be the kid that would do that. They didn't hide it very good. <laughs> you just you're like climbing on top of like uh computer desks and stuff, getting onto the top shelf, like, did he hide it up here? Did he hide it up here? Yeah, no. Uh I learned too late, honestly. Uh really too late in my life that you can go find this when they take this stuff away from you you can go find it but just make sure you put it back before they get home yeah that's <laughs> how <laughs> so you did put it back yeah so i get so you just got in more trouble <laughs> just kept getting in more trouble yeah at that point you were just asking for it bro bro i mean right, what did you expect idiot kid <laughs> you were a kid <laughs> Oh. I had to bring oh, us back oh, down God. to the cringy jokes. I had to get us you away from the Brober jokes and bring us back to the cringy jokes. You're hit, you're getting close to you're getting close to the, <laughs> your grinding ceiling where you start making like the weird puns. Yeah. Well, oh, I've been there, dude. We're nine and a half hours in. Oh my oh. gosh. Whew. Oh, good stuff. I was good for about the first seven to eight hours. Last hour and a half to two hours has just been downhill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you I, say that again. <laughs> the second the second that I got some dinner in me, I'm just like, it's lazy time. Yeah, no. Lazy um, Town? I love that show. I, was I haven't seen that show in like but... 10 plus years. Welcome to I just people. remember that my, uh, my sister watched it a little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was like, um, like it was. I was too old to be watching it, but I was like, I couldn't look away. 
Got you. I was just thought it was weird. Yeah, baby. I didn't like it. Ghost I just thought it was weird. Mouth. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Wow, Statler. Let's go. About oh. the gold or whatever that was. Um, I think you got skimmed. I think. I think oh. The book. Oh, that fallow's huge. Huge. Oh my so. gosh, that five is massive. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. That's what, the biggest five? level five of the day. That's the biggest level five of the day, easily. Put your ding dongs in chat for this big old bass. And this big old fallow. Oh my well, gosh, this old. is the best fallow of the day. Do you have a alive garden in Kansas City? I don't have a dead garden. My garden is live. I'm gonna mute while I'm taking it down. <laughs> How far away is it? 277. Dude, look at him. Okay, yeah, I like the new diamond racks. This is crazy looking. This is definitely a new one, I think. That almost looks 270 plus. It might be, but I don't know what they can reach with the new scoring. Jeez, they're beautiful. Yeah, Diamond Fallow are looking good after the update. Like, that just screams monster. Watch it not even be Diamond. Watch this be a troll. <laughs> That'd be my luck. We got him. Let's go. Yeah, top estimates 285. That's pretty big. Could you imagine if I had ranged for 75? That would have been terrible. Yeah, it's a big boy. That's a big boy. There's no way he's not diamond. 263 diamond. Wow. So they still get in the 260s. That is a 98.58 kg, so it's like one and a half kgs off of max weight. That's a big boy right there. Yeah, these fallow are beautiful. Beautiful fallow. That's our third diamond fallow of the day. Fourth level five in total. That's pretty nice, man. Uh, let's go see what these roos are doing. I can't help it. When I hear a roo, I gotta check. I don't want to make them attack me. Yeah, I don't know, uh, Gavin. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. So my dog it. is so weird. It was an absolute giant. 263 diamond fallow. 1.5 kgs off max weight. Eat Holy. her, buddy. Eat her. <laughs> that thing looked crazy. A lot of us are questioning if they can even make 270 anymore if that's like a almost max weight <laughs> no nicholas i am not okay attack me come on do it i think my i think i stopped being okay when brasser told me his mom was single <laughs> Wait, <laughs> <did you> not <laughs> it wasn't before that i think i was okay i think oh. i was okay before then i don't know but that, that point, <laughs> I just, I died at that point a little bit. Poor Brobra. He's being Brobra today. Ah, uh, Bradshaw, you're, just, you're a legend, it. dude. You're a legend. I yeah, it's totally all Brobra, guys. I DM you, Nate. Oh, oh it is. Okay. It's Brobra. <laughs> I'll take a look. That's a big old fish. What am I about to look at? I'm just typing random stuff. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. I can't even. Bradster. <laughs> Hello, what? little Rue. Uh, oh, neck shot it. Hate to see it. Gotta, feels bad. Yeah. Sucks to be him. Breed that straight into the lineage, to the gene pool. <laughs> gonna breed it like hemophilia and the royal, <laughs> and the royal bloodlines. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Somebody call CJO. Somebody call Jesus. Jesus. I can't speak. Whoa. I, I almost said GJO and said CJO. I can't speak right now. Um, Jesus, baby. It's the nine and a half hours, man. What are you? Are you? Are you drinking water, Crow? Or I've been through like three twenty-four ounce glasses today. Of what? Water. Oh, okay. One hundred. And then I've also had a, uh, I've also had a, um, a couple sodas. I've had one cider, and now I'm drinking a mixed drink and some water. Y you know what? When you're when you're doing a nine and a half hour stream, you get to have a lot of different drinks of like water and stuff throughout the day. Crazy just, how it compares to I'm a two hour stream. I'm just concerned. I'm just concerned about the energy that we've been putting out before mm -hmm. you got here and then your mixed drink adding to that mm -hmm. I'm just nah. I'm concerned I was Why? concerned the second you opened your mouth tonight <laughs> I mean you, you joined this chat though so. I did <laughs> he, knew, he was concerned and yet he knew he wanted it right? he could not look away to be <laughs> fair I just saw people saying Bro Brober said join him and then that's uh -oh. <laughs> they were like we Brober said, said join that. voice we chat <laughs> Yeah, they were lying to you. There was there I was said, two people in a row that said Brober wants you to join coin. VC. Brober wants you to join VC. I, I did uh -huh. I did say that to you in a DM. Yeah, but they said um, it in chat too. No, they yeah, said no, we, we were saying he should not join. Yeah, they <laughs> oh, well, they were telling me to join. I revised I revised that mm -hmm. to he's probably gonna get canceled if he joins. <laughs> they yeah. they re you you trusted chat? Oh. I mean, well, they've never lied to me before. Well, they just did. <laughs> yeah, not that you've caught, you haven't caught them in a lie yet. Yeah. Just because it's clear doesn't mean it's water. <laughs> hey, are you saying? Are you saying I mean, I'm not drinking my water, Gavin? If you have a teacher that drank out of a glass bottle, and we were all <laughs> convinced it was vodka. If you if you look at what I'm Probably. drinking, it's not water, and it's clear as day. Hand sanitizer. I tell you what, no, so I think I know where you're going with that. But the min, the the way this stream is going, the second you said pineapple juice, I think you and I were on different wavelengths. Uh, oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Brober's in a, in a pineapple juice mood. Mm. That's why the, the chat's so wild. It wasn't even him. My brain is like split on that one. Both not good. <laughs> Both not family friendly. I mean, Brober's just talking about like what he wants with his mixed drinks. He wants pineapple juice, obviously. Yeah, I like, I like. He uh, wants like a pineapple juice vodka or something. I love uh, pina coladas. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah. Yummy. Mhm. Mm a lot of ladas. You put the lime in the coconut. Yep. And you mix it all up. Yep. Man, speaking of pina coladas, making me want like a mojito. What? I think it's Ooh. pronounced mojito. No. Mojito. Mojito. Emoji toes. Mo more toes. <laughs> no, no, Jeremy. No. Sorry, dude. You came back at a weird time, man. Sorry, buddy. This entire, like, evening is a weird time. What do you mean? <laughs> no, you have no idea, Crow. Um. <laughs> I mean, I think I've got a taste of it. What um, no, the... Crow. You have no idea. What about the crocodiles you have no idea. On, on the coast of Australia, eh? What about the crocodiles? They're awful. Ooh, what about them? Crying They're the awful teeth. for the fallow. Good day, mate. Oh, <laughs> correct. What was that? I'm trying to that change was Brober failing hard. I'm trying to change the vibe. Guys, we're at a 555 on the bear grind, number three. <laughs> five, 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 oh, five, 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 five. That that's my grind right now. Five so five 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 five. That's my bear grind. This has gone so sideways. Life as oh, life is a highway. My chat's like Brober, chill out. I can whoa whoa. I'm I stay chill. I'm chill like an icebox, bro. 
I'm super now you're hot. you're more like uh you're you're about as chill as the top of the ice box. I had to I had that's to change as, that's as chill as you get. I had to change out of a sweatshirt because I've been laughing. Still pretty chill, I'd say. Uh um, no no. Jeremy, look, we'll be back to normal on Sunday. Don't worry. We're never normal. What do you mean? Never that's normal. I mean our normal. Okay. Don't you worry as about our normal. normal as he gets. Hey, in other servant? words, Welcome. so not normal. Welcome, man. Good to see you. <laughs> Welcome to the chaos. Oh, it's chaos, I can tell you. Um, Nate, I, oh, yeah. I, I DM'd you again. I read speaking it. Of, <laughs> speaking of uh, in the toilet, oh my gosh, dude. It was so, I don't know what I ate, dude, but what? like, I was like, it, picture a jet ski on a muddy river. <laughs> That Gosh. was me this morning, dude. That's why I had to cancel International Waters. Facts serve it. Nah, he just didn't want to stream with CJO. Uh, well, no, of course I didn't want to stream he with CJO. He was CJO. like, "Gosh, more Australia. time with this guy." Uh, yeah, why? Why would I? Why would I want to stream with CJO when he could be on Australia getting early access? Of course getting not. a yeah, it's true. crocodile. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got my boys back. All right, mm -hmm. he might be a stinky red coat. <clears throat> <laughs> or should I say a, a smarmy red coat or a barmy red coat? Barmy. I think barmy's the right one. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, Miles, but I didn't tell Crow. He needed to know that, Miles. I that was vital it's... information. Bear oh, yeah. and deer equal beer. Ah. Yes, indeed. I've seen lots of shirts like that. <laughs> mm hmm. If you guys didn't know, oh, this is baby. basically what the streams on the second channel turn out like. <laughs> if you want more of this, subscribe to the second channel where we do uh, that was smooth. the less than family friendly streams that, that, that aren't called wild. That was a smooth transition. I'm impressed. Hey, I gotta gotta find a way to like <laughs> say it's plug. normal. That was a smooth plug though. Like. <laughs> it was smooth, like the transition to our sponsor. Oh, really? Yeah, today's sponsor is pineapple juice. That was really smooth. <laughs> <laughs> like the penetration of this bullet into the side of that fallow deer. It was a smooth <laughs> transition. <laughs> uh, mm -mm. I mean, this bullet's cutting through fallow like butter. Smooth as butter. Hi, Dylan. That's kind of what a 300 oh. Magnum does, though, I guess. Mm hmm. 300 Magnum knocking them down because we're nine hours in and I'm about to go to town on them. Oh, uh, Statler just subscribed to you, Nate. Let's go. Oh, thank you, Statler. Nate the Great. <laughs> Nate the Great. <laughs> Nate, why are you showing me this? <laughs> why? I just, I, just, I, looked, <laughs> I looked up gifts and I was just like, oh, this one looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Brober said check your butt cracks then he said I panicked? <laughs> yeah, Brober loves to say check your butt cracks. That's that's what Brober does. <laughs> it's so funny giving what I'm looking at from Nate right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh gosh. <laughs> he Brober said dying? Gift. Yeah, Brober's dying. Don't describe the gift. Don't describe the gift. Don't describe it. Don't do it. Bad he idea. Sent one, he sent one that you can get on Discord, everybody. It's one that's from the official Discord <laughs> thing. It's fine. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> hey, I've seen well, some of the gifts on the official Discord. Not all of them are okay. <laughs> some of them are <laughs> something else. <gasps> I need to go get some more water. I'll be right back. Do it. You might as well douse your face with <laughs> it as well. You water while you're at. Cool get yourself holy off. Water and go repent too. Um, can I drink I'm... holy water? <laughs> yeah, of I... course. Is I mean, that unless, help me? unless you're a demon, then you'll just burn from the inside. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out real quick. I mean, after this conversation, I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> you're too far gone. <laughs> He's too far gone. He cannot be saved. And I can't jump. Apparently, that's a tree. Trees stop you, you from jumping. You see what I'm saying, Nate? You saw what I actually yep. look at? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing there. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh my Did you God. miss anything cool? Uh, yeah, lots of diamond fallow yes. deer. Albino uh, kangaroo. Pearl rooster deer. Diamond fox. Chat. Tons of good stuff. 
You saw what? <laughs> a little self promo. <laughs> because Jeremy needed help, so I just promoted to come to mine. <laughs> Um, the grind's going well, Dylan. We are oh, at man. 555 kills still. No, all right, Brad, that's, a, that, that's enough, Brad. I'm sorry. Look, <laughs> you, 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 you need to chill out. <laughs> oh. Holy. Uh. Oh. So, what do you guys think of what you've seen of Australia so far? And just this update <laughs> in general. What do you think of it, Nate, Nate, Caitlin, and Brobra? You guys have to answer. <laughs> yeah, I can't right now. Okay, I'll go hey, you guys first. answer I, it. Brobra doesn't need I, to. No. I don't want his opinion anyway. <laughs> I, It's one of those maps where I know they're introducing the great one, Mike, Jeremy. Fallow, but I cannot set up my grind all Australia because I just want to go around and kill every single thing. Yup, literally every there's... animal on this map is like it's it's like you see it and you're like, ooh, piece of candy, let's go get it. Because this is like the first time we've got well in a while that we've gotten a map that has like a lot of new animals. And a lot of them are antlered game as well. Yep, and at <laughs> least the ones game. that are repeats got reworks on them, so it's like they're almost new anyway. Yeah, pretty much. Like everything feels new. Ooh, oh, it's a big four. Okay. Thought you were a five, thought you were a five, but you're not, but it's okay because you're still a good four. I'm a 10, all right? I mean, hey, if you believe that, that's all that matters. You know, confidence is key. It is. Facts. <laughs> Thank you, Dylan. I appreciate that. Um, I'm glad you didn't notice that that was the most backhanded compliment I've ever said in my life. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I, I, no, 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 I, I picked up on it. Don't worry. <laughs> like, hey, if you don't believe worry. that, that's all that matters. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. I picked up on it. Okay. It's noted. It's noted. I, I, Jonathan, <laughs> thank you for the membership, dude. Uh, congrats to Pedroski. You got thank gifted you. that membership. Thank you so much, Holy dude. How? how did I get... Oh how my gosh. Well, let's see how many subs we lost throughout throughout the last uh, little conversation. Oh, we didn't lose any. Okay, we gained eight. I, dude, I gained subscribers and I'm not even <laughs> streaming. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, oh my you guys gosh. are messed up. All right. Uh, TK says Nate is in fact a 10. So. You guys all have problems if you're subscribing right now, and I love you for it. That just means they're here for it. <laughs> They just enjoy <laughs> the chaos. Dude, I'm telling that's in my description. I think I say something about the chaos. Yeah. Probably. You got, you got the kind of problems that I like, all right? <laughs> I think Nate's chat's pretty, like, normal. It's pretty much my chat. Like, so Yeah, much. it's pretty normal. It hasn't normal gotten... plus lore. No, like, Fakus was asking is free of speech or what, but, like, you're pretty, like... You're, we're not dropping like bad things or shit. Oh no. We don't no. drop we don't drop F bombs, right, you know. Oh. Yeah. Actually okay. Nate does sometimes, but you know, it's usually accidental. I'm gonna go I fish. No, I've day. been better no, I've been better about it, Crow. Oh, I'm just going off the last one I saw. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? It's last one. Contract. Yeah, I haven't watched in a while. I've... Yeah, that was wow. like at the beginning. I don't get a chance to watch any streams hardly Ooh. ever. It's fine. Sag. <laughs> um, we love you anyways, Crow. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I shot you. We don't, TTK. We don't do it in writing. We just voice the F bomb. We don't write it out. Gosh. <laughs> no, no. We actually, we actually, literally, like, we we just put up a a GIF on screen that's just a mm. bomb with an F on it. <laughs> That's it. Yep. And then you just hear a bee! Oh my gosh, there's red deer all over me. Oh, that's. I have two great one black bears, PM. I have two um... great one black bears. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys want to you guys want to hear a joke? And you taste that three. salt in the air? Bears. Yeah, they're bears. a joke. No, no, no. What's black and red all over? A newspaper. A dead melanistic red deer. Holy. <laughs> Did you just get one? No. No. It's a joke. 
Uh, <laughs> He's trying to relate okay. it to Call of the Wild, I guess. I don't know. Apparently. I was trying to bring it back. I was trying to bring it back, all right? My brain's too gone to bring anything and back. I, I, I just lost find me. a really big deer. Great. You lost me. I'm lost. I lost you a long time ago. Uh, Stasis, thank you for the gifted Ronda? membership. Congrats to Ryder. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Nate's throwing it back. That's what? not good. What? Dylan, what are you fishing these eyes for? I think you're on the wrong website for that, Nate. <laughs> you have to chill, bro. Excited, not me. This is you too. You can't be doing what that. What are you using? Hmm? Oh, I know. I got, I got a good shot on it. Another 270 whitetail. Let's go. Have I got a great one, pair? <laughs> the ending. Of Which? So we're at 483 oh, fallow kills. Hoping we can get that great one fallow to show. Ooh, that's a male. It's a bear. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a bear. Don't oh. turn. He turned. That's just so rude. I'm gonna have to <clears throat> shoot you four times now. Did I? Correction five. <sighs> I I get a bear. You get a bear. Everybody gets a bear except Crow. We need a castle. The bears, I tell you. <laughs> I mean, the castle. <laughs> What's a bear? Um, so it's this furry thing that kind of looks like a dog. No, but it's not but a, it's a dog. dog. No, it's not a dog, but it kind of looks like a dog. So, it's kind of a weird looking dog. So it's a wolf. What, no, what so, no, but it's kind of like a dog. No, it's, but it's also kind of like it's a like, cat. So it's but a it's mountain all, actually, lion. no, actually, you know, it's more like an oversized raccoon that's just black. Hmm. What? Are no. That would just be a binturong. No, 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 a, 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 a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit bigger. <laughs> David's in your chat. <laughs> oh no! Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> he made it for the best conversation of the day. I don't even know Johnny. I, I don't know what's going on at this point. We've divulged into madness. Ooh, that's the right word, right? Divulged into madness. Yep, divulged. Yep. yep. Imploded. I mean, I guess diverted would be the same thing. Like, we've gone off our path. We've diverted off our path into madness. <laughs> I don't know how to play chess, Dylan. <laughs> 487 what? kills You don't know how down. to play chess? Gotta get no, more now. No, he said chess Woo! instead of cheese. Oh. Wow. Oh, man. Oh my goodness. We're Johnny, I don't know right? if you were here when we got it, but we got a 263 diamond fallow and it was almost max weight. So looking like it might, there might not be 270s anymore. 263 at 98.5 kgs. Pretty big and it was really wide. So, oh, piebald. Let's go, piebald. Woo! Okay. We got a piebald. I definitely was wrong about the piebald spawn rate. I thought maybe it was increased, but no, it's not. I just got really lucky during my first 180 kills. I'm glad that pie is bald because I wouldn't need it if I had air on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> you freak. Um, okay. Anyway. First rare of the grind. Well, first rare of the streaming grind. Oh, I'm at food, everybody. Look at that gorgeous piebald. Holy. That is awesome. Absolutely smoked him. The piebald fallow looks so phenomenal. Like, they're so oh, good. Bridge. This grind is probably going to be the most enjoyable grind in the game. Like, with the, with the rework, all the new fur types, the improved piebalds, the fact that there's at least two patterns for the piebald now... And the new great one, like, it's going to make the fallow grind so enjoyable. There we go, a piebald. Oof. Beautiful. They look so good, man. They look so amazing. Yeah, true, Johnny, true. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Love them, man. I want to get the other piebald to spawn just so we can see it in game for you guys. Because I showed you guys it in the lodge earlier, but... We haven't seen one in game. <laughs> or at least you guys haven't yet. I've got it on video though, so it'll go up at some point, but at this point we're just gonna have a piebald video. 
We're gonna have a video with a bunch of pie bolts because I got a ton in the first 180 kills and then we've gone 300 without another. So yeah, I don't think they're over spawning. For a second I thought that they were because I got four in 180 kills, but it's been 300 kills since the last one. So I'd say they're actually fine. I just got really lucky for a while. Well, don't want just got a diamond eyed. He did? Of course yeah. he did. Why why would why would he not have a diamond eye? The king of the catchfish, too. Ah, of course. Of course. You know what that uh giant gold catfish that I got during the um the EW Angler stream? That made me want to go for catfish more. Like that thing was amazing and it was almost diamond. Fought really hard. I ran the wrong way the whole time. That's a Brover thing to do. Like, I don't know what you expected out of yourself, Brover. That's just what oh you do. Oh my god. I'm not even surprised. Like you said no, that, either. and I just kind of, I just kind of moved on. It's just like, yeah, normal. I ran the whole, I ran all the way down the freaking mountain. Oh. Hey, uh, you know what that diamond respawned as? A Little baby one? level two. Oh. <laughs> the greatest of ones. Oh, that's a good one. That's if a it's good a great one, one do you actually think that you'd have eardrums right now? Oh. <laughs> If I spawned a great one, none of you would be able to hear. Your hearing would be gone, man. You'd be oh, out of here. Rest My in peace. Sayonara. Oh, no, Johnny. Yikes, man. Mm -hmm. Piebald Fallow, best piebald now. Uh, I'd say, yeah, I think it's the nicest looking piebald now. Although, although, Sambar and Rusa look really good, too. So it's a toss up between those three for me. And we don't know what the, um, well, actually somebody said that Casey got a, a hog deer piebald. I'll have to look at it later. If it's the one on his thumbnail, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the hog deer piebald. I think it's not as good as the Rusin sandbar. If it was the one on his thumbnail. I'm spent, John. I'm spent. <laughs> yeah. The piebald fallow are so good looking. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, Deer Slayer, we're not doing HM in early access. I don't feel like putting in the work to get HM going just to have it reset <laughs> when the uh, early access is done. So we're going to wait till full release to do herd management. Then we'll really start hitting it. I'm just thinking of that stupid gift Nate sent me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I glad he didn't send it to me? Probably. I, probably I'd say yeah. yes. Probably. Good. I haven't even seen it, and I'm Good. just going to assume yes is probably the right answer there. Nate, did you watch that reel I sent to CJO? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't wait till he watches that. He wakes up. He watches that, like, in bed, like, next to Abby. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> You are an evil mastermind, bro. <laughs> She's gonna be like, oh, what is that? <laughs> Orlando, thank you for the super chat, man. Come on, super rare fallow. Hey, that's what I'm saying, dude. Give us a super rare fallow in early access so I can be happy and sad at the same time. At least you'll have pictures. Actually, True. you'll have a video. Pictures and video for it, so. Content. Honestly, that's the biggest reason why I don't mind doing the early, early access stuff. I can't keep the trophies, but like I record and stream everything. So I'll have footage of it if I ever yeah, want to look back at it. Brover's evil. He uh. is. He's he's plotting. He's plotting <laughs> against CJO hardcore. <laughs> oh, that's like after a normal early, thing, though. After early access, you get to keep the, later, Logan. After early access, you get to keep the map, right? But you don't loot. You don't get to keep your progress. Yeah, like I'll still have the map because um, they have to give us the map in order for us to be able to play on it, right? But the, uh, so I won't have to purchase it. <laughs> but yeah, it'll reset all progress because it's using a different save file. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's essentially a copy of my main save file. So yeah, any progress will not carry over. But yeah, I won't have to purchase Ugh. the map again, so that'll be good. I really shouldn't have 
told my chat about my web toes. They're really oh, taking no. this into a, a, a totally different angle. <laughs> They're attacking you hardcore now. That it was intended to go in. Hey, you know, sometimes you just you deserve a little bit of piling on, you know. What? Thanks. That's like the most romantic thing you ever told me. <laughs> yeah, like sometimes you gotta have everybody like uh, flooding you with roasts, you know. With roses? Yeah, yeah roast beef? I get it. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, what roast, I was. definitely. Duck roast. Yep, I'm picking it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, Brober wants to order an Arby's roast, roast beef sandwich. You know. Mm. Oh, be no, dude, I'm a beef and cheddar boy. You know what I'm saying? Not gonna lie, I hate the Arby's roast beef sandwiches. No, okay, they just don't taste good. Arby's makes me sick. Not the only honest. thing that's good at Arby's is their mozzarella sticks with the bronco berry sauce. That stuff's fire. But everything else at Arby's is the most mediocre thing I've ever had. Uh, they have a buffalo chicken wrap that's actually really Ooh, good there. That sounds good. Yeah, I'll have to try that. It's, but they're it's... like... Their roast beef sandwiches are so bad. Yeah, they no this buff the buffalo chicken sandwich. There's actually, I mean, not sandwich. Their wrap is really good. Yeah, I could see that being good. I just had the um the Carl's Jr. jalapeno uh, chicken sandwich. That was one of the better chicken sandwiches I've had. It's better than the KFC chicken sandwich. Jalapeno. <laughs> I don't know if it's as good as like some of the uh, McDonald's like crispy chicken sandwiches. Like, oh, to Chick be honest, McDonald's does good with the crispy chicken. Uh, not really. Chick Fil A is well. I Chick guess it depends on where you Wendy's live, right? Is probably the best. Like yeah. around here, um, the McDonald's crispy chicken sandwiches are pretty good. They're better than like a uh, McChicken. And that's coming from somebody who loves McChickens and has like lived off of them through half my childhood. <laughs> Like, I love the McChickens. This boy so loves good. his McChicken. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a big fish, bro, bro. This is a sliver. Oh. Oh, you're right, Xavier. We just hit 10 hours. Woo! So Let's go! I mean, I said I'd go as long as I can. Ali as long as... on that door yet. Exactly. Oh. I, that's what I'm saying. As long as Aaliyah doesn't want me to, like, be in the room with her when she goes to sleep, then I'm going to stream as long as I can. And even then, Guys. I might just go take, like, a 30-minute break to help her go to bed and then come back here and continue streaming. What up, Nate? So, Ooh. so far, so I, I got that 275.53 max weight whitetail earlier. Yeah. And I got a 270. And now I just spawned one that has, a, uh, like, the max estimate of 300. It's big. Holy. <laughs> yeah. Sanity, brother. Turd whoa, whoa, management. Whoa, 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 come back here. More like turd mm. management. That's for you. That's just like when I go into your into your uh, Discord and your chat, I'm like, oof. Managing uh, the turd. Did you almost say bathroom? No, <laughs> I didn't. That's what I'm going to your bathroom. I was trying. I was trying to think. I was. I was pausing because I was Get like, am I gonna am bathroom. I gonna offend Brover's chat by saying this? But then I was like, ah, oh, no, they'd have to be. They'd have to be to watch Bro Bro. Whoa. <laughs> it's a joke, by the way. Don't take it seriously, it's a, guys. It's, it's a joke. joke. Take, don't take it's it seriously. It's a joke. Take it seriously. Take it seriously. The only thing not eye? being taken seriously is Bro Bro. Hayden, I would not do that. Not that this stream. Never. This stream. <laughs> yeah, David. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna pretend there's a great one because that would just hurt my soul in addition to everyone else's in this chat. We did it, guys! We hit 500 kills on Fallow. That could hurt um, my We will get this great one. Hi, Hangry. Nice to meet you. I'm bro, bro. <laughs> The question is, Got who's gonna get miles. it first, me or Ibai? Ibai is almost at 2,000 kills already. What? He's been grinding for like five days. Like five to seven days, Ibai's been grinding fallow for most of early access. Two seventy one point eight. I will take it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, skiller for sure, dude. Hey, this is what happens when you join a late night stream here. Late night streams are a, a whole different beast. Nate Cro just gasped again. I forgot to taxi. I gotta go for do the trick. 
Well, you know, let, what think of it this way, foul play, right? In chapter eight. If I buy is already 2,000 kills into the grind and he hasn't got a great one, Fallow, you know, maybe I'm going to get lucky and he's on like a long grind, right? Maybe this is going to be a four to 5,000 kill grind. Maybe we'll get one of those like sub 2,000 grinds. It's so, you know, I got grind. a chance. Yeah. Well, actually, it's an I buy and crow bear grind. Ooh, I buy's first bear was 6,000. True. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. Or maybe it was 6.5 thousand. It was something like that. Can we. I we just got our second level one at this lake. What? You have two I'm level really ones at one lake? Picky, bro. Yes. That is crazy. Well, you got double pets now. Right now. I have four oh, quad on pets. Map Holy. Right now. <laughs> yes. We got to name it, chat. What do we want to name it? You know, honestly, like, that's the way to maximize your herd management, right? You got to, like, Ooh, just leave all the level ones early on. Early on, well, yeah, I mean, like yeah. what I mean is like don't start stacking low levels till you have like 10 level ones on your map, then start shooting the rest of the map down. I mean, it may hey. take thousands of kills, but yeah, I'm not herd managing. Maybe but... it'll min max it. Oh, I know, I, I know you're not herd managing. I'm just yeah. saying, like, you may be onto something like inadvertently finding the key to success. And like, Sliver. I mean, in how many kills? I've only had five level ones, so. They're still pretty rare. This is number four in like, what, 1,100 kills? Something like, no, 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 2,100 kills. Sheesh! Aw, oh, rip, TK. Who am I no, chatting with? I am chatting with uh, three of my moderators slash friends, Caitlin, Brobra, and uh, Nate, also known as Big Rig. I think we're uh, technically acquaintances. No, yeah, I don't really oh know God. you that well, bro. bro. <laughs> I don't know you that well. well. Uh, that was a jab at uh, Nate. No. Um, no, we do bear pun names on this channel, Kaylee. You know this. So we have. Do you want to know Freaking the names? Of my my. What was my thirty eighth uh, great one? It was a white tail oh. that I pulled a bro on. Oh, I've been doing TTK. I flipped Nate off like multiple times <laughs> a week. That just sounds like a normal day. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to be blocked. <laughs> um, so my my level ones are Bear Crow 2.0, Bear Minimum, Bear, and now we have a fourth one we got it. Barely? Kaylee got it. Do you have Bear one Grig. named <laughs> What? Bear Grig. I was gonna say, do you have one named like Barry? <laughs> no, we, well we have Bergy and Bear Galicious, who are both females. Holy. That's wild. Um, I think I've got one like on my, Berkey, map, my map that's named uh, yeah. Barry. Because mm. I have two no. level ones on mine, I think. Or maybe it's three. Yeah. I have two or three. Well, buddy, we're not doing that one. But we'll definitely do Barely. We'll do Barely. Which means this uh, this this uh, here lake is going to be Unbearable? Unbearable? Bro, bro, stop talking about yourself like that. <laughs> Yeah, Kaylee gets that one because Kaylee's always here, so. I remember. Oh, man. Yeah, Johnny. Nate. Things are getting rough over here, folks. <laughs> Yo, I Nicholas, I never got modded uh, to be a moderator. Crow just modded me because. Um, I wanted to see his name in chat. <laughs> That's like how Bruber really gets wrong. all of his moderator jobs because people just uh, want to see him in the chat. Yeah. Honestly, that's most like now that is the most romantic things ever said. So, mm -hmm. thanks, Crow. You're welcome. Bro. Uh, I hope I hope Bree's not watching. I get a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll get jealous of the amount of times I talk crap on you. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> true love. True love. <laughs> it's fine. Trashing Brober is like one of my pastimes. It's one of your love languages. My gosh, how is there still 412 of you like watching baseball. at 10 p.m. at night? Y'all are crazy. I appreciate it. Y'all yeah, are you're amazing. Crazy. <laughs> yes, it's how do you survive through bro, bro? Yeah, that's the real question. Yeah, that is the question. Tyler, thank you for the super chat, dude. He ought not to be. Um, unique four or unique class four through nine species, please. Oh, are you asking me for like a a suggestion to hunt? Uh, <laughs> water buffalo. Only one map to hunt them, and not a lot of people go for them nowadays. So, water buffalo. It's called wet beef in this in this voice chat. 
Oh my what? gosh. Wet huh? beef. Beef. Weep? Yeah. Je where's Jebba? That's the Jebba, nickname of a rapper I listen to. So. On a soundboard? <laughs> no. <laughs> Same, Brad. Please, oh. Jebba. No. Mr. Jebba. I think he's sick. Oh, no. Poor buddy. Yeah, he is sick. His kids. All right, Pete. Sick. Gosh, everybody getting sick. Lady's been like super sick the last couple days. King Charles, are you? Or Charles? Don't jump in front of me, freaking eyed. <laughs> you little freak! Little freak, Jezebel. Freak. No freak like me. She's a freak. A fishing freak. She's, She's an angler. Break. House. I drink Out. water. High quality H2O. That's two hydrogens and one oxygen, baby. <laughs> How about two uh, two oxygens? No. Two oxygens. H2O. Two. I listen to bro bro talk and I'm like, whoa. And I'm like, whoa. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Also, thank you guys for... Uh, Thank you guys for all of the support on today's video. It's our best performing video in ages. Glad to see you guys are enjoying the early access look. Mm. Y'all are amazing. The hook got. Did oh, I read the, amazing. the chart wrong, Dylan? Oh my gosh. I'm going to cry. Guys, we've shot through like 600 rounds of ammo today in the 308. <laughs> Probably more, actually. We had to get more ammo at oh, one yeah. point. What do you mean weird? <clears throat> I read the hook guy wrong. The hook guy? There's a hook guy? Yeah, I got a, I got a hook guy. You got a hook guy? Captain Hook, hook guy, guy, eh? Got the hook guy right there. I'm... I'm so not surprised you do, Nate. That makes sense. Oh, well, I was going to say something else, but mm -hmm. filter. Good. Good job. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Texas. Gosh, I haven't done a 10-hour stream in ages, guys. It's been like a year. Actually, over a year. <laughs> it's been one year. The last time I did a 10-hour stream was Mississippi release. Wow. I'd say this one's while. worthwhile. I, rem oh, I remember definitely. that one. I remember that one. Bro. That was a that crazy was, stream. You tried to go like 12 or 24 or something. I weird. tried to do 12 and I couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. you were, you I were look little, at you. You've grown. You were a little loopy. Well, I was. It's odd. I'm like more tired now than I was in that one, but I'm like more. I li I'm like more there right now. <laughs> it's hanging, Rattlesnake. My sanity is hanging by a thread. We don't know what's gonna happen. Any mo? Oh, Charles, might have to get I'm another at, drink to survive the rest of this, though. I'm at 560 in this grind. This is grind number three. We're going. There's just the something spotted. about being in a chat with Brober that just makes me Ooh, makes me go that, wild. Tony? It gives him the tingles. Ooh. No, it gives me the. <laughs> no. Gives me the. Ooh. I gotta. I gotta get a drink to survive this type of vibes. <laughs> Tangles. That's what Brover does. Like no. Stasis, no. thank you for the membership, the gifted True membership. Love. Thank you so much. Congrats to Chase. You just got gifted that. I'm going to use the back. Probably a good idea. Getting mm -hmm. out of this chat as quick as you can. <laughs> right? I don't know if I'll come back. <laughs> Probably I'll gone back. for the rest of the rest of the year. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, I'll be back. Maybe. Uh, Taylor, thank you for the super uh, chat. Can we see Crazy Bro, bro? You're seeing it right now, Taylor. <laughs> thank I... you for the super chat. And uh, Tyler, thank you for the super chat as well. Oh, which class four to nine species are unique to this place? Oh, the Bantang. Bantang is a unique class nine animal. Uh, Rusa deer, Sambar deer are both class six and they're unique to this place. Kangaroos are class four and they're unique to this place. Hog deer are class three, but you know, I'll mention them anyway. <laughs> This nice map has a lot of unique stuff. And uh, in the class seven spot, we got the crocodiles. So there's a lot of unique species on Australia. This is by far the best map they've done, in my opinion.
so much unique animals, so much variety. It's just so good. So good! Robert, what did I tell you about the fox? I told you this would be a good map a good map for fox, and we already got a diamond first save early access. You said you said what did the fox say? And I said, Shut up. You are a brobra, and I don't appreciate that right now. Get freaking wrecked, little doe. That would be though. Classic. Classic. Oh my gosh, we're just slapping them. Yeah, this is your fault, Miles. What does the fox say? What does that <laughs> little foxy say? It says, Ah, he's shooting me! <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, I don't know. That's either, what the fox brother. says. Uh, I don't think so, man. We're just being dinglings over here. Not quite ding dogs, just some dinglings. That would be you. What did the dingling say? Ding 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 ding. Welcome to the right. Roba ba 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 ba. Doin. Why do Doin Doin Doin? Why do you still watch this guy? <laughs> he watches because he th it's entertaining for him to get the diamonds of the fish I'm going for right in front of me. Which, I mean, I mean that's a fair, good excuse. That's a good excuse. That's the energy we're going for here, to be honest. It's always fun to steal trophies from Bro, where I would know. Just go breathe when he talks. Nope, I just talk, 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 talk. You guys know me. I don't oh. ever shut up. Taylan, eight, hashtag H2O. Hands also, you don't drink. Drink, I can't tell. Oh, yeah, I'm a... Uh, just drinking the water. I'm the water guy. Brober's a little silly pants. He likes his wah wah. The heck was that noise? No clue. I'm like my wife. Uh, oh. Let me see. Rusa Simba, Kangaroo, what? Salties, Bantang. Like a big thing. I'm going to text her real quick. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them, uh, Tyler, because the other three species are magpie geese, stubble quail, and uh hog deer which are all like class one to three so yeah that's all of them honestly it's a pretty solid lineup of animals i love it this map has been Always, a treat Jimmy. to get to play yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much becky pretty much robra is being something else tonight no joke he is being something else <laughs> i'm being something else I'm being something else. Fight me, okay? I love our getting to, away with the scot free. <laughs> first, first to a rabies challenge, Crow. You and me. We'll see who wins. Hey, I mean, it's pretty obvious who's gonna win. All I gotta do is go out on the farm and fight a raccoon fisticuffs, you know? I'll start eating puddle pop tarts, and then then we'll see who wins. You don't get rabies that Excuse way. <laughs> That's not how you get rabies. <laughs> We're in a drought, so you can't find any puddles. So. Robert, you gotta you gotta go like fight a rabid dog or like find a <laughs> raccoon that's out in the daytime or like see a, a bat that's flying I around know. in the daytime and like, like try to eat it or something. <laughs> that's how you Taylor, get it. I don't even know if I said thank you. Thank you, Taylor. Uh um, never says thank you. He I never does. do, I just I'm distracted. You've you've got me. I was here, Crow, now I'm here. <laughs> Hello here. I was here, and now I'm up here. Uh, nice to meet you, Nate. <laughs> he is different, isn't he? <clears throat> oh. We're all a little different here. I'm very different. <laughs> For Brober being the sober one, it's kind of weird. To... <laughs> it's weird I'm that cooked. Brober's the sober one right now. <laughs> I'm cooked. You know what got you know what really threw me off today? Listening to you, Jaxie, and CJ at the same time. I don't know why I did that to myself. I had all three of your <laughs> Dude, voices. Dude, why would on you have all three time. of the streams? Because unmuted. I'm an idiot, bro. Because I'm an idiot. That's why. Go I mean, I knew that, but idiot, I didn't bro. think you'd actually oh, take it to like full to force. Idiot. You could just, yeah. Uh, you could just like uh, have me chocolate fallow looking fire, by well, the way. I end up, Oof. Taking Love turns, them. muting and unmuting everybody. Just get good. 
You gotta do Just that. get good. All right, B. Jones. Yep. I mean, my oldest brother's Brandon, so it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> We're all mad here. Gosh. Uh, no. Did I pour B. myself Jones. more whiskey? Maybe. You're gonna need it. I mean, I'm gonna have to at this point. I've got, I'm going straight H2O, baby. You know why? <laughs> Brober tomorrow... is a Chiefs fan. That explains all. Yes, Johnny. You couldn't have said it better. Uh, so I'm, yeah. a, I'm a winner? Oh, yeah, he's opened you're a right. can of worms. No, you're the a winner, bandwagoner. Baby. Do you know what the most winningest team in the NFL is the past 10 years? Kansas City Chiefs, baby. The Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid. Brady Reed. better. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Is he done? No, I'm bro, bro. Who are you? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to answer that question. Uh, John, they all look big in the water, man. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm that's what you like to tell yourself, I know. For anybody who's not watching my stream, I'm fishing on Call of the Wild, the angler, the superior Call of the Wild game. All right, Ooh. that's what we're, we're He talking likes about to tell himself that as well. You know, Brober likes to tell himself it. a lot of things, guys, but you know, just like... Just wait till it comes out on console. Just wait till this summer, probably July, if I had to guess. Just wait till it comes out on console, and everybody gets to try it, and they're going to see <laughs> how awesome of a game it is. Okay? Yeah? Just wait. Just wait. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. What if I don't want to wait, though? I like Blue, Blue Life just says, no one cares, bro. <laughs> Blue Life, <laughs> listen. How about that Red Life, baby? Go Chiefs. <laughs> That's not like a... Fishing like call of thing. the yawn. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that you're just not good. Bro bring. I'm pitching. Bro bring. I'm, I do nothing but catch. All right. I pull. I pull fish, but you know, I pull fish. Uh, is that the only thing you're pulling right now? <laughs> it sounds like you're pulling my leg, man. Stop lying to me. Good save. Oh, nice. um, Says that he has cats and raccoons eat the cat food, so he's gonna win the rabies call. Yeah, probably. Dude, raccoons so, are evil. Oh, like no they, point. they will eat your chicken food. They'll eat your chickens. They'll eat yeah. your cat food, and then they'll try to bite you when you chew them off. Yeah, that's, that's why you shoot you them. You sh you chew them off. Yep. You, you get the twenty two out, and you go pop 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 until they drop. Maybe, Dylan. Pop, That's a good question. Lock. That sounds like a good dance. Pop, pop, yeah. pop, pop, pop until you drop. We'll call it the rabies. Yeah. <laughs> no, the dance is called pop, lock, and drop it. That's no. an actual dance. I've, re I've renamed it. It's you renamed at this point. I was muted in OBS. You're right. I'm so sorry. Uh, but Sattler, the flip-flop. Now you can hear me. But yeah, I just told them that you're going to win the rabies comp. <clears throat> yep. The pop already had rabies. Yeah, three hundred magnum. <laughs> how are the how are the, the the three courses of of uh shots there, Nate? Robert probably <laughs> ate a pop tart in a puddle, and that's why he's acting like this. I agree. I, I, I probably. I'm so. Puddle Do tart has become the new the meme. Streams. This is what it is all the time. <laughs> Good old puddle tart. I tell oh. you. Taylor's Taylor's chat or his super chat. Uh, yeah, Taylor says Brobra is Homer. Nice. Call me. Uh, oh, Kroger is something. Wait, wait. Like, I don't know what else to say. Okay, shh, shh, shh. Are you ready? Ready. Mm. Yeah. Mm, call me. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. Why was that one so sultry? Why was that one so sultry? <laughs> oh. She loves her husband. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a thick looking fowler right there. I tell you what. <laughs> Big old fowler right there. Tell you what, there, brother. Oh my gosh. Hey. Not always that soldier. <laughs> Bill Cowles. You trying to seduce I me? <laughs> Y'all are wild. You would be remarked? What? <laughs> oh, Lord. That's what gets, what gets a Ow, how? <laughs> Top blue hair. Oh. Caitlin, go to the corner. <laughs> Caitlin, thank you Johnny's so much, done Caitlin. with it. Johnny's like, no, Caitlin, get out of here. <sighs> Man. Uh, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm the weird kid with the glasses. What? 
You're the Nathan person. You're Millhouse. Yeah, like I don't even know if you no, have glasses. No. Nate's Nate's the kid that says, "I'm in danger." Mm, what is his true. name? I'm in danger. And he picks his nose and eats his book all the time. <laughs> that is a very Nathan-esque thing. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. oh man, oh, I'm gonna read this whole thing. Hold on. Uh, Brother is Homer. Crow is Bart. Caitlin is Lisa, and Nate is Bart's weird friend, the one that wears the glasses. Definitely. Uh. Mm, that's Ralph. a big old four right there, Tate. Yeah. Right. Nate's Ralph. It's a big old four boy. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> oh, man. My cheeks hurt, bro. Like, going yeah. to my face. <laughs> There's some stuff that'll do that to you for sure. <laughs> Laughing's one of them. Mm hmm. I'm gonna aspirate on my whiskey. <laughs> Bro, the cops. That's it. Homie. That's, isn't that Ralph's oh, dad? Rover gives me like so dad? many opportunities to make a joke, but I just, I, I can't make that joke on stream. <sighs> right? I hope <laughs> just, not, Sally. Rover is literally like a walking joke waiting to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> He's just giving me all the opportunities, and I'm like, oh, refrain! <laughs> Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I'm always watching Wazowski. Oh, he's watching eating paste. <laughs> I never ate paste. I, uh, I did eat Play Doh. I can, I can do uh, Lois. Oh, Peanut. <laughs> I'll why is it? That. Why is that the only <laughs> lowest <laughs> line that you do? No, 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 no. Where's Stewie? So we and Brian are always up to no good. I don't know about that one. Hey, Peter. No, Peter's the best. Oh, yeah. Hey, Peter. How's it going? <laughs> oh, man. Her Squidward one is questionable. My Squidward. Oh, <clears throat> Oh, we're going to have a grand old time today, please. Oh, no! 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 Age is just a number. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. I don't know what we're doing, man. This doesn't seem safe. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Rick. Uh, abort mission, please. <laughs> Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm gonna Guys, if you didn't know, this is what 10 and a half hours weekend. of streaming does to you. <laughs> I've been streaming I, for two hours, man. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call my grandma. And we're gonna go to church. We should definitely. Uh, at this point, we need to. In general, man. Uh, well, we talk to grandma a lot. That's good. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad you That's do. amazing. Do it, <laughs> do, do it for me. You know, stay. <laughs> gotta RAR? stay in contact with your families. What mm -hmm. RAR? Uh, can, Taylor wants you to do the RAR. R A U R. I'm not sure. Do the RAR. RAR. Do the RAR. Wait, who wants you? Is this Jebba? It's, it's Taylor. Oh, I mean, I do the get in your swamp. Holy! Is that what you want, Taylor? The Shrek one? From Shrek, yeah. Yeah, that's what he wants. Dunga. Nah, I haven't yeah, had nearly I'm enough fell blade. I've had one drink and like it takes at least like three I love that heavily knows mixed like... drinks for me to feel every for me to feel anything. I love that Taylor knows all of your little sayings. Yeah. Get out my swamp, donkey. Get in my Get bed. out my swamp, donkey. Oh, those are two different movies. Those are oh, but they're the same. Two donkey, <laughs> yeah. get out of my swamp. Get out my swamp, donkey. Get Oh My boy! Swamp. Oh jeez, Minnie! This is crazy! <laughs> oh Minnie! Dude, that was too oh good. boy! This is that crazy! Good. <laughs> oh Pluto! Pluto! <laughs> Gosh, Mickey! <laughs> Dude, that's too good! Oh my can gosh. Say, can you say something borderline inappropriate in the Mickey voice? Uh not on the spot if you like want me to, there's no way I could say it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, the I Mickey like voice is one of those things that has is... to come naturally. Mm. Oh, oh mm. boy! <laughs> Say, pop those socks <laughs> off. Let me look at those toes. <laughs> no! Break out those little piggies. Brover, <laughs> you freak! 
<laughs> Which one of these piggies went to market? Oh my gosh. Hey, Blinken. Yeah. I didn't say hey, Blinken. I said hey, Blinken. I've got webbed toes, everybody. That's what we're talking about. I have webbed toes. It's not inappropriate. Calm down. Whatever you guys want it to be. One second. Aaliyah is saying hello. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Garsh, Mickey. <laughs> no, that's... Wait, no, no. Oh, Mickey. <laughs> Garsh, Mickey. <laughs> There's that one. <clears throat> Mr. Krabs. I got a goofy line that's like inappropriate, but it's not borderline, so I can't say it. Like, it's, it's like, not, it's, it's like all the way. way. All right, well, I'll be right back. I gotta go grab another drink and say goodnight to Aaliyah. Did, did I just get an eye off a spinner? Fine. Really?
Hello, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> Hello! The, Hi, car Caitlin, the cra be... carob scroned is back. Caitlin, you can't be asking Caitlin to say stuff in Shrek's voice and then say that in <laughs> chat. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you can't be... We can't do that back to back, Caitlin. Why right. not? <laughs> Sheesh! Perfect mixture. I mixed what he said, unfortunately. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Nothing happened at my band camp because my band camp was boring. What's the drink, Crow? Uh, I just got a cider now. I just a so little basic things. cider. I played the trumpet for eight and a half years. Oh gosh, I'm refraining from words. Nathan? Refrain. Yep, JC, nine, we've been live nine, for nine. ten and a half hours. Boy! Let's go. <sighs> we've been going for a while. We're probably gonna go for like death. another hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Night TTK. I go longer even. Hopefully you don't have weird dreams. I think this was a weird dream, so... Life is a weird dream. Life is a highway. I'm on my way. Mm -hmm. I, is mayonnaise an instrument? No, this is Patrick. Oh, See, this is Patrick! Patrick. I could talk like this and the let loose game, you know. Uh, maybe I could. I appreciate it, Taylor. No worries, buddy. Maybe I could speak in like a Russian accent. Do you think that would help? <laughs> probably. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> It'd probably work out great. Hello, we are over here. <laughs> I shoot people in head. I win for my <laughs> for my teammates. Well, guys, thanks to all of you. We're almost at 116,000 subs. Let's go. We are 203 off of it. When we started today, we were at like... We were at like 115,600. We're at 115,800 now. Y'all are just killing it. Like, Wait, holy... The <laughs> I don't know. Is it Blitzkrieg? Do we need a pass for that? <laughs> the Blitzkrieg pass. <laughs> Oh my god! I think Brober needs a chat pass. <laughs> That's what I'm doing with these white tail. I'm, ru I'm Russian and her accent is bad. <laughs> wow, roasted. Oh. Oh. Gold eyed! Oh. oh my what? gosh, it's CJO! He's up before I've ended my stream. That's insane. Mr. <laughs> CJO. Mm -hmm. Mr. How's it going, CJO? I got an albino kangaroo. They look so good. They look incredible. Mrs. Crow is back as well. Give a round of applause. Yay! Is Aaliyah already down? Is she already go down to sleep? Nah, she's brushing her teeth. Oh, Aww, she's cute. all grown up. I know, right? It's crazy. How many teeth she has? She got a full set of teeth yet? Yeah. Wait, she get does. that, huh? By two? Okay. I gotta take notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think she's missing like maybe a couple molars, but that's it. Actually, she might have all of them mm -hmm. by now. She's either missing like a couple molars or she's got them all. Molars are gonna glue <laughs> side missions. Oh, you know, CJO trying to make it to twelve hours. Molars uh, we've been streaming hard. for ten and a half at this point, so figured I gotta C keep going. You know, like, CJO, watch the reel I sent you, but just don't do it in earshot of Abby. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> and based on what Brover was telling me, I think you need to make sure that Abby's like right next to you when you watch it. He's lying. He's setting you up. <laughs> no. I don't want to. Brover said for sure he was like, I, I hope Abby's know. right there. No, don't worry. Said, I was Caleb terrified that she Abby hears too. it. Hmm? What? <laughs> I didn't get no real. I don't know what you're talking I, about. Yeah, I purposely didn't send it to you, Caitlin. There's a reason why I didn't send it to you. I appreciate it. Thank I you. Should, I should send it to Caitlin. Robert doesn't want to scar everybody that he considers no, a friend, right? Like, he only Caitlin wants to scar a couple it. of his friends, right? Caitlin will not appreciate the real. Thank you. I mean, true. <laughs> <laughs> really, CJO? <laughs> God, don't Abby saw. Abby saw one of them yesterday, and she still hasn't spoken to me. <laughs> 
no. Oh, rest in peace, CJ. Oh no. Feels bad, what man. Happened? Oh no. Oh what no. Oh, oh uh, no. CJO says Abby still hasn't spoken to him since she saw one of your reels from the other day. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh no. I, I oh, no. Well, that's weird because she speaks to me. She's spoken to me since then. Oh. 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 Ooh. I sent uh, yeah, both nice. of them. I sent Come both of them. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. I sent both of them um, a reel of, I said, this is why Americans get fat. And it was a guy who took a like a Gatorade cooler, and uh, he like attached it to his like his truck wheel, and uh, he made homemade ice cream. By because you know how you get ice, and you know how to make homemade ice cream, right? Yeah, uh, it's like hmm. shake it up and stir it a lot, you know. Yep. I mean, well, I know how to make a homemade the... milkshake with ice cream and milk, so that's close enough, well, no, right? It's like actual, so you have to like get like ice and all the you put all the ingredients in, and get ice, have to like shake it up a lot and yeah. like mix it, you know, and stuff. And mix he it up. All he, mix it up. Yeah. And all he did was he just attached it to his truck wheel and then drove around the neighborhood until it was mixed and made <laughs> homemade ice cream. That's amazing. Fantastic. That's gold. That is golden, bruh. Doan, is are any of those bigger than Stevie's? It smoked you, little doe. I don't even know, CJO. <laughs> They've been on one tonight. They've all been on one tonight. <laughs> My chat tricked me as well. They were like, oh, Brober said man. to join him. Brober wants you to join voice chat. When Brober was telling them not to let me join. <laughs> yup. <laughs> You're chatting. Played you hard. I check out it out for me tonight. They they just want to see me crash and burn. Mm. <laughs> they want to see you demonetized, get, get blacklisted, canceled. shadow banned, Ooh, kicked gee, okay. out of the content. Yeah, thing. let's go. <sighs> yeah, baby. Ugh, man, they're hitting on these spinners. They're hitting on these spinners. Weirdly, it's like the last thing in the list, but they're hitting on the spinners. <sighs> really? That's wild. Let's see if I can get a diamond eyed on a spinner. You know what? I'm not even gonna go the easy way. I'm not gonna try to get the diamond eyed off of a lure that is known to get them. I'm gonna get off a friggin' spinner, dude. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Um, a good one. Can I just say that, that I really oh. needed these laughs tonight? Is that a five? Like just in general. So no, it's a big four. You can't give me hugs. Give me ten. You can't give me hugs, but you can give me laughs, so. Appreciate it. Air hug. Hmm. 545 <laughs> kills. Let's go. Same name. What did you just call me? 545 fallow kills in early access. You'll have to see it. Hug. I you said Classics. alien. That's a good I one, you said Sour. alien hug, and I was a little scared. Hugs. Hugs, Captain, just joined my chat. Thank you. Yeah, an alien pug? That just sounds terrifying. That's, that's, I mean, uh, Pug's already got a squishy black. face, so hey, like. Men in black, yeah. What's the plot yeah. Men in black? Hello? It's a great movie. <laughs> that's my, one of my favorite movies. Of all Holy time. a 10 hour stream. Yeah, Tokyo, we're going hard today. Oh, we're streaming all day movie. long. Oh. You said hard. Um, hugs, you can go chat. Yeah, that's the, that's the best word I can get for how this stream has been. It's been a hard oh, stream yeah. to get through. <laughs> <laughs> Gold char, baby. I mean, it was easy to get through till I joined you guys. <laughs> oh, no, now no. it's just been tough. No, definitely not. It's Double like when somebody's like, "Ooh, tough." No, we're we're doing great. You're we're doing fine. wonderful. People love you. People love it. They wanted this. This is why they set you up. <laughs> Oh, snap. I just got three bears. Boom, boom, boom. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I buy that 2K kills almost. Indeed. Oh, oh. I have probably killed He's been more playing a lot more time. than I have, though, for Fallow. I, this is only the second day I've grinded Fallow. I did like 180 on day three of having early access. Or was it day two? True it was job. one of those. I did 180 kills one day. And then today Ooh, we've got another... Like what, 350 or more? That's I gotta cool. catch up. It's gonna be I'll tough. Be mustard. I don't even know what to say to that one. 
I don't know what to say to anything, man. Man, there's some bad jokes in here. I don't know what to say when I'm in this chat with y'all. Yeah, yeah. One great day, hugs. Thank you so much. I could use a hug most days, but the laughs are sufficient. Thank you. How are you? <sighs> Hope you're having a good Friday. <laughs> Sliver char. Gee, what? Uh, the map will be the same price as any of the others. Seven ninety nine USD, or nice your uh, your local currencies. I deal in crones only. Crones are holy. That's what I was like. Crones no, that's like literally what I was crone. thinking. Hey, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Norwegian crone. Ah, get out of here. I buy as a sweat. Yeah. But so am I, so I can't say anything. <laughs> oh, let's go, hugs. Congrats. Uh, Nate just recently graduated from college as well. Good old Nathan. Yeah. Crow, didn't you have viewers from Svalbard? Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? I think I thought you had somebody who gave you a super chat yesterday said like, hey, green, you know, something like thank you from Svalbard. Like not, that does not ring city. a bell. That doesn't ring a bell. They at gave all. you a, they, they paid so their super check came in Crohn's, and I think they said they were from Sval, they were up in Svalbard. If that's the case, Svalbard's and that is an intense place to live, man. Dude, it's I, even, I stream like almost person. every day. I can't remember half the stuff that happens during a stream. Yeah, dude, but Svalbard? Oof. You guys look up Svalbard. It's a it's up there, man. It's up there. Svalbard is Holy. very remote. There's a, like a dog that lives up there that's famous on Instagram. What? Oh, this is a diamond. Whatever this is, is a diamond. Why did I shoot the doe? Ah, uh, because I felt like it. <laughs> and because I'm trying to swap some of the solo bucks with those does. Because I, I, yeah. To be honest, though, I do a big part of it flush. is just like, if there's less than two bucks, then I, if there's only one buck in a zone, I shoot a doe as well, just because, you know, why not? Teen you graduated college? Are you like British? Question mark. You ready for this diamond char? Because when we say college, we're like. Ah, I see Brober's well fishing adult. still. Nice. Yeah, I'm fishing. Look at that. He's a fisherman, man. He's doing real good taking that fishing rod out His to the dogs lake. Are awesome, fish. Dang it, it's a gold, but still, awesome gold. I thought it was a diamond. Is it as hey, awesome as my five. gold catfish from the other day? I don't know. Yeah, is it? Probably. I think so. Yeah, it's an eighteen, it's an eighteen pound char. That's that's a good char. <laughs> don't talk to me till you have three diamonds. I have more diamonds than you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nah, <laughs> nah, you don't. Oh, nice hugs. That's you you can he's believe he's that in Broberland. Who's gonna be my angler stream talking to me about fish? Who's hey, he? it's okay, Brobra. Who does he think he is? I mean, technically, I got more diamonds overall from, like, back when I used to play a ton on release. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't count. Yeah, do it on this patch. Do it on this patch, buddy. I mean, if I played more than one hour every month, maybe I could. If your diamonds... Okay, listen. Your diamonds don't count unless they're from this patch. You can't you can't count your diamonds from, from release day. In that case, I've got, like, five or so. Exactly. How to trigger bro But that's five over the course of, like, 30 hours. And who took you to those spots? Me. No, Me. I did. <laughs> he did. Oh. oh. Yeah, okay. You know, Crow, Crow Lake, the lake that's buddy. named after me. Yeah, Crow Lake. You caught one type of fish there. I'm throwing mean, the same lure. Three I diamond char, lake, bruh. I, I have the lake named after me, and I didn't even play the game yet. So. <laughs> yeah, it's not hard. We gave CJ a lake because it kind of looks like a nutsack. That's that's what CJO deserves, you know? Nothing Enduring. less. Enduring, that's man. a CJO like. Uh, DJ, are you still in the chat? I haven't seen you say anything since Brober <laughs> made those comments earlier. <laughs> oh my gosh, Fellblade! Probably saw the Insta. Fellblade, bro! Thank you for the massive $50 super chat. Holy. Um, Holy dude, thank you so much. Take the family to a Father's Day breakfast before you stream on me. Chat, add in to make it better. Thank you so much, Fellblade. Really appreciate that, man. I'll be sure to have an awesome uh, Father's Day Father's Day meal 
we will have a fun time for sure. Thank you so much, dude. He's gonna have lobster really and vanilla ice cream. It. No! No. Stop that! No. Do Stop! It. Do it! Stop do ruining it. ice cream do and lobster! It. Do it! Do it! Guys, peer pressure. Peer no! Pressure. Peer it's not gonna work. Good for I don't work soul. like that. Peer pressure's good for the soul. Mm, 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 mm. What a nerd! Uh, so can a level four fallow make it? Um, I had a level four that was like one point below diamond, so I am inclined to think that they can. Can we just recap what you said? You said, no. my brain can't yeah, comprehend what you just said. Recap. Roper that likes his, he likes to dip his lobster in ice cream for some reason. I don't get it. Nobody gets it except him. You said him. peer pressure is good code. for the soul. That's not and then code you, and then for anything. You, no, and then you continue to say something about chicken noodle soup. And you're literally telling me that I should stop asking if I could pass as a teenage boy. <laughs> <laughs> Your pressure yeah, is good. It's <laughs> obviously worse. That's you obviously can buy worse. a lot of puddle tarts with fifty dollars. You're not wrong, also, Gavin. There's context to this where I'm trying to get him to eat lobster and ice cream at the same time. That's totally different. There's no. context to this. Nobody in their always... right mind would eat that and enjoy it. Then why do they sell it at a baseball park? Because they're psychotic. <laughs> okay, is it is, is it psychotic really to make money? money? Is it yeah. psychotic to make money? Is it psychotic to be a, a functioning part of society? I don't think so. Let's be honest. People are paying for the lobster. They don't care about the fact that it's an ice cream. They take it out of the ice cream, wash it off, and eat the lobster. It's like a normal context. human being. It's context. <laughs> <laughs> It's not easy being a friend of Brobra. You go through a lot of stuff like this. Some days you just wake up and from a nightmare where you're dipping your lobster in ice cream and then you wake up and you're like, oh, oh gosh. That was the worst nightmare of my life. And then you uh, you open Discord and it's not a nightmare. It's real life. Brobra sending pictures of ice cream covered lobster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. They bro, sent bro. me worse tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> bro, 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 I still can't believe you? Discord has. You should. I, I'll tell you what to search and you should go through it. I'm surprised Discord allows it. Yeah. Oh, you know, no. Barbara, I don't even you click should... any of the. Uh, no, like, no, no. I don't even <laughs> click any of the Instagram reel reels that you send me because I just don't even want to know. Nate, I, send, I send you the good ones. I avoid them at all costs. <laughs> I sent you the good ones. Don't worry. Don't worry. Open them up, buddy. That's not CJ, what CJ I want to hear. CJ can vouch. Trust me. I don't know. Abby not talking to him for a day doesn't exactly okay, bode well for Abby him. Talk, but Abby talks to me? Hmm. There's, where's... CJ hmm. has not talked in chat, by the way. I think you scared him off. <laughs> he's got to go to... He's got to go up to freaking Scotland on Father's Day. <laughs> that stinks, bro. CJO has not said anything since you and Nate started talking about Abby. Why is my wife still? Oh, probably because I'm laughing so loud. Sorry, honey. Gosh, bro, shut up. I'm in the basement. There's two doors between us. Mm-hmm. This shows how loud you are. I know. I know. Gosh, what a bro, bro. Before, Holy. you've only been peeking when you're laughing, so. Stop so, laughing. Well, Stop having fun. I'm Gosh. It's because I'm pushing the mic all the way away from me whenever I, I feel myself getting excited. Mic goes all the way to the computer. Jeez. All right, Feels I bad, gotta go bro. change up here. I gotta go change up. Feels bad. So sad when you're Broberg, you're getting mad. Feels, it feels so sad when you're getting mad. I live in a basement. Yeah, when I'm working. I live in Broberg's <laughs> basement. Basement. Nah, this is mom's basement. Hey, if you wanna come if you wanna come this way and uh you wanna pay a little bit of rent, Caitlin, and live in the basement, you can be the no, you can be the basement. I the ba I got out of the basement here, so You don't wanna be the basement witch? The basement brew witch. <laughs> oh, Hugs wants us to play golf it sometimes, boys. Golf it? I haven't I played that in a while. He didn't include you, Nate, so Oh That's some prime second Sorry. channel content. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just okay. I I'm see kidding. how it is. I'm we love you. I'm kidding. I'm convinced Nate's not a human. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I mean, what am I? <laughs> An what alien, am obviously. I? A golf alien. 
Oh, I need to buy a size four hook. Like you swoop down and you're like, I, I want to join. Put this humans, let ways. me join, please. Beep, beep, boop, boop, bop, bop. Um, I did like that noise. Robra, can you please explain you loved to it, bro, bro. my new friend Hugs uh, what the lobster thing is? Because No, don't I don't want him to get into that. <laughs> Enough with the lobster! <laughs> Dylan, I thought you said something else in chat. Alright, so I'll I thought just John said something else in chat. <laughs> Gosh. Uh tube, 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 tube. Um Nope. Oh um, gosh. These fallow don't want to show Is up. The large They're being tube? little butts. All right, I quickly described the the lobster tail thing. Okay. <sighs> and that Brober's trying to make fetch happen, aka the lobster tail and a milkshake. Glad you didn't explain it where I could hear it, because I don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, to be honest though, I would totally like try lobster it alongside a vanilla milkshake. But not that in sounds it. nasty. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I not putting. You know, eating the dirty. lobster first and then having the milkshake after is one thing, but having it in the milkshake, nah. Nah, size bro. Size seven? I would. You're welcome, hugs. Um, it's like a salty French fry and a frosty. It's salty. It's a see. Salty... I don't like those either. So. Well then, you're I'm definitely not, not going to like the lobster. I don't know why Brover's trying to convince me. I don't even dip lobster in butter. I just, I just drink it. I just. Oh my gosh! Just drink, you, it. Just drink it. Just drink it. it. We, we had our, we had our lobster. lobster? <laughs> we had our lobster a couple weeks ago, right? Uh, Bree just put like a garlic butter on it, and it was so freaking good. Mhm. Mm um. Uh, yeah. No, I don't like. I don't dip it in butter. I just eat it dry. Got you. I don't like the. Oh, I don't it like, might. I'm not a thing. I'm not a fan. Hi, Flanky. Flanky? Flanky, save us. Please. We need it badly. We need saving. No saving. We can't There's go back. No We're screwed. We're us. through. It's all over. Okay, Hugs asked if you could live in one country other than your current one, what would you choose? Mars. Um, I chose England Mars. because I like British television. Mm -hmm. I probably that works great. I don't know. I probably choose um, England too because I don't know probably, enough about other countries. So I, would I definitely wouldn't pick Canada. That's for sure. Deo. I'd probably choose Somalia. Somalia. I think. Can we just what country is the closest to the U.S. in terms of freedom? Um, Somalia. I have no you clue what's, what happens in Somalia. Nate, no. Nate, those pirates get lit up from the cargo ships. <laughs> yeah, definitely wouldn't choose Canada. That's for sure. Wouldn't you definitely Canada? wouldn't choose, like... That's the closest to your home, though. Yeah, but I don't like uh, the way Canada's run. Mm. I don't like really how the USA is being <laughs> ran right now, either, so... <laughs> Not getting into it. All right. <laughs> Not getting into it. Trent, I've lost my ever-loving mind. But I'm doing think, great otherwise. You know I've been. You. you know we've been streaming for too long. When I start divulging into slightly political topics, <laughs> <laughs> especially since uh, I've had a strict no politics rule on the channel. I, I broke it. <laughs> I would live in England because I could probably mooch off of CJO for a little while and not pay as much. So, just for CJO. Well, I was gonna say Germany, so I could go live with Kinsko. I was gonna say you wanna you wanna be around Kinsko, you know, makes have like a street start up a streamer house for Call of the Wild creators. Well, I was thinking about that, but Kinsko's gonna be coming back to he's gonna be coming back to the US for school, so I wouldn't get to see him very much. Aw, cute. So I'd probably pick CJO because I mean he's there. Uh Rue seems like she's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I feel like we could do like I feel like we have a lot of like tea times and stuff, and I feel like that'd be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Um, we could like oh, play dress up and stuff. Very cute. And like, oh, you gotta dress up. Yeah. So what Brober's like, saying is that he wants a kid, but like he doesn't want to have a kid yet. Yeah, 
I want to stay. That's what Bro was saying. He wants to experience having a kid, but he doesn't want to go yep. through having the kid yet. Yep. I just want like a friend that like doesn't judge me. I'm like yeah. the ones in this call. I'm not judging. Uh, what do you mean? Like we love that? you, bro, bro. We're I so nice to you. Know. We're listen, so nice listen to you. Everybody, listen, everybody, making all these friggin' excuses. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, ice cream lobster man. You, you guys are the you guys are the judge, the jury, and the executioner. No, no, no. All right. You literally. So. You literally let me tell the puddle Wait, pop who, tart who, story though? just so you could flame me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, she got you there. That. She's got you there. <laughs> You're telling me that if you had a hot fudge Sunday pop tart that fell in a puddle with very little water on it, you wouldn't eat it? If I had to go to school still, if I could go to you literally told me you still had time to go to school and get breakfast at school, um, and you still ate breakfast the pop tart. Breakfast was never guaranteed because sometimes my choir teacher would let me eat it breakfast, but sometimes he wouldn't. <laughs> Her, she still had time to get breakfast at school, and she oh, yeah. and she ate the pop tart that fell in the freaking puddle. It's a tart tasting puddle. Oh, interesting, hugs. Guys, I'm at like 24, 2500 kills on my white tail grind. Yeah, this is brutal. Yeah, pretty much, Daniel. It's that time of day, that time of the stream. Bro, shots go from duck aim to bro brain. <laughs> It's unfortunate, but it happens, you know. You've been yeah, streaming for going. 500 years, too. Thanks, Trent. I appreciate that, man. Ewey. No, that's what he was I saying. Been that. streaming for too long that your shots are not hitting. <laughs> Where's oh, his eye at, Dylan? Hugs. We have a freaking. We have a. We have a puddle pop tart emote because of the pop tart. Good old puddle tarts. Everyone oh, yeah, knows about the pop tart. But thank you. I appreciate it. Taylor, hey, welcome. Taylor, is a Shrek flavored pop tart. Is this just a Taylor thing, or is that real? Hey, G and Marco, Taylor. how's it going? Welcome to the like stream. The purple and green ketchup that no one remembers, but tastes us? like my swamp. Purple and green ketchup. Okay, I've yeah, only heard of the green ketchup. I've never heard of the purple ketchup. Oh, there was purple. There was purple, and they both That's wild. like nothing else in your life. I, yeah, Ugh. there's a reason that they were like not really like they didn't last long. <laughs> I don't know, Kaylee. That's didn't they call yeah. it like green slime or something? No. So that's like you're like a Nickelodeon. Yeah, there was yeah. like a Nickelodeon green ketchup type of thing. Nar. And I'm pretty sure they called it green slime. Nar. And yeah, it was a very limited thing. Like they stopped selling it after a while. It's in chat if it's true. That <laughs> is a lie, John. That is a lie. Trent says, why do I feel like Bro Bro was the kid that you sat by in school and would not be quiet? Because he probably was. Yeah, the only time he was quiet. Was. He doesn't he shut up in here, so. I didn't, I didn't shut up when I had poop in my pants. I denied, denied. I tried to blame it on other people. I said, whoever smelled it, dealt it, brother. That's a Bro Bro thing. No, I definitely did. I got in trouble a lot um, for talking in school. Mm -hmm. Sound like mm -hmm. me. You sound like... Yeah. Mm. I was kind of an evil child. You want to hear? You guys want to hear? Like, yes. Evil Nate story? Bro, bro, sounded yes. like a big oh, nerd. Oh, no, but now Taylor. So I was in kindergarten, like right? Kindergarten. Okay. Okay. So okay, and every day they would send us with like these like colored cards to say how we were today to bring home to our parents. Mm -hmm. So there was red, green, and yellow. Yours was. And you're oh. colorblind. So no 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 it no it's worse. So I would get red quite a bit. Why? <laughs> somehow, somehow I I I was big brain enough to be like, ooh these are like trading cards. Let me trade with someone that has a green card. Oh. So <laughs> there's this one kid I kept trading with, so I kept on coming home with a green card. <laughs> well, it came to parent teacher conferences, and my parents are like, oh my my kid's been great, and it's like the complete opposite. And to find out that I was trading these cards. So here these parents probably of this other kid was probably like just reaming him and punishing him because he's been so bad to find oh, out that he was like perfectly You're good. You're such a savage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, so why were you getting red cards, Nathan? <laughs> I had a habit of like breaking wooden pencils and doing stuff. Just talking just, a lot. You just, I, you I just, just throw just them across the classroom. Just, just being toxic. 
He was just, just playing darts with the broken pencils the with the teacher as the target. <laughs> In a room full of children, Nate was the toxic one, everybody. Uh, it sounds Wait, like it. Bro, your chat is trying to trademark Puddle Tart? No, no, no. You come into my chat and you talk about Puddle Tart. That's where this began. Who are you playing with? They sound fun to talk to. Uh, this is Brobra, Caitlin, and Nate. They're all moderators of the channel and friends of mine. It's, no. it, Wait, they are Red. enjoyable to talk to. Your chat is not. Your chat Red. is not feeling little tart. That is <laughs> my thing, and they can come here and talk about it. Okay? Do not. Red. Okay, man. Tell you Thank what. You Don't Good get morning, great one, fellow. I tell you what. That's a big oh, fellow. You gonna tell me what? I tell you what. We got fellow dear man. Tell over me here. what. <laughs> we got fellow dear man. Flanky impounded five of his mom's cars. Night that flanky. sounds like a very flanky move. Is he playing GTA? Probably. IRL. IRL? GTA IRL? Yeah. <laughs> let me pull, yep. That's the best video chat. game. Let me pull up Cross Chat. <clears throat> oh, it's something what's, else. What, what's Cross Chat like right now? Probably mayhem. A lot of comments on what you guys are saying. My public oh, really? cards are mine. Do they I like me? No. Do they like do you like me? <laughs> Wait, you, you be my friend. <laughs> you dropped it in the puddle. We puddle tarted it. You want to come to my party? Oh, what are you freaking talking about? I will not stand for this bullcrap. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hey. not take this from me. Thick ballad here. I see. Hashtag puddle tart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Dude, somebody, wait, bro, bro, somebody thought you chose Somalia. <laughs> 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 just tag on to you. <laughs> oh, man. I did not choose Jeez, Somalia. Jeez, 11 hours, guys, eh? It's wild. I did oh not choose gosh. Somalia. I chose... Uh, it was Nate England that chose that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, dude, you also have 338 viewers at 1 in the morning. Oh, it's kind of mind blowing. Five. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why are you guys still here? I appreciate I it, but oh my gosh. I thought he was going to be dwindling down. Yeah, Bro, 10, just keep 12 viewers. My puddle tart. <laughs> Y'all are absolute uh, legends for sticking around this long. I mean, I've been live for 11 hours and it's 11 p.m. my time. <laughs> Maybe. And I'm like the earliest time you could possibly get. So like for everybody else, it's like in the AMs. Are they legends or maybe they're just a little bit unhinged like the rest of us? They're just slightly crazy like we are. <laughs> I dig it. I'm super into it. Oh, well, I'm into it. My poor, my poor PC is starting to chug a little bit. It's like, ah, gosh, dude, 11 hours of streaming. What are you doing to me? <laughs> me? <laughs> my PC after two. Get boys in the chat. Oi. Getting Oi, a little mate. bit of screen tearing now. Screen tearing because you're stealing my puddle tart? <laughs> Definitely. Well, let me check the temps of my GPU. Cease and desist. <laughs> oh, right? gosh, man. I am blown away at the cooling power on the 4070. It's 56 Celsius after 11 hours of streaming. That's pretty good. That's oh, insanely that's good. Nice. You know what's that's crazy? My, nice. my 3060 Ti, which has three fans instead of two. This is a two fan 4070. Two my fans. my 3060 Ti with three fans would have been at 71 Celsius or higher right now. How many fans your nan got then? You are, mate. Somebody said this is sometimes better than a stand-up comedy show. <laughs> stand-up comedy? What do you mean? This I'm is standing. <laughs> this is improv. I've been sitting down five hours. I've been sitting. I've been sat here in my poop pants. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, thank you for the gifted membership. Yes, Congrats no to Ian. Thank you so much, man. No. Congrats. <laughs> Sorry about the membership. <laughs> guys, does it look does it look stuttery to you guys? Uh, it looks oh. fine. Yeah, it looks great. 
Okay, it must be my monitor. Maybe my monitor is just like tired of me streaming. Yeah, it, it, well, I think just rub your eyes and it's probably fine. Like when I turn, <laughs> it looks so like stuttery. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't look smooth when I turn. It's weird. Uh, it's pretty smooth. Uh, it looks smooth it's, on our it's end. It's like the refresh yeah, rate fine. lowered somehow. That's no, what it looks, it looks like good, to dude. me. It looks good, dude. I think yeah, I don't know what's not, up. Cobra's not even looking. Your monitor is overheating. <laughs> I can just tell. Like something. <laughs> he was being too positive. My monitor's He's like, oh gosh, you. man. <laughs> <He's gaslighting laughs> I'm gonna check my display settings, make sure it didn't change. <laughs> Let's check it right here, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> That's Dude. like the best compliment I've ever gotten, Trent. Trent said, I feel like you, Caitlin, and Crow uh, could not sit with each other at a funeral cause, because y'all would get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get invited because I already have a bad history. <laughs> Nate, you wouldn't have been. Yeah, you're getting All right. running cards. Let's restart the game. I think it's time we do a game restart. That might be the problem. We do. Dude, Crow's gaining viewers right now. <laughs> yeah. That's mind boggling. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> He's at 344. He's Bro good, like Bro eight. and I would just be like laughing. Bro and I would definitely be like Y'all are the real ones. <laughs> I'd probably like let out like a little tiny, like like I think it'd be like an SBD sound of a deadly fart, you know? I think it'd be that. But it would let it like yeah. do like a little like like a little <laughs> and, oh. and Caitlin would be the only one to hear it and she would just <laughs> die. <I would. laughs> yes. I would like to die. I am about to die. Yeah, we can try multiplayer sometime, maybe. Whenever Australia comes out, steal everyone's cool kangaroos. Heck yeah. Okay, the game is smooth now. I think I had a memory leak. <laughs> memory leak. Go. We're there good go. now. We're good now. See, you're all good. You're all good. Oh, I see my little kangas, mate. The kangarooskis over there. Take them down as to how it had a little oh, albini in it. Oh, I did not like that. Had a little old boy in there, Crocky mate. Go take it down real quick, I tell you what. Pop a great one right now. I had to stop. I will. Hunting Whitetail. I was kind of losing my mind a little bit. I mean, no. Whitetail, Whitetail don't do that to anybody. I've been shooting Whitetail. I, I think you mistook Whitetail for work. bears. I think I took one little break for dinner. I've been shooting Whitetail since. 4 p.m. Hey, that's time. just called getting your grind on, man. Bears are my Get your white grind belt. on. I mean, to I be fair, I got good. I got a max weight, pretty much good. max weight, max score white tail. It's getting good. And a melanistic. How big was the mela? It was a gold. He was big like a 196 or might. something. Nice. Mm -hmm. Lots of big jar up here. <laughs> what are we gonna do about this slurping noise? It's what, what embrace noise? it. I am noise? not embracing her slurp, nope, dude. We're embracing the slurp. <laughs> I just I can't I can't even <laughs> use this for a clip now that I said that. I got a nope. gold char. <laughs> You're freaking God. Uh, it's only a gold. You're fine. You don't need that for a clip. It's a gold in the angler, which is like Oh, gold! Get out of here! That's how I know you don't play this flipping game. I mean, that's game. like a regular thing. <laughs> you got like four of those this stream. What are you talking about? Robert, yeah, what are you talking about? Every single angler hours. stream I've, every single this angler stream hours. I've done, I get golden char like it's nothing. Oh my god! Char are my fish. Not being able to make this a short. I mean, you it's more of a Tony to like thing, but yeah, it's my thing too. Here. Come over. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll lose it. Bye, Kaylee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> smoked him. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Kaylee. <laughs> You're stealing the slurping noise too, Caitlin. What? Crow's chat. <laughs> Daniel, thank you for the super chat. I'll they use the slurping noise emo just say. <laughs> They can have slurp. I don't oh, give a be, yeah, that'd be an they interesting They can't have mode. my pedal pop tart. They cannot have my pedal tart. That is trademarked by me. They didn't endure. Good luck with that in court. Yeah. 
In court? Who's taking like Caitlyn in the court of her, of her potentially <laughs> contaminated pop tart with the freaking. No, that's Giardia. what I'm saying is that it would never. I did submit to the evidence this one pop tart. <laughs> one pop tart. It's like, pop -tart I have here it. on the stand puddle tart. <laughs> what is this? It's a wet, it's a wet pop tart, yeah, your honor. Like Sir, are you sure you're a hot fudge pop tart? <laughs> Bring up CCTV from like 11 years ago, but like no one had ring cameras. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. A Aaliyah, Aaliyah's hitting the door and saying dada, so I'm assuming she wants me to go cuddle her to sleep, so. I will be back in like 20 or 30 minutes, guys. This is the last break of the stream. Then we're just once we, once I get back, we'll don't stream until sleep. I'm done. Don't fall asleep. We'll entertain them. <laughs> I think that's. <laughs> uh oh. Better believe it. No, Kaylin, that's not how that works. Oh my. Ch chat thing. No one here is okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need this. Thank you. Thank you very much. I haven't mm. laughed hard in a while. Same. Um. Okay. Is he gone? Yeah. Should we just all end and then just completely dip out? No. What? I'll end. What do you mean? Why? Let, let's just let's just end so he comes back and nobody's here. No, that's no. mean. Uh, Why would it? you do that? Yeah. What was the? It's what, one a.m. And it's two a.m. for me, and I gotta go to bed. I gotta work tomorrow. Friday. I gotta do chores tomorrow. You don't have to do anything. You're a stay-at-home dad now. Dude, I wish, man. Well, you're not dad, but you can stay at home. Dude, I He's got I, monks. I call up Martha Stewart and be like, hey, how do I do the stay-at-home dad thing? Give me some pointers. Um Yeah, we can do multiplayer sometimes. Grover does a lot of multiplayer, so if you want to like go hang out with him sometime, he does multiplayer all the time. He was doing it earlier in the stream. Nate shoots some white tails mainly. Yeah. And you know Crow. Crow's a grinder. He I do the stream from time to time. Sure. <laughs> I feel like if Caitlin had like the CCTV of like her pop tart falling in the puddle, like she would drop <laughs> the pop tart. Part... my childhood best friend. You would look too. and stare at the camera and then look back at no, the pop tart thing. No, no, bite no, out no of it. she's not. No, she's not taking her eyes off that that pop tart. <laughs> No, the eyes on the She's prize, laser baby. focused on the Pop Tart. She would bend down to pick up the Pop Tart, and as she was getting the Pop Tart out, mm. you know what would happen? Mm. Her freaking her freaking iPod, her no, freaking no, no. iPod. You know what I was saying? You know what I was going to say? Would fall out of her hoodie CD, pocket. I had a CD player in the other hand. You know that. <laughs> a CD player would fall out and fall into the, the freaking bottle, and then she's got a wet Pop Tart, and her CD player is broken. Crying. No, and this was a friend of this was literally like two doors down from my house. Like I could have turned around and gotten another pop tart, but no. You didn't even tell me that part. You said, Oh, you could have gone home and got a pop tart. You could have got breakfast at school. You ate a wet tart. Oh my Gavin and Crow's chat says, I'm taking credit for starting the hashtag, hashtag puddle tart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, Gavin. Like, yeah, really. mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta moderate Crow's chat. <laughs> no, you're not stealing my puddle tart. That's the only, that's one of the only things I have. Okay, like, I've got blackberry for <laughs> one. <laughs> you just puddle you fancy after the puddle? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, you know, what? Oh, dude. Gross chest buddy. Oh. <laughs> I, I got rid of them. <laughs> I got close. I'm not going to do rid that. Of them. I deal with them. <laughs> I hang out with them too much. I'm just <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> hey, Crow's chat's been canceled by Caitlin. What? <laughs> Crow needs new friends. What? No. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. What do you mean? And here's the thing. We're not even friends. We're acquaintances. Right. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Bring my insecurities in the chat. I see how it is. Who's in the chat? What? Hi, <laughs> I'm dad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, man. 
What do you mean you're superior over the modern? What? I think we're getting a revolting crow chat. <laughs> the puddle tarts are rising up. <laughs> She's See? really gonna leave soon. See, now I'm just mad that I shared my story with you guys because What? Um, we love it. No, with these with Crow's chats. Oh. What? <laughs> in the battle of the chats. <laughs> oh man, hold on, I gotta pull up Crow's chat. What do you guys what are you guys even talking about over there? They're talking about my my lore. <laughs> we want tarts of puddles. Well, come, to my all chat. Over chat. come to my chat, become a member, then you can get a freaking emote. <laughs> That's true. Caitlin's got a puddle That's tart awesome. emote if you really like the puddle tarts, and it's because awesome. Because it's my freaking thing. Do you have a, does Crow have a Caitlin command? No. Rip. Oh my gosh. What are you guys talking about? I'm linking Caitlin's chat. It's YouTube. my thing. It is you guys, thing. you guys. So I'm so gonna funny. link. It's I'm gonna link end. Caitlin's Caitlin's chat or her stream. John, if you, you want, and I are friends. If you want a puddle tart emote, she has one. If you become a member, I misspelled tarts. Oops. Out. Wait, what? What the puddle toe tarts? What toe fetish? Wait. <laughs> Someone says I can't hear the toe fetish. What? I just unmuted to, and Burger's like, oh, you're still alive. I didn't expect that. I unmuted to Caleb. What toe fetish? <laughs> I'm trying to take my I'm not trying to take puddle chart. I'm trying to maintain it because it's mine. <laughs> trying to take keeping... puddle tart. It's mine. <laughs> Thank you for the thanks for becoming a, a member, mm. just me. Appreciate that. Puddle tart oh. emote. Alright guys, I don't even have this open. I'm just watching Crow's chat. Uh, right. emote. Bam the chat with puddle tarts. No, they don't get this. Oh, freaking don't hide in here. They don't, don't deserve to see it. You don't deserve my tarts. Hollow made it for me and she wasn't even happy about it. She's like, oh. you hit your, I did hit my head when I was a child. Husky, I did. You had, I, my friend, I was at my buddy Tyler's house and uh, we were like three or four or something like that. And uh, I remember it was my, I got, I got the story retold to me. So uh, we were playing and his mom called us in to eat dinner. And uh, so we we decided to run in the house, which you're not supposed to do. I ran in the house, and I was wearing a onesie, and I tripped on my own onesie, and I fell, and the my forehead hit the side of a big metal Tonka truck, <laughs> and I split my head open, and I had to go to the hospital, dude. So I hope bet you feel bad now. Long live the puddle part. <laughs> in my chat, thanks, hugs. You too. Good to see you. I gotta give up on taking puddle tart. I can't give up on taking puddle tart when it's freaking mine. I'm gonna start Everybody, throwing. You guys, I'm... if you guys love puddle tart so much, you guys need to just go to Caitlin's chat. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna start throwing bad words around at this point. Whoa, whoa, Dylan, whoa, Dylan, I'm gonna sink your boat. What? I think I'm going to respectfully resign as mod in Crow's chat and never <laughs> return. You can't resign, though. We tried. True. <laughs> I don't want to be there where they're trying to steal my stuff. Oh, 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 oh. somebody almost said a bad word. We don't, we don't, we don't do that here. <laughs> oh, I do, my, I do it on my chat all the time. <laughs> what do you mean? You this know what I mean. Thank you, Hugs. Appreciate it. 
Pug's got my back. We just met tonight, and we're all best friends. Why is her a puddle tart? <laughs> it's crow's puddle tart. No, it's <laughs> not. I. Why can't I have one thing? We've <laughs> always called it puddle tart. This is not We've a new thing. Always for called it puddle called, tart. It's called puddle tart it's in gross. in the emoji, like. <laughs> It's it's always been. I mean, I think you told it. You told the story first live on one of my streams. No, I told it first on my stream months ago, and then I got the puddle tart emote. That's right. No, no, no. Oh no, we were streaming together. No, I told it on my stream first, and then and then I you retold it. it on mine. Yeah, because I got the emote. No, you had I the never emote. Thought... No, it was before you had the emote because I remember you showed it to me after. I... I never thought that I would witness a revolt building, but the amount of people saying Crow wouldn't be happy with you taking his things, and people saying, chat, we must revolt against the lies. Thanks, Trent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then there's just that one person, will someone Gil? please tell me when Emerson? the world is a puddle tart? <laughs> Emerson does not, not know what a puddle tart is. Can you retell the story? No, I'm not retelling the story because they're going to steal it from me and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep something sacred at this point. Like, Caitlin, when she was in, Caitlin was in high school, she dropped a pop tart and no. it fell into a puddle and she picked it up and ate it still. <laughs> like, was like, oh, it's fine. It fell icing down and it did, the water did not permeate the whole pop tart. And so I whisked oh, the Zach. water off the icing and I ate it because it was a hot fudge sundae. I wasn't sacrificing that to nothing. <laughs> the puddle tart revolution, Johnny. <laughs> Let's have one thing other than bears because I also have that thing because I ha still have two times more bears than Crow does. So. Dude, I've been oh. laughing so loud. My neighbors probably hate me right now. I mean, same. I've been yelling about puddle tarts. What is this war of puddle tarts? Dude, you can't. You can't. I love this so much. I hate We're it. not spamming eggs. That's a no. <laughs> you will get timed out. We're not bringing back the eggs. <laughs> Nate, Nate's triggered by eggs. No, oh. this happened. No, this happened before. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Zach, it's worse than Tackle Tuesday. Zach, that's John. John's been here the whole time. Do not spam. I mean, puddle tarts. Different. No, this... they're not spamming puddle tart, and not my chat. <laughs> Um, Zach, it's it's probably been more unhinged than any Tackle Tuesday we've ever done. Oh Lord, I'm why am I jigging with the tube? I don't even know. I mean, <laughs> twitching with the tube. Thanks. Welcome back, hubs. Lord, I'm, I'm not bad. I'm not just removing that shit. <laughs> We're moving it. You beat me to it. I'm over it. Yeah, Hunter. I'm talking to Zach in my chat. We're like the peacekeepers of Hunger Games. Krimpo's got my back. Uh, I don't want to fight Caitlyn. Sorry. Uh, I will lose Sorry. that battle. Uh, she... She can, Kayla can really ruin my YouTube viewing experience. Let me put it that way. I wouldn't, but. Uh, uh, Ooh, that's a. Uh... Man. Man. Wow. Let's be nice now. Guys, I do have to go to bed because I'm keeping my wife awake by laughing so much. So. 
I'm going to call a good night. I doubt Crow comes back. I bet he falls asleep with Aaliyah on the bed. Which would be um, really rough because he has a stream going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like free views, am I right? It's one thing whenever it's just us. Night, Johnny. I know, hugs. I'm watching. I'll see you guys uh, Sunday. I got to do stuff today. Uh, it's Father's Day, so I'm gonna my dad. Oh, you guys, hold on. I tell you when to get my dad. Uh, my dad's coming over after he gets off work today, and uh, I'm gonna order this pizza. If anybody here is from Kansas City, um, Oklahoma Joe's is doing a barbecue pizza. It's the uh, it's the Z Man pizza. So it's um, I'm so tired. I gotta hold on. I gotta look up all the ingredients to do this. Hold on. I want to botch this. I'll botch a great one or something on accident, but I'm not botching barbecue. Why? Am I think I this blanking? is my stream now. This mm. is my stream. I'm the captain now. Oh my gosh, come on. Don't piss up to me. Okay, so it's a pizza. With Joe's special Kansas City barbecue sauce, uh, smoked yeah. brisket, topped with provolone cheese and crispy onion rings on this pizza. It's going to be incredible. Well, that's what we get my dad for uh, Father's Day. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Appreciate you guys. We'll be back Sunday. We'll do something. Maybe multiplayer hopping. Maybe the angler. Maybe hell out loose. Who knows? I don't. That's for sure. See y'all later. Crow chat. Bye. Kayla's chat. Bye. Nate, you're the best. Bye. Oh you are too. Caitlin, Puddle Tart is yours. Always will be yours. It's Thank you. not Crows. And. I'm going to shut that down after this stream. So All don't right. try spamming that in Crow's chat tomorrow. Thank y'all. All right. See y'all later. Have a good one. You guys Night are the best. Down. Zach, I highly urge you because I know you're an adult and, and you can handle not family friendly humor. I highly urge you to rewatch this stream whenever you get a chance. It was, <laughs> it was something else. And then it was something else. <laughs> Catch you guys it later. It's mine. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm still in the Discord. Hey. Hi, Brora. Hey. Hi. <laughs> no, Puddle Tart is mine. Always will be mine. Forever will I'm, be I'm going to start zapping. Thank you. You know what? We're just going to. Um, yes. hi, chat. So, how is your day, chat? Or, or is your day starting? There's probably some British people in chat, maybe. I assume. Good, good. Okay, we got like goods. Dang, without bro. Bro. <laughs> This this guy, this guy. Know, Zachy. guy like... Zachy wants to know why you're posting small white tail pics, Nate. It's literally a max white tail. Right. What do you want from me? Sorry, I don't hack. Can't get any bigger than that. Hello. Welcome oh, back. he's back. I'm, I'm going to talk semi quiet so asleep. baby does not wake up. Mm hmm. I'm gonna end my stream, Semi quiet guys. crow. Whisper crow. It's ah. whisper crow in the building, yo. ASMR crow. Yes! That's what we're doing now! Don't worry, we took care of chat. You only lost oh, yeah? like 10 viewers while you were gone. <laughs> That's a lie. No, it's not. Well, Nate is blind then, because I had 340 when I left. Oh, wait, I can't do math. <laughs> you can't. It's more no. like 50 gone. No, no, wait, it just went up to. Nope, you're good. It's like 40 gone. I can do math now. Do math now? 
Yeah. You know, I believe in you. I believe I that you can do math. I totally do. So oh, I, I really can. trust you. Oh, trust and, me. And like, I know I, that you have yeah. the greatest math skills of any human being that is currently like talking to me right now. I mean, I probably have the most math skills out of all of our friends. I mean, you're the only one oh. talking to me, so I didn't even give you a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What, I Caitlin? You can't team. even deny that, though. True. Facts. You are an engineer. Nate just too good. What can I say? In engineer life. I ended my stream. I gotta go to bed. Oh, I keep all forgetting right. to work. I'm probably gonna get off too. Yeah. And I gotta not... last another 27 minutes and then I can get off. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not happy with your chat, bro. Um, if they talk about puddle tarts tomorrow, I'm zapping them. <laughs> They're no, trying that's... to steal it. All right, okay. chat. If you're gonna talk about puddle tarts, say tuttle part, and then it'll be okay. No, no, it won't be. Just reverse the first letters of each one, and you'll be fine. Nope. Nah, they'll be fine. Nope. Mm -mm. Totally, Every broski. Oh. oh no. No, we got a bunch of diamonds, dog lover. We got three diamond, uh, three diamond fallow. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Good night, guys. Good night. Later, Good nerd. Go. Later. Yeah, we got three, uh, we got three diamond fallow and a diamond red fox today. It's been Bye, a solid Have day. A good night. Later, nerd. Have a good night. Thanks. Holy. This grind is wild. How's everybody feeling? It's a, it's a late one today. We're streaming real late. We're nine kills away from 600 fallow kills. Uh... <laughs> How many kills do I have on the grind? 591. Ooh, level 5 guaranteed troll. Of freaking course. Second troll fallow of the day. Guaranteed troll at that. Jeez, man. Guaranteed troll. That's rough. You hate to see it. You hate to freaking see it. Ah, oh, luckily it's not a chocolate. 242 for level 5, yikes. Feels bad, man. Still looking fire, though. Looking really good. Fallow deer looking schnazzy, I tell you what. Looking schnazzy. Uh oh, I've been streaming so long my mouse died. Hold on, I gotta plug it in. Alright, we're back to Wired, boys. Streaming so long, the mouse died. <laughs> Jeez. That's the first time I've streamed until the mouse died. Wireless mouse struggles, am I right? <laughs> I love my wireless mouse, but oof. Feels bad when you run out of uh run out of battery. Uh 
Uh, 11 hours and 37 minutes, actually. Come on. Don't undersell what we've been doing here. <sighs> doing my best, Nate. Doing my best. You wanna be the very best. The best there ever was. Imagine being eaten by a shoe. Bro, what shoe mean? My gosh, Zachy. <laughs> Zachy, you're you wild, bro. You wild for that one. You freaking wildin'. Holy. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Y'all are crazy in, like, the best way possible, you know? Bro, not even screaming if he gets the great one? Yeah, I don't know if I got it in me anymore. I've been grinding so long today, I don't know if I can scream. <laughs> We're almost at 600 kills on this fallow grind. Can you even taxi the fallow? Yes, you can tax the fallow. None of it carries over, though, because it's early access. 456 likes on the stream. That's insane. That's crazy. Yeah, I can tax them, Paters. They just don't carry over to the live build. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just that insane to try and get a great one when I can't even keep it. <laughs> Come on, fellow great one. Where are you, brother? That's a weird looking fellow. I love it. That thing is so cool. 599 kills. Daniel, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. So can you even get a great one? Yes. Uh, great one fallow is available in early access, so... If we get lucky, we can get it. Thank you for the super chat, though. Yeah, one away from 600. I'm hoping that this herd will show up. Well, keep resetting till they do. Yeah, the votes are ridiculous. So many votes on that poll. So freaking many. Bruh, they don't want to show up. What is this? Because I'm insane, Rise. That's how. Ah, <laughs> uh, we never got it, Peter. We never got it. We got a bunch of other stuff, though. I got a troll, uh, a troll roosadier. We got an albino kangaroo. We got a diamond red fox. We got three diamond fallow and two troll fallow. Then we got that piebald red deer. Been a good day. Been a solid day. Oh my gosh. It's hitting me finally though. Luckily, we only got 18 minutes left before 12 hours. This is the first time in so long that I made it 12 hours in a stream.
kind of mind blown we did it. Do a sleep stream? Nah, I ain't Lud I ain't Ludwig. I ain't got it in me. What is the longest stream that I've done? Uh, I was 12 hours on the dot about a year and a half ago. This is one of the longest streams I've ever done right here. That is kill 600 for fallow. Oh my gosh. That means today alone we've had 420 fallow kills. 420 fallow kills for the win. Along with all the other stuff we killed today. We did about three hours of hunting other stuff. Rest has been fallow deer. You know, I'm going to see something. Do I even need to main menu? We hit up enough zones that maybe we don't need to. Hey, maybe we don't need to reset. We got a fallow there. Later, Ian. Later, bro. I mean, there was one fallow there. Oh, definitely wasn't all of it though. Oh my gosh. How long did it take to set up the fallow grind? Uh not very long, because I, I just put uh I just put tents on the most I guess the I guess efficient zones I could find. I just slapped it down in places that I saw a lot of fallow bucks. So it didn't take very long to set up. Maybe like 10 hours. Probably, Johnny. I would not doubt it. Wouldn't doubt it one bit. Six oh three. I think I forgot to hunt here. Let's do that. Nice, man, dude. No, I can't, Raider. <laughs> I can't remember it. So, team minutes left? Yeah, we super close. We're almost there. It's a big four. 
Oh, that four could make diamond. Probably not, but it could. Oh, that one really could. Oh my gosh, there was two giants here and I didn't even realize it. There was two monsters here. That was a 242 minimum estimate. Okay, we gotta get him. But until then, we got this guy. Two thirty-nine. Ah. Uh, Ten points below. It happens though, our first two thirties of the day. That other one is guaranteed to be bigger though. We'll get him next run. Holy. Ugh. Nothing there. No, Gavin, I don't, but I use a blue light filter on my monitor. It works similarly. No, Andy. No HM on the fallow. I'm not going to HM in early access because it just seems like a waste of time to me. Mainly because it's not going to carry over, so I'm just going to do my HM whenever, uh, whenever we move over to Tiawaroa on the live build. For this, I'm just going to shoot fallow and enjoy it. HM takes a lot to get going. I was actually already planning on that, Zachy. I was already planning on it. Hey, Carly boy, how's it going? Made just in time to see the end of the stream. We got eight minutes left before we'll hit 12 hours. Holy. Yeah, it's been a wild stream, man. It's been a wild one.
I mean, I'm going to finish whatever run we're on, so we'll go way past one minute. Because I, I, uh... I always feel like if I don't finish a run and I like end it halfway through, then it's going to throw off the rhythm. So I have to get to the ending point of a run or else it'll bug me. Grinder superstitions, you know? Yeah, bow fishing respawns have been very reliable so far. They've been very reliable. Ah, uh, yeah, and the, um, albino kangaroo, troll 